HG Gravy here, and for my first Let's Play video game session, I'm going to be playing Parasite Eve. If you've seen me on Twitter recently, you've seen me talking about it and how much I miss this game. So I downloaded an emulator on my burnt out old laptop from 2009. It's an Alienware laptop, and you know, it's. I think recording this is actually overheating it. But uh, I'll try to get it to get through at least part one of this game and see how uh, how far I can get. So, Parasite Eves was released in 1998, and it's an action RPG game. And I don't remember it ever looking so good. This emulator apparently sharpens up the graphics. I have this for my PlayStation 3. And when I tried to play it, the graphics were way worse than how they look right now. So this emulator is just fantastic. But, uh, let's see. This video game is actually a sequel to a novel, which is an interesting way to have something get adapted, that's for sure. Um, this game also has Parasite Eve 2, which is a wonderful game as well. I remember playing the shit out of that when I was younger. But, um... Basically, the point of the game is that a, uh... You know, actually, I'm not gonna spoil any of this story because, quite frankly, I don't remember much of it. Except that Aya has these powers due to her cells, and Eve, which is the antagonist, also has these crazy powers. And as you can see in this video, it's real, like, crazy science fiction, like, insane stuff here. And it takes place in New York City during Christmas time. And as you can see, the great, what is it, the worst foe lies within the self, which is absolutely true. So, let's get into this. All right. Press start button. What is my start button here? Okay, I'm using my uh, what do you call it? My cal my key calculator, <laughs> my keyboard. So you're gonna hear maybe hear some clicks throughout, but uh, don't mind those. So I'm on my initial playthrough on the emulator to see if it worked. I was using a frame rate skip, which I won't be using on this because. I guess it would make it pretty short if I just cruised right through the game. But here we are, the intro video, Statue of Liberty, it's snowing, it looks like it's crying. It reminds me of that, I don't know why it reminds me of that scene from Ghostbusters too. And the Statue of Liberty is just walking down the street. Oh, Twin Towers. Ooh. GWB, I'm guessing. Has to be the GWB. George Washington Bridge. Haha. Uh -huh. Rockefeller Center with the Christmas tree. I don't remember that there though. May Christmas 97. I think I was 11 when the. 10 or, 10 or 11 years old when this game came out. And my parents, you know, they just. I saw this at Blockbuster, and my, I just rented it because it was a Square game, and I think by then uh, Final Fantasy VII had already come out, so, you know, anything by Square was just something I absolutely had to play because FF7 was my jam back then. Here we go, wait, okay. Aya is getting out of a limo. This guy, unnamed guy, <laughs> what's wrong? You're the one who wanted to come to the opera. Aya Brea. I've, I've never been able to say her last name right, I don't think. Age 25, occupation, NYPD officer. Alright, we can rename her, but we're going to keep it at Aya. Because it's what we'd call it. That's what I'd be calling her anyway, so why give her a different name? I don't know, I just. You're right, I'll try to have more fun. 
She's already you know, having a good time. I mean, who does at the, uh, who would at the opera? Who goes to an opera these days? Man, aren't you glad you decided to go out with me? I even had my dad get the best seats for us tonight. That's a nice guy, I guess. So lighten up. We're gonna have a great time. You'll see. I don't know. <laughs> it's the opera. All right, so I've got control. Make it run. This is the loadout screen. Weapons, armors, preferences, sorting items. Items, what is Ada? What does she have right here? She has a gun. <laughs> A gun, a club, some medicine, a bullet crate, and some armor. Not bad for a night at the opera. Level one, recovery, and blah, blah, blah. 45 HP, so. All right, let's get a move on here. What's this guy gotta say? Come on, we better go inside. Doorman, please take your seats. Show's about to start, and what a show it is gonna be. Enjoy the show. All right. If you go try to go down the street, you can't. So your only option is to go in. All right. You can slowly take your time walking. I'm gonna run, cause why not? This guy right here. What, what do you gotta say? Oh, I'm blocking his path. Let's go to our seats. They've already started the first act. Huh, you shouldn't be able to get in. Already? Uh oh, better get in. But, like I said, this emulator is just making these graphics amazing. I tried playing this on my PS3 and I just couldn't because this was made for a standard definition t TV, so, you know, a PS3 and, you know, with a giant 180, I forget what resolution my television is, but the point is it will it look choppy. This looks a little more polished. Prince, father, oh, I missed that. <laughs> I'm talking too much. <laughs> well, you could have read it. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. Haha, <laughs> little does he know. You don't understand, Dad. She's the one that has suffered after all the deaths. She is evil. Guard, grab her. Grab her and burn her at the stake. Gotta put the drama into that. Hold up, buddy. Father! This guy's so whiny. If you are sentencing her to death, then I shall ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. Huh. Edward, another Final Fantasy character. He was useless in Final Fantasy IV. All he did was hide and sing stupid songs. And we got the opera. Singing. And the little FMV here. Like Imagine being uh, 10, 11, 12 years old, and you know, you're watching this, you're like, what is this? And then all of a sudden, shit just gets real fucking crazy. I'm not gonna talk through this. Night at the Opera, huh? Spontaneous combustion everywhere. Like, as a kid who loved horror, this just blew my mind. This whole scene, this whole video was just, oh my god, you are in this shit right now. And we're back in control. Hey, uh, huh? Or 
I don't know. I never know what exclamation point exclamation marks mean. It's just by themselves. Like, Meh. you're making a sound. Okay. This guy is the last we see of this guy. Jesus, I don't wanna. Jesus, I don't wanna. Oh my God, hi, hi. That's a good. You know what? That's a great reaction. I think that's. Go, get out of here now. Boom, you gone. So last we see that guy, now I'm in control. It's like, why do they give me the option to just slowly stroll? What's this way? Okay, well, there's nothing that way, there's nothing that other way. They just want you to follow this linear path here, which is, that's the thing about this game, it's kind of linear, but, you know, I'm here for the story and the combat's pretty sweet so you know who cares if it's linear i think there's like a end game dungeon somewhere in a built in a chrysler building if i recall freeze nypd hmm you're the one who seems to be fine you're the only one who seems to be fine what you should you should be awakening soon what what are you talking about Listen, your cells are trying to communicate. They're calling out. And now we're in combat. So this, this fight's pretty easy. You just gotta avoid this Kamehameha laser beam. And you walk right up to her. Open your menu. That circle is how far you can attack. If you're outside that circle, you're more likely to get misses, so... We're gonna, we got two bullets in the trigger, we're gonna fire one and two right in her face. Whoa! Actress, ha ha ha. What's happening? My body, it's, it's getting hot. Just as I thought. What? What is this? What did you do to me? Nope. Don't walk into her. I should have gotten an attack there. Okay. Walk right up to her. Point blank. Two. Nine. Six. Damage. Stay away from the Kamehameha's. If I not. Oh, look at that. Boom. This battle's pretty easy for an intro, so... Let's see, our bodies are communicating with each other. What? Communicating what? What do you want? The more you use that power, the more you will become like... me. Power? What power? Who are you? Eve. Eve? I'm surprised you don't know me, Aya. You should know me well. What? Oh? What? What is this? It's like she's being shown a memory here? Whoa. What was that? Ha 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 ha. Float away. What? Wait. Where are you going? I'm not through with you yet. Put some more bullets in her. Let's keep grinding. And we come up to this hole. I know she's down there. Oh. Police showed up. Sounds like my backup's arrived. Jump down or forget it. Okay, what fun would it be if we forgot it? We jump down. She's running in them heels. She just landed like a, she should have broken her legs or something. Are you alone? It's dangerous here. You should go. Child, scared, creepy child laugh, and she disappears. That's normal. None about, nothing about this is normal. That girl, 
it couldn't be. So this is where I get control finally for a little while longer. And we gotta figure out stuff here. So we go to this first door, it's locked. It's like Silent Hill. Everything's locked. Locked. Oh. Oh, this part's sweet. Now this is like crazy body horror here. The cells. The cells are changing the ma the rat. Like, look at all that. I don't know if that's pee or juices. It's peeing itself, I guess. I mean, if I were changing into something so weird, crazy, hideous, I'd pee myself a little. Okay, so here's another. I'm in another battle now. Okay, so I can move. So critical hits, you get some critical hits from behind, so we're going to shoot twice. And he, he took that pretty well. Through fire, you got to dodge that. Fired right point bang, blank in the head. Alright, got some ammo from that. So if you run out of ammo, you got to use a club or whatever melee weapon you can find. I don't think I ever used a melee weapon in this game, there's plenty of bullets everywhere. Jesus, did Eve do that to the rat? What's going on here? She's talking to herself. Oh, open door. What's in here? Oh, there's some charred up people on the floor. Like, what's really weird about this game is you don't know what, like, some things in the environment are, you can play around with, like, these lockers, you can keep opening them. And, oh, 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 how's that guy still alive? I guess I'll check on this guy before I keep looking at the lockers. You're still alive. Hold on. Let me call the paramedics. Yeah, that guy's barbecued. M Melissa, she's, she's a monster. Don't try to talk now. Melissa, Melissa, you mean the main actress. She'll probably... She probably got to Suzanne, too. You'll have to stop her. Oh, please, wake up. Hang in there. And... Actress. Oh. Yeah, she's gone. She's barbecued. So, we go back to the locker. Oop, my bad. Oh, one medicine. That's what I was looking for. I think that's everything in this room. That actress is pretty crispy right now. This is open. Yay. A clown? Oh my god. Ah! Here, take it! Take everything! It's all on the counter! Well, the cocaine he's doing. Don't scare me. I'm with the NYPD. You're the one that scared me, lady. I was just getting ready. Snorting cocaine. You know, only staff are allowed in here. There was an incident here. You'll have to evacuate. What? You're kidding, right? Hey, I'm not dying here tonight. See y'all. See, this guy got the right idea. This Joker outfit. Oh, he got fucked. Alright, so the lockers here are interactive as well. I think this middle one has bullets. One of these. Okay, we'll try that one. Okay, one of these has bullets. There it is. Okay. So we're done here. Back to the main hall. That room is locked. This room is locked. Ah, another open room. OK. 
Okay, so we've got oh a corpse that we moved, and it's covering the telephone. Keep doing that. I'm trying to use the telephone. That's how you save with the emulator. I don't need to really save, like save the state. But as you can see right there to the right, there's a box, and it has more medicine. And then, you know, you just walk around clicking on stuff. Sometimes you find things. So, like right here, for example, I think it's right here. You open that up, and a bird comes out. Hot, hot, help, help. That's morbid. I don't know what that bird does, but try to check this corpse here. Oh, the corpse has a key. A theater key. So, let's see where we could go with that. And this is the whole theater. Well, that's locked. Let's see here. Oh, unlock the door. Another, another bird, huh? Merry, Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh. So that bird transforms. Oh, five damage. Leveled up. More HP, bonus points, stats up. And medicine. Nice. That bird got messed up. Open that, more ammo. See, so you never really run out, can't really run out of bullets in this game. Just checking everything. It's kind of weird because the same button for, you know, toggling a walk. If you don't hit run, you slowly walk. If you hit run, you walk. But if you try to check things, you like immediately stop uh, running. Let's keep going. Let's see about this door. Is that open before? Yeah, the clown was in there. Let's just go back out. Those two were in. Oh, you get random battles in this game. Can't really avoid them, so it's good to fight. Just get all that EXP. Oh, avoid that. See some of these things you could one shot. Oh, I run into it. Reload, fire, boom. Two dead. More ammo. Like the creatures get much harder. I think I just did this. My God, did I go into the same room again? Yes, I did. Okay. Another battle. But that's good. You get, like I said, you get generate some EXP, get a little stronger, so you can one shot these guys. Oh, he bit me. Damn rat. So, part of the game is using Aya's parasite. I don't know what the P stands for. Parasite Eve. Whatever. So she can heal herself. It's like the magic in the RPG games. So, I'll use it just to show you. So she just healed herself, and then she regenerates her PE after a while. So you could keep using magic to heal yourself. You can use it as offense. All these bonus points and HP going up. Lots of ammo there. I promise I'm not going to go into the same room again. So we go down the hall, and there's the corpse that wasn't there before. Who could that be? Oh, it's the clown from the dressing room. Ew. He barbecued too. I don't think he says anything else, or she says anything else. Yep. That's kind of all you can do is just... Unlock the door next to where this guy was. 
what's in here. So we explore it. There's another box. Get some items. More med. Medicine. Nice healing. Oh, another battle. Rats and birds. Ooh. You're going down. So that was kind of wasting a turn because. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm getting hit everywhere. Reload. Ooh. Like, throughout the game, you get more different guns and different armor, so. This is just a start. So you have, like, basic handgun. I mean, who brings a handgun to the opera anyway? And armor. But, uh, you know. I guess it pays to be prepared. For. The craziness of the opera. <laughs> I don't know. This leads right back out to that main ha hallway, though. So let's see if we can unlock any other doors. Here's one. I mean, they say the game's linear, but there's a little bit of exploration. Here's another box. Offense plus one. This, I believe, you're supposed to keep throughout the game and then use it on weapons that you might use later on. Like better weapons. Oh, this looks weird right here. That's odd. This wall looks like it's about to crumble. So she just broke some she just broke the wall. Just crawls through. Got another box here. Your inventory is full. Will you replace an item? Uh we'll say no. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a medicine. Heal myself up. Ooh, protector. Defense, energy, and crit. Base plus. Alright, so that's gonna be better than what we have equipped now. So let's change our armor. Much improvement. So now we'll have much more defense, more energy, I believe. This is for those parasite powers. And. I think that's everything in here as well. So that door leads to a circle, that leads there, that leads somewhere else, over here. So it's gotta be somewhere, one of these rooms. Did I, did I already go in there before? Yep. It's a lot of exploration in this if you don't remember what you did. That room I've been in like a hundred times. This, I think this is, that's where the clown was I'm guessing. <laughs> Jesus. That was where the bird was. Ah, here we go. Well, last door. got to be something in here. A journal. Let's read it. A diary. November 3rd, Monday. The Christmas show is set. This has been my dream. The main actress has a solo concert at the theater in Central Park. I took all the medication to get here. I have to get the lead part. I'll even sell my soul to the devil if I have to. That's extreme. But I guess you gotta get it somehow. November 17th, Monday. The cast was announced and Suzanne and I are double cast. I want to play, I want to play the part alone, but everyone knows she's good. Ah, oh, Friday finally, November 21st. I think I'm overdoing it. My body is getting hotter than ever before for some reason. Nope, my body's getting hotter than ever for for some reason 
I better take more medicine. December 6th. I collapsed today. I lost consciousness after my body got hot. I don't care if I die. I just want to get through this show. Well, if you die, you can't get through the show. November 10th, Wednesday. I passed out again. They told me to go to the doctor and get some rest. If this continues, Suzanne will definitely take my part. I need to get better. I need to get better. I'd better take a lot of medicine, medication tonight. That seems to be not such a great idea. Suzanne was burned in an apartment fire. Yo, that just got dark real quick. Is that because I wanted the part so bad? God forgive me. It looks like I'll be the lead. I better take more medication and work on it. And work it. Opening night. Everything went smoothly. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. We should have the biggest crowd of the season. And I have the solo concert the next day at the park. Oh, sounds like where we're going next. But I'm not feeling well. I better shape up if I want to get through this. I better take more medication. I'm sensing a theme here. For what? Why is she taking so much? She must have a drug problem. Hmm, you think? Another key? Your inventory is full. Jesus Christ. Okay, what can I... Uh, don't think we need this theater key anymore. Oh, I can't discard it. Normal vest, can I discard that? Yeah, we'll discard that. Don't tell him I gotta read this again. Oh lord. So, because I have to read this again, I'm going to do a little uh, frame skipping here so it's gonna sound a little bad, but we don't wanna read through this again. You can hear me. I can talk at this fast speed, but here we go. We got the rehearsal key. Oh, I think I clicked to read it again. Oh, Lord. Bear with me. All right. Let's try not to read that again. Oh god, I don't want to go near that journal. Door opens, and we got more ammo. I'm glad there's so many, so many bullets just lying around at the theater, you know? So, there's only one door we haven't gone through. And we've unlocked it. Great. And she plays piano too, wow. I'm Melissa. I'm no. I'm I. I am. I am Eve. Ah, I'm hot. I'm getting hot. You have that medication? <laughs> nucleotide, nucleotide domination has finally come to an end once and for all. What? Who talks like that? Like, it just sprouted a tail and claws, just like a witch and here we go again once again the day for the mitochondria to be free has finally arrived Sh 
Fira is. So I think he's gonna still do the same Kamehameha, just double, but if you just just gotta make sure to avoid it or try to stand in the middle. So if you just stand there, I don't understand these attacks. She purposely misses you. Sometimes she moves it. I guess every other. See, so yeah, she was outside the box. So I missed. Oh, God, I got. Oh, I ran into that one. And she ran into me there. Alright, so. Alright, so I'm. Desperately needing some healing, so let's use the heal. Boom. That's not that much, actually. So I can't use any items or any magic while my active time gauge is off. But this battle's pretty, pretty quick and easy. Looks like you still need some time, girl. Until your mitochondria is completely free. Mitochondria, what are you saying? I don't understand you. Aya clearly didn't take any biology in high school, it looks like. Then again, I still, I don't understand what mitochondria are either. What? Where is this? Is that, is that the little girl I saw? No, it's, I think it's Aya. No. Actually, I don't know who it is. I forgot. That doctor. Wait. Mitochondria? To be free? They explain what mitochondria is later for those who have no idea. So... Again, we have another hole, so let's just keep going further down the rabbit hole. But it's no rabbit hole. We're in the sewers, New York sewers. Find some alligators, crocodiles, some ginormous rats. That's the thing though. These. Like, see these ginormous alien rat things? That's not even Eve mutations, that's just normal New York rats. Oh, I got hit. They're just, these are just normal New York rats that just get, you know, they shoot fire at you. And those birds from earlier, those were, like, you know, pigeons. Ah, okay, so I got parasite powers have evolved. Scan, I can use, see the enemy's HP and weaknesses. That's pretty self-explanatory. I can see the enemy's HP and weaknesses. This little overhead view is kind of cool. Running through the New York sewers. Another battle. Oof. If I'm correct, that thing is like a frog and its tail. This is something you gotta take care of first, but if you get you gotta get behind it. And then try to avoid getting, you know, hit by the tail or uh, Oh shit, okay. So I'm gonna use this turn to use an item. We'll use one of these medicines. 45 HP. It's a good portion of my health. Gotta watch out for the fire. I'm gonna take out this rat right now first though. Very easy. Just avoid this guy's tail. He's too far. Get in range. Fire, fire. Four damage, that's terrible. Still avoid that tongue. Get in close. There it is. Another level up. Level five. More ammo. So as you can see, it's hard to run out of bullets. It's happened though. If you miss too much or if you, you know, fire at a range too much. Oh, here we go. 
is another handgun. It's probably better than what we got, so let's switch it up. 17, 60 range. You could fire from a little further out. Six bullets. It's still kind of terrible, but whatever. It's better than what we got, and it's better than the club. So I would have gone up those two uh, stairways, but I know that they lead to nowhere. They just lead in a circle. Hey, uh... Wait. You're the little girl I saw at the theater. Are you lost? No. Nope. Kid just hang out in New York subway. New York sewers. I almost said subways. Wait, little girl. Don't go. That's what children in New York do. They just hang out in the sewer systems and fight with alligators and crocodiles. But, as you can see, you can... If I would have gone up top, I would have seen these boxes here with stuff in them, so... Saving some time and... Just opening the boxes. One offense. I think that, like I said, that's for later. And then this one, you would have never seen it. But six more ammo. Those boxes are there. And then we go follow the, ch follow the child out of the New York so sewers. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> it's like this random kid just hanging out in sewers. It's better than causing trouble. Alright, another battle. Hopefully, oh, two frogs, jeez. Gotta stay away from them. Attack the one that's not facing me. Oh, we got three shots out of this. That's pretty sick. Kill him quick. Ugh! Oh. Load and boom. Get away from him. Let's, let's heal up. Wow, he's got some range. Whatever, we got him. Got that medicine back. Nice. So here we go, there's a button right here, like it's, imagine trying to see this on like a standard TV. There's a switch and an emergency phone, so this works as a save point if I use the phone. So let's press the switch here to open this up, and I just saved state on my computer so I saved it and we see Eve once more you know charge at her because hold it right there my body my body is getting hot again I'm sensing a theme here ha 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 A is ready to take me on just by herself well even if you did have more people with you they just burn, right? Why is an Aya burning? That's a great question. Everyone else but you. You are. Tell me, Eve. Why? Why me? Why am I the only one? You'll find out. Eventually. Even if you don't understand, don't worry. Your mitochondria will. They've always known. I'm going to give you some time. Some time to think, and some time to evolve. And the day shall arrive when you will awaken. Another movie here. She's got super long arms. And claws. And some fucked up hair. And yeah. She just turned into goop. Turned into some sludge. And she's gonna keep going. 
That's how she does it. Remind me the T-1000. And here we go. Here's a New York City crocodile alligator. That's how they are there. This is no transformation, no evolution. Yep, electricity. So this is the first boss of the game that you really, uh, they really let you fight it off by yourself. There are two targets. So for this first round, you gotta get the tail, because that's the most dangerous, that's the da more dangerous part. It's out of range. So it fires these like energy beams at you, so you gotta stay away from that and try to remain. Oh, see, I just got hit. I think I hit twice. Oh. See, he chases you down. Oh, I just died. But, with the power of safe states, we can try that again. And we can skip all this stuff with Eve. Oh. Stip all this stuff with Eve, blah 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 blah. Do this quickly. We can even do the movie speeding up. I think next time I'll just skip it if I. Run into something like this again. Okay, here we go. So once again, we're gonna take on the alligator. There are two targets. So fire away at the tail. Try to avoid the tail. All right, so I'm gonna back up here and get back to full strength because as you saw earlier he can hit pretty hard you gotta try stay toward the back avoid that tail sweep and the force okay he does this when you beat the tail so now we're gonna switch up some angles here. And you gotta aim for the mouth. Because you're gonna shoot some fire or electricity out of it. Fire, yeah, see, he's gonna shoot some beams out of his mouth. That's what alligators do. Like, he's much more docile in this state. Just gotta avoid the mouth when it fires. There's no... or when he charges. Ooh, hit me pretty hard there. We'll fire those beams. Like, see, this is much more easier than the tail. Easy peasy. Leveled up. Got an item. Parasite powers have evolved to slow. Slows enemy ETA. ETA. Slows enemy AT recharge. It means that they're going to be slower. And we got some Kevlar, which is probably a better set of armor as well. Aya. When I will awaken. Just tell me what you want, Eve. And Aeob somehow gets back up. We are live in front of the Carnegie Hall, which has become a scene of complete chaos. Nice red coat, dude. Red coat. Okay. Miss, you are the sole survivor of this horrible ordeal, correct? Does it look like anyone else is there? I... Until now, this is... Until now, this combustion theory has been acknowledged only by occult enthusiasts. I wonder how many of them they interviewed. <laughs> Please, just leave me alone. 
The incident happened to take place on Christmas Eve, of all nights. I would like to represent the citizens of the city and, inter and interview you exclusively. Well, you got me. This guy right here came in from the right. BAM! Knocked him on his ass in front of the TV. Are you crazy? Jim, did you get this on tape? Scram, buddy. Daniel. It's the kind of guy you want in your corner. Sorry I'm late, eh? Of course you were late. Hey, uh, you okay? That was really something that happened back there. Yes. Oh, but my date. Heard you heard from a cop that your boyfriend ran out of there like a wuss. Haha. <laughs> I don't blame the guy, actually. Er, sorry your date didn't go well. Ahem. <clears throat> Yo, I don't blame the guy one bit. It's not like that. I had him escort me because he kept pestering me for a date. Cuz... Not because, but cause. Yeah, but of all places, the opera? There's a story. Ha! So why the opera, huh? Is that the in thing right now? Kids love the opera. Saw the ad in the paper. I don't know. Just caught my eye. Don't tell me you're on this case. Don't tell me you were onto this case. Haha. <laughs> so you finally got some cop instinct in you, huh? She's so annoyed. Instinct? Daniel, shouldn't you be with your son? It's Christmas Eve. Nah. Screw that kid. <laughs> he understands his dad's a cop. My boy understands. Anyway, to change this uncomfortable subject, I heard things from people who were there, but this is one hell of an incident, huh? Mitochondria? Mitochondria. Symbiosis? When was I in the hospital? Hey, hey, you, you asleep? Oh well, don't blame you, after what you've been through tonight. Yeah, really. Can't blame her. She was asleep, but she ain't asleep. She's just annoyed. She don't want to talk to anybody. So, this is kind of like the world screen here. It started all with this incident. Six days that were to become a nightmare for all. There's the fairy. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. How do you forget something like this, really? But I will never forget it. It was pure terror, but... People forgot it. It was also six days filled with familiar memories. The statue and helicopters, Empire State Building... this fun stuff all right so we've come to the end of day one and day two is gonna be fusion but I'm gonna stop it here as this video is already an hour long and I'm tired of talking so uh, I guess for my next recording we'll have day two and I'm sure it'll be longer and uh, more interesting and I'll try to be in, as insightful as I was earlier. I don't know if this is insightful or not. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this. But, you know, for a first experience, this was pretty fun. I, you know, I don't know if I'm talking too much or talking too little or maybe I'm not funny. I'm not funny at all. I, I don't know what to say if I'm not funny. I've never been one, you know, you know no one's ever said I was a comedian. I write horror. I guess that may. I guess that is that could be funny sometimes. If I'm rambling too much, I don't know. I guess just let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for joining me. And if you've gotten this far, 
I have no idea why you watched this, but I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you know, subscribe. Dude, <laughs> wow, I can't believe I'm going to do this, but leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, you know, say something, do something, get me up on that algorithm and get me, you know, noticed, I guess. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Hello everyone, Gravy here again, and we're going to continue our Parasite Eve playthrough with Day 2 Fusion. I was originally going to start a new channel for these gaming videos, but I decided in the end not to, you know, fracture off the audience. So if you enjoy these gaming videos, thank you for watching them. If you don't enjoy them, don't watch them. If you're just, you know, if you're just here for the narrations, that's totally cool, you know. But I figure I'll uh, keep these on the same channel, do a little gaming, do some narrating, and just keep it to that. Uh, maybe a few tutorials on writing, and uh, you know, maybe some other stuff along the way. I'll uh, put on the channel. But for now, we'll do some uh, gaming and. Uh, narrations. So, uh, let's just get started with Parasite Eve. So, as we last left off, uh, well, we don't need to save our progress here, because we can do it via the emulator. So, Daniel, hey, you okay? You ought to be resting. Aya, wish I could, but I'm the only one who knows what happened last night. Daniel, I've been gathering some info on Melissa. She's got no relatives and no close friends. She was sick, often always on the some. She was sick, often always on some kind of medicine. The people at the opera said they were amazed she could even stand on stage. Her apartment burned down right after the incident, so we have no info on her medication. Nix, now there's a new character. So what's with so what's with all this spontaneous combustion stuff all about? It wasn't exactly spontaneous. People were actually set on fire. <laughs> okay. Warner, there's another new guy. Oh come on. What, like one of those ESP things? That's the best way to describe it for now. ESP, huh? Well, I'm not buying it. Yeah, Warner. But if you're right, how are we supposed to deal with something like that? I believe her. After all, he is the only witness so far. But if you're going to take on a suspect like that, you'd better ask Baker for a new... For a... Yep. Better side arm might help. Baker. I read your report. Still hard to believe, but we can't deny all those deaths. We're gonna go all out to solve this case. Make sure well make sure you're well equipped. Go down to the weapons department and give this permit to Torres. He'll help you out. Odd permit. Ding. So we take control of Aya here. And let's get out of here. This is where we spend a good portion of the game in the police station just doing stuff we could talk to what's his name Nix here says the same thing as the other scene let's see this guy same thing Warner Daniel I just say the same stuff it's the tiniest police department ever, but hey, all of New York, just, just one precinct for New York. Let's see. Okay, I know I can get through this door. <laughs> oh, I had to, had to go right on the knob. So 
Let's take a look inside this police station. To the little door on the left, and it's a locker room full of guys. What do we gotta say to this guy? <laughs> At last, it's mine. What has he got there? Hey, yeah, uh, you better put on your vest too. Can't be too careful. That's right. Of course, let's explore the lockers. New vest. Put on later. Cure to prevent poison. Of course, poison is a thing. Let's put on our new vest. See if I can remember how to do this. Let's see, we have two vests, 12 to 20, 9 to 12, 12 to 16, 9 to 16, our crits go down either way. I'm willing to... more parasite energy, I guess it's parasite energy, eh, we'll do the normal, we'll do the Kevlar vest. Check our guns again. Save guns as before. Oh, so this part of the game is kind of low key thus far. Talk to Kathy, the weapons department. You didn't hit your head last night, did you? It's right downstairs. You know, that's pretty accurate reaction to somebody who should know where these things are. What are you, stupid, Ayo? Uh, I think that's the door I'm supposed to go through, but we'll go down this way. Check this door now. Nope. Maybe I'll go to the wrong place. What's in here? Oh, the puppies. Oh, you know this isn't going to end well. Cop, I wish I could give her a nice Christmas dinner. Okay. Don't know who he's talking about. Since there's anything here. I don't think there's anything here. I think this door is closed. Authorized personnel. I kind of dig in this background music. It's very, like, kind of peaceful. And of course, as soon as I say that, it ends. <laughs> Alright. Talk to this guy. Wayne. Hey there, good looking. Yeah, he's creepy. And she ain't taking that. Cut the crap, Wayne. Where's Torres? And that baldy? Who knows? So what'll it be? Shotgun? Rocket launcher? I think you get those in the game later, actually. Wayne! Y yes, sir? Uh-oh. Idiots like you are the reason why guns don't won't disappear from this country. Get your ass back to weapon storage. You're far from ready to be handling guns in here. Okay, okay. Sheesh. What? It's a weird sound effect for that. Torres. Torres, I need some equipment. For last night's case, heard it was quite a mess. But as long as cops rely on guns, criminals will too. Mmm. It's kind of the the opposite, but okay. It's a vicious cycle. I hate to hand you a weapon. I hate to hand a weapon to a young cop like you. But I hear this isn't your ordinary crook. Guess I can't send you off empty-handed. Say, you can't carry any more equipment. Pfft. Wayne, take some of her things and put them in storage. Yeah, yeah. You have something to say, officer? No, 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 sir. So you want to leave something here? Let's leave some of this equipment. Okay, I never use the clubs. I guess I can't leave the club. This vest? All right, cool, we'll leave the vest. Ah, I have trouble with this. This protector, nice. All right, got some space. The 
will it be? Here, this is the most powerful gun I can allow you to have. M16, okay. Captain Baker already notified me. Show me your modification permit again. Uh, modification permit. Which gun? I, I, I don't even know what to do right now. Uh, let's do the rifle since it is the most powerful thing I've got. Add a slot. I forget how the customization goes in this game. I know that it's real deep. But I don't really remember it too much. I guess I did that. Wait here. So if you hear me reading this and I'm hearing you're hearing me make a lot of mistakes and stuttering, this is how I do my narrations. It's probably why it takes me so long. But remember, cops own guns for your see? <laughs> but remember cops But just remember, cops own guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. This is why I can't do my narrations very well or very concisely. Take forever editing. I try to read too quick. Oops. Don't tell Torres, but you can use your tool to tune up your guns. You can rearrange equipment parameters and added effects to tweak your equipment. I can show you some cool tune-up techniques. What, what techniques are these? I'm sorry if I if I seem a little tired. It's been a long day and I'm doing this at, you know, 11:40 at night. And you know, I'm talking to myself in an empty room, so actually I apologize if the mic sounds a little uh you know, you can hear the the reverb of the my voice in the room. It's it's actually an empty room in my house that I use for my computer and you know, I think you might have heard a car just pass by. It's right at the front of my house, and the room's basically empty except for some furniture, and it's against the wall here in a corner, so the reverb is probably real bad. But, you know, you can only do what you can. It's not going to sound any better in anywhere else. Let's get back to the game, sorry. <laughs> Tune up icon. Using the tool item, you can add or remove parameters and added effects on your weapon or armor to create your customized equipment. If you remove an added effect from a weapon or armor, that equipment will disappear. The, added num the number of added effects that can be attached to a piece of equipment is determined by the number of slots in that equipment. You can increase the number of slots by getting your equipment modified at the NYPD Police Department. Weapons Police... NYPD Weapons Department. That kind of doesn't help me understand anything. You got it? No. Trust me, you can never have too much firepower. That's true. Of course, you can't use them without bullets, so you better make sure you always have your club. Like that's gonna do anything. Just in case, you know. Now why don't you leave some stuff? Why don't you leave the stuff you don't need with me? Alright, cool. Rehearsal key. I don't think we're going back to the opera. Theater key. Same thing. We're not going to the opera. I think I'm supposed to. I think I should hold off on using these because I think there's an end game thing and you can like customize your equipment better. If I recall, it's called like the Chrysler Building. Cure poison. We'll keep that. Medicine. Oh, let's arrange this. Perfect. Store equipment, we already did that. Oh, hold on. I don't think I have any junk, but I don't, yeah, I don't. Okay. So here's a Ah. So here's a box. Wow, I'm having a lot of trouble controlling this today. A tool. Here's another box. More medicine. So can you do anything for me? No modification permit. Dude, come on. I'm fighting like this crazy ultimate bad guy thing and you want me to leave all my stuff. You want me to 
not equip anything. All right, so we're gonna switch over to the M16, and we're gonna leave these other guns. Hope I'm making the right decision here. No, not reload. Wow, this playthrough's kind of uh, boring thus far. I apologize. We're 15 minutes in, and I got no jokes about you know sewer rats or anything, or alligators or New York in general. Oh well, can't win them all. It's, at least there's some relaxing music for you here. Let's go back upstairs. I think we're gonna run to a another scene here. Like this day two thing starts off with just a lot of uh, exposition and story which is kind of good considering you know all the back to back all the combat you experience at the beginning of the game despite it being easy. Hey there, you lost? Uh, Ben? Daddy! Just took a drink. So this is Ben. Ben, this is Ayo. Now what are you doing here? Here. Tickets? Oh, yeah. The concert. Didn't we hear about a concert earlier? Sorry, son. Daddy's real busy today. I promise I'll make it up. I promise I'll make up for... Fine. Ben. Oh, God. You know this kid's going to be a problem. Guess every kid needs a mother. That's not true. I was raised by my father too after my mother died. I'll always be grateful for him. Yeah, well, his mother's still alive. Divorce cop trope. Okay, let's keep going. And this lady booth position, so let's see if she says anything new. Kathy's like an exposition machine here. Hey, you don't know where you're going? Well, let me tell you where to go. Hey, uh, let's talk about Daniel's life. You met Daniel's son, Ben. Daniel's divorced his wife last year. This was before you were assigned here. He kept saying every boy needs a father. So he fought for Ben's custody with Lorraine, his ex-wife. Exposition and a gossip. Well, he won, but being a cop, I doubt if he has time to spend with him. Oh yeah, Captain Baker was looking for you. Captain Baker, back in his office. Chatty, is it called a catty, chatty Cathy? Because that's what she is. So chatty. Telling Daniel's business to Ayo. Like, what kind of... <laughs> Here, I'm just going to tell you his business. Sir, let's walk up to him. They take over here. You were looking for me? Yes, we're having a press conference now, and I want you there too. Me? That's right. You'll be on national television as the sole survivor of that incident. I see. But only you can answer. But you, but you only answer when I ask you. The media is just looking for anything to grill us about. They may even turn you into a suspect. So you let me... So you let me do the talking. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Let's go meet the press. I wonder if the guy they punched in the face is going to be there. Well, Daniel punched him. The reporter. So you're saying this could be the work of a terrorist? That's what we currently speculate. How about, ac how about accounts of officers and firemen at the scene bursting into flames? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was due to a rare, highly flammable chemical which was used to start the fire. Excuses. Another question. Then how did Detective Brea survive without so much as a minor burn? That is a result of her quick thinking and training as an officer. I'm asking her the question. Yeah, oh, that's a feisty reporter. She... 
she said that my mitochondria were a mutation. Excuse me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, what's that say in the background? Opera Theater Incident Press Conference. Wrote that in shock. <laughs> hey, uh, your mitochondria? Who said this? Melissa, no. She said she was Eve. But according to a report, Melissa Pierce was killed in the fire. Melissa did die. Her body had been taken over by this Eve. What is it? What's this Eve? Some kind of alien? Jumping to conclusions, man. People, please. He is very tired and we're still investigating. That'll be all for today. You know, she should be fired for that. She'd be talking out of, tur talking out of turn. Hey, uh, I thought I told you not to say anything. I'm telling the truth, sir. Boom. This is not... That is not the point. Who's going to believe you? You'll only stir up the media and cause people to panic. Sir, she was only... Hold up. Baker here. Who? What does he want? Well, put him through then. This is Captain Baker. What? Me? You'll have to speak up. Yes? What? Yes. All right. Some Japanese scientist, I think, couldn't understand his English too well. He was raving about some Mito something. He says he's coming over here. Mito? Is it mitochondria? You mean that thing in the cell that makes energy from oxygen? Might have heard about that in school. That's what Eve said. That's what Eve had said. That it's time for the mitochondria to be set free. Hey, I just read that some researcher at the museum wrote a new theory on them. Sir, I'm taking Aya to talk to this researcher. Go. Better get there before the media. It may explain that phone call, too. Yes, sir. Come on, Aya. Another car ride? Lots of car rides in this game. At least two thus far. Alright, let's get going. I'll bring the car out and meet me in the front. It's going down! Uh, some stupid song I remembered. Alright, let's just go. What's this guy doing over here? He's spinning. What a case to have on Christmas, huh? Insightful, man. Right, back to the world map. Well, the New York City map. NYPD, Carnegie Hall, that's where the opera was. The museum. I like that music, it's kind of like Matrixy in a way, but like action y. It's really cool. We're going to the Museum of Natural History. Dr. Hans Clamp will be there. Dr. Clamp? What's his area of research? Well, according to the papers, he was working on a new theory. Mitochondria something, but it seems to cover the whole genetic spectrum. That's odd, to have a PhD and be working in a museum. Well, he's pretty antisocial and doesn't like to waste time outside research. Oh, great. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have a grand time with this one. Yeah, yeah. I know where you're going with this. Just be careful this time, huh? Are you referring to the press conference? Yeah. Daniel, why do you kiss the chief's butt? You two joined the force at the same time, didn't you? Yeah, but that was years ago. Now he's my boss. Huh, I wonder if that means anything for later. Just... Am 
American Museum of Natural History. I think I've, uh, I've actually been there. It's a great, great place to visit in New York. Very big. Maybe I didn't go there. I think maybe I went to the art museum. <laughs> I don't even remember. It's been a while since I visited the museum. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't even remember where I went. World of the Dinosaurs. Dinosaur exhibit. I loved these things when I was a kid. Hmm, looks like it's closed today. Well, let's see what that security guard can do for us. I love this crunching snow effect. Now the steps. The steps have no snow on them. Hey there, how you doing? Doing okay. Pretty cold day though. How about yourself? We're with the NYPD. We're looking for a Dr. Clamp. He works here, doesn't he? Sure does. As a matter of fact, he's up there in his room right now. Did he do something? Nah, we just want to talk to him, that's all. Thank you, it shouldn't take long. This place is pretty creepy without any people. You'll find him in the you'll find him in the research lab on the second floor. Sounds like a jail door. He's been pretty busy for the past weeks. Doesn't come out ever. Thanks. Just look around the room here. There's a phone. It's for saving. Oh, by the way, could you sign in? It's policy. Let's just keep track of who comes in. Thanks, Aya. Gee, Daniel, you sure don't want to run down here and... Hold on. I read that wrong. <laughs> Gee, Daniel, you sure you don't want to run down here and do it yourself? Notebooks on the counter. Thanks. Like, why even include this? Just my name? Yep. That should be enough. That should be enough, unless you want to leave your number, too. Ooh, everybody trying to get with Aya. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? Well, I'm about to head out of here. Hope you two get the information you need. That guy knows. He's like, you give it a shot. Hey, Aya. Over here. Where else would he go? Where else would she go? Checkered floor. Hey, it's open. Let's check it out. Like, if they ever remake this game, I'd love it if they did it with actual voice acting, because... As you can hear, it's a lot of dialogue heavy, so it'd be cool to just hear it happening. Hello, excuse me, Dr. Clamp. Dr. Clamp. I hear, I hear you. We're with the NYPD. We'd like to ask you a few questions. What a rude dude. Professor, we're looking for clues concerning the incident which occurred. Are you accusing me? Hmm? This guy's quick to jump. What? This again? What is this? This man? I know him, I think. What's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah. 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 We'd like to ask... <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> We'd like to ask you about the mitochondria research you've been doing. NYPD, huh? Why are you interested in my work? The suspect mentioned that the mitochondria would be set free. Now, do you? That suspect ignited people without laying a finger on them. Then it transferred into some then it transferred into some kind of creature and ran off. Then it transformed into some kind of creature and ran off. Since you mentioned mitochondria, we were hoping you could supply us with some info. Ha ha you two have absolutely no idea what the true mitochondria is like. 
Do you? <laughs> I bet you're going to enlighten us. The mitochondria possesses its own unique genetic code. Its own? Are you saying it's a separate organism? Precisely. Kind of like a parasite or something? Huh? Parasite Eva, the name. Parasite? That's an interesting way of describing this most fascinating creature. We cannot live without mitochondria. Do you understand? The mitochondria creates energy for us. Without it, we're nothing. We are here because the mitochondria allows us to be here. Our brain, for example. The brain functions due to the interactions between axons. Axons and dendrites. I don't know if I said that right. This interaction is possible due to the energy the mitochondria provides. Do you know the mitochondria is capable of discharging 200,000 volts of electricity? This not only pertains to electrical discharge, but also applies to heat energy as well. Heat? Then the combustions from last night were... Dot dot dot. For a human to burn and melt, 1600... 1600 degrees of heat must be generated. There's several hundred mitochondria present within a single cell. If all the mitochondria in the body began functioning at the same time, a tremendous amount of energy would be generated and released. Melting a human into a puddle of melting a human into a puddle of fluid would be a simple task with so much energy. So you're saying that the mitochondria ignited these people? Professor, you may be right that we in Professor, you may be right that we need the mitochondria to live, but in the end, we're just using them for energy, right? Haha, <laughs> you have no idea. The mitochondria has control over an organism's growth. Take this hand, for example. Before we're born, this hand is merely a glob of flesh. But when cells between but when the cells between the fingers deteriorate, that's when the fingers first form. When the when the cells which make up the body aren't needed anymore, it receives a signal to die. This signal is, in this signal is initiated by the mitochondria. When it, is when it is relayed, the genetic information in the nucleus is cut off and, in essence, dies. The same can be said for aging. The mitochondria mutates ten times faster than cells. Of course, this, is of course, this also applies to mutant forms of mitochondria as well. When too many mutant mitochondria multiply, energy production level decreases. The decrease in energy production is associated with, age, with the aging process. So, are you, are you still stupid enough to say that we are the higher species? But you're not saying that the mitochondria is doing all this consciously, right? When I said that the mitochondria can mutate ten times faster than normal cells, I meant that it could... I also meant that they could evolve. Let me take a drink before I continue reading here. Ah. All right. It also meant that they could evolve at a rate ten times faster. Since the beginning of creation, the mitochondria has been evolving at this rate. It's no surprise if they possess a power beyond our cognition. No surprise at all. Yo, this is some heavy stuff. This is some real heavy stuff right here. Daniel, let me tell you something. There was a scientist who tried to determine the mutation rate of the mitochondria. With this, the scientist wanted to establish a connection with human ancestry. In 1987, it was announced that the root of all humans can be traced to a single woman in Africa. This finding was announced around the world. And with this, the mitochondrial theory spread like wildfire. You know what they call the root of it all? You know what they call the root of it all? Mitochondria Eve. Splendid name. Just incredible. Eve? The suspect in yesterday's case called herself Eve. What? Hey, if you know anything, you better not be holding back on us. She called herself Eve? Sorry, but I've told you what I know. I'd like to return to my studies now. 
I believe you know the way out. Hey, you better explain what the hell is going on here. Uh, tick, 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 tick. Daniel, forget it. Let's just go. God damn it. You know, Ada's real passive for a cop. She just lets things go all the time. A little investigation. Probably, you know, do a little punching and stuff, but I guess they're trying to be more uh, real with it. Can't just beat up a guy. Because you want to know more stuff. Another car ride? What the hell's wrong with that guy? I can't stand him. Hey, uh, that man, I've seen him before, but I can't remember where. It's Daniel. What? We'll be right there. Hey, it looks like we got a break in the case. What? We gotta get back to the station, eh? Hang on, I'm kicking this into turbo. You know, the funny part about this is, they're in the middle of Manhattan. The traffic is never that clear that you could actually drive like that. <laughs> but I guess, uh, you know, in a game where the mitochondria... I have to believe that the traffic situation uh, got better. <laughs> Or the traffic situation just doesn't exist in Manhattan? I don't know. Like, you can't even go a block without, like, stopping a hundred times. Let's see what chat, cat, catty, chat, cat, chatty Kathy says. Whole place is going nut. Nuts. Wonder what happened. Like, th I understand this part of the game was, like, you know probably set up for it you know set up for exposition let's go folks we're starting the meeting so it's probably you know all the exposition needed to get the story going and you know get to the next part but you know we've been playing for 40 minutes here and I still haven't fought anything this is you know huge gap in the action but I guess this is what makes the game so like you know memorable that they actually focus a lot on the story they focused a lot on uh, presenting a story and not so much on, you know, running, gunning action. Parasite Eve 2 was more about running and gunning action. I don't know about the, the third birthday. I'll be playing that, definitely. So here's Baker. Melissa's solo concert was scheduled for today. She disappeared after last night's incident and the concert was canceled. But people are still gathering at the stage. We must not let another massacre happen again. Why would people gather at a ca canceled concert? The concert is at the Central Park Amphitheater. Central Park? What is it, Daniel? Ben and Lorraine. They're at that concert. What? Daniel, we're not the... Screw you, Baker. My son's in danger. <laughs> That's great. Daniel. Hey, uh... He watches back. Yes, sir. Mod permit. All right. This means more guns or armor or I, I don't even know. Is that, is that a chest? No, that's a tree. <laughs> All right. Let's get our guns modified here. Why can't I go anywhere? Can I go up here? Why would, I go, why would I go up here? There's nothing there. At least not yet. Oh. Well, while he runs out the door ahead of me, I'm gonna go get him a gun upgrade or a mod. No, it's the dog place. Jesus Christ. See if this guy says anything new. This one's retiring after this year. He sure does deserve a break. Right? Police dogs. Okay. 
Uh, I think... When are you going to let me tune up the guns? I didn't ask to be assigned here to watch over the warehouse all day, you know. As long as you see guns as toys, you'll never touch them. Hey, I know I can make a stronger gun than you. Guns aren't supposed to be stronger, you numbskull. They're supposed to be safer. Fine, you geezer. <laughs> okay, do you know what we're facing off against here, dude? Like... Sorry, I didn't mean to make a scene, but that goes for you too. You can never be too careful with a gun. Do you have any equipment modification permit with you? Sure, let's... Which gun? Let's modify the M16. Add another slot. Alright then, just wait here. Maybe I should have saved that. I probably should have saved that. Oh well. All set. Just remember, cops own the guns for protection. Don't let the guns own you. Thanks, man. Man, I could do I could do it so much better. I could turn that gun into a cannon. Easy. You wanna leave something here? Do I? I don't, I don't think I have anything. No, I don't have anything. Alright, let's get going. I think we're finally going to jump into some action. 40 minutes into a game with no action. You got like, All you gotta do is... Uh, all you've been doing is dealing with my shoddy narration. <laughs> but I think finally we're going to head to Central Park and do some battle here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Alright. There's no one else in Manhattan right now. Everybody's at this concert, apparently. There's no traffic at all. Just gonna make a beeline right to Central Park. <laughs> Another car scene. What the hell does Melissa or... No, Eve want from us. Well, it looks like she wants to gather people in one big area. Damn. That thing's got my boy involved. She's gonna pay for this. Let's hurry. Just hang in there, Ben. I'm coming for you. Like, they could have just said that they didn't cancel the concert or something like that, because plot-wise, it's like, it doesn't make any sense for the, all these people to gather in Central Park for a concert that's not happening. Like, why? <laughs> But I guess they needed a reason to gather them. But and Daniel, stop. I gotta get my boy, rookie. And his hands on fire. Whoa. Sometimes you gotta look before you leap, old timer. I don't care if I burn. I'll go. Ben's my son. He's the only family I've got. Damn it, I can't do anything. Leave it to me. But, well, but, but... I'll get them out safe. I promise. Besides, Ben needs you. You won't do him any good if you're dead. Alright. I'm counting on you, Aya. I know. Aya, Ben, don't worry. I'll find him for you. I won't come back until I do. Damn right. Let's get it going into Central Park. So, this area of the game is uh, where the combat's gonna restart again. So, I'm gonna take a save right here. I just saved my state in the emulator, not the actual game save, although I could do that too. Let's just. More medicine? Cool. Let's see, I've equipped the M16. Now this gun... Alright, we get some action here. This gun is way different. It's got three shots, it's more powerful. Ooh, a snake. This must be where the... Whoa! Whoa! It's 
20 damage. Oh, 38 damage. Start away from that snake. My gauge is kind of slow activating. Let me turn again. I'm... Ooh, got it. Critical hit. Not bad. Some more ammo and medicine. I think I actually stand a little further away from them, but I kind of like to get close for those critical hits. I think the closer you load, the more critical hits you get. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing, so if you go into your own gameplay, don't uh, you know, listen to me on that. Alright, so we're outside this place here. Outside the gates of I guess Central Park. I don't know if I re why I remember this, but there's a yep ammo there, and then go up through there. This is just I don't know why I remember that from like forever ago. Here's another chest. What's in here? Another gun. Wow. Three shots. Just, I love how the guns are just lying around Central Park, like... Does the mob control the city or something? You just leave guns everywhere? Just find them? Who a bird. Uh oh. Wow, they're quick. Fire. Those... The bird... The pigeons. Now these aren't even mutated pigeons, they're just normal pigeons. Junk and medicine. I think the junk you eventually do something with it. I don't remember. You know, there's another chest over here. What's inside? Got another tool. If I can only remember what these things were for, because the game doesn't really, ex at least right now, it didn't explain what it was. I know you got the thing earlier with like explaining it, but I didn't get it at all. Alright, here's a door and a payphone. Charred body, those are that's always fun. Alright, so let's over let's see a body. Eve was here. No shit. Okay. So is there anything by the computer? This cabinet? Okay, what's in here? Your inventory's full. Pfft. This, I need I need more inventory space. Jeez. I don't even know what to do here. Wish I could have left alright. Well we'll dis the cure poison, I guess. Oh, okay, that's fine. For a vest? It's totally cool. Let's see. Is it better? Oh yeah, much better. Let's see, is there anything? Oh, what's it? Oh, she moved it. Is there anything in this cabinet? I need a key. Or is there a key? Body have a key? Eve was here. I know there's a. I recall. I don't. Oh my god, I don't remember where everything is. I need a key. Where is the damn key? Is it in the next thing? By the computers? Around here? I thought I found it. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, so... We're gonna find the key here. It's in this drawer. Like, how are... They, I don't know how they expected people to, like, find things when they were, like, so hidden away. That's like kind of my one complaint about this game. And the inventory system's so low. 
There's the zoo key. And we're gonna open this now. Oh my lord. Inventory, so 18 slots. What am I supposed to do? Okay, we're gonna get rid of that junk. Okay. Grenade launcher? How's a grenade launcher weaker than the M16? Okay, whatever. Oh, got some stuff there. So let's continue onward to this. Oh, okay, here's another battle. What? It's like a mutated ape. Oh, oh, it's charging. Oh, just slap me. Yo, that thing. Nothing. All right. Oh, I thought I gained a level. I didn't. All right. Let's use one of these items here to get us back to full health. Full health and make some space, cause I have no room for inventory. All right. I already went that way. Let's go to this door in the middle. See if we can unlock it. Oh, that's a nice little place. Great. Okay, another battle. What are we fighting this time? More snakes. I've had it with these snakes on this motherfucking plane. Surprised they didn't give me give poison nice quick fight more medicine <laughs> well this game isn't shy on the health on the health items that's for sure I just gotta keep using them because there's I just need the space. in here. Medicine 2. Alright, it's almost a full restore. It's almost a full health. Inventory is full. Would you like to exchange an item? I don't even know. Sure, I'll put in a medicine. Oh, for a cure poison? No, I'm gonna take that back. Because I think she gets a, a self-heal with a poison self-heal. So it's kind of a defense plus two. We're going to keep that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she gets some sort of uh, poison healing. So don't really need that. Plus, I think you once you're out of combat, it automatically heals. That was all that was in there. Not bad, three chests. Another box over here. Ooh, another battle. What am I fighting? The monkey and the bird. Oh god. Well, I'm gonna stay away from the monkey for now. Oh! That's not cool. Hit me from like a mile away. Way to dodge that? It's like there's no way to dodge it. Oh, well, what I should do? All right, I managed to avoid getting hit with that one. Uh, oh. Nope, didn't avoid that one. He did. Three items. Just use the medicine? Guess I can't. 
That's a, oh, that's a waste. I could have used that. Oh well. More space. More space in the inventory. What's in here? Oh, 15 ammo. That's nice. 15 shots. Alright, so we got a splitting path here. And we got a fight before then. Gotta avoid the birds. Alright, the snake's coming. Avoid the snake. Oh, wait. Oh, the bird. I'd rather get by the bird. That doesn't seem as. Ooh. Bird doesn't seem as dangerous as the snake. Leveling up, nice. Yeah, so you remove the effects of poison. New parasite power. Taking junk. And bullets. Most important thing in this game are the bullets. Can't fire a gun without it. I wonder if that grenade launcher needs bullets. All of the animals have escaped. Oh, that's scary. What's in this area? Okay, we'll go this way. Is that a corpse? Guess I can't go around the corpse. Oh, there's a running. Ooh, that's the amphitheater. What's kind of creepy about this is how they said that there was people gathering there, but as we've seen, there's nobody around. So either they're all in there, but you know, you'd hear. I mean, I guess you'd hear the people, but you don't hear no one. Backstage. Can I go backstage? I guess not. Alright, go down the middle, see what happens. Oh, there's Eve again. The holiday season brings joy to us all. Doing my Eve voice there. And this Christmas will be the most special of all. Our <laughs> Special because I will no longer be under the control of a host. As I have since the dawn of time. Humans are weak my Humans are weak mitochondria can self-evolve. Uh, okay, maybe I'm reading that wrong. Humans are weak mitochondria can self-evolve. Okay. Mitochondria must now take over the nucleus. All this sign stuff, like... I wish I knew more about it, so I didn't make sense. Oh, here's a video. Is she gonna sing again? Oh! Oh, that's girl. Oh! See? Oh, they're turning into goo! I'm sorry, how is this game... Like, this is why this game is so memorable. It's like, these people are just chilling there. And now they're a giant goo puddle. <laughs> I have to get backstage to stop her. Ah, see, that's... I knew I had to go backstage. Another fight with Eve, I guess. Oh, there's a little, there's a little girl. Is that Eve? Aya has a little girl. Why is she seeing herself? Unless it's not her. Oh God, another fight. Here we go. Why? Why are you doing this? You again. 
But you are too late. You will not ruin my plans as you did last night. Peace. <laughs> she just... She just stepped out. Stop. <laughs> she just floated away like it was nothing. She did not want any part of that. Okay. I mean, I guess she went this way. Oh, there's a little girl. Did she step over the corpse? I stepped over the corpse. Yeah, you stepped over the corpse. What the fuck? Alright, we got this thing. Let's get this box over here. More stuff I can't carry. Oh, more ammo. Great. That's how you know. Someone's about to go down. Alright, I see a save point, so I'll save state. And we're gonna fight something. Oh, a polar bear. That's probably very tanky. Whoa! Shoots electricity? Why the hell does a bear shoot electricity? Why am I looking for logic in this? <laughs> Alright, let's heal up again. Like, I'm using all these medicines, and I probably shouldn't be, but, I mean, all this inventory space is very limited. I guess this way I'm going? Maybe not this way? Okay. Alright, let's... Move a little quicker here, because maybe I'm going to the wrong spot. I think I went to the wrong way. Okay, speed running. Oh, there it is. And we'll keep the speed run on just to save time. Then again, we should we explore around this little circle here? There's nothing. <laughs> oh no, wait. Extends the path. Goes this way. Am I going the right way? Oh, here's a box. Boxes are always good. Another tool. Tools are good. Like the band tool. I like tool. Where are these snowy paths? I don't know if I'm going the right way. But at least we're doing it quick. Do the battle quick too, huh? Whoa. I should just play the game like this. I mean, the music's probably really annoying like this. We'll slow it down. run across this quickly. Oh, another bite. Oh, a polar bear and snakes. Whew, what did that? How did I lose so much HP? Oh, using... Oh, and I'm poisoned. This battle's... This is a tough battle right here. Ooh, taking hits. Oh, wow, that bear smacked me. But I critted him. Oh god, I hope I can heal. Oh, thank god. Alright. 
definitely using normal medicine. Not the waste this. Oh, and I healed my I don't have any more poison. Alright, I can kill him from a distance. That was... That was a battle. I didn't think I'd come out of that alive. I still don't know if I'm going the right way, I'm just exploring. But I gotta be, since I'm going to new areas. This place can't be that big. Ooh, two of these guys. Good on his right side. Getting punched. Alright, one down. Yo, he can hit me from like miles away. Self-heal. So I don't think I have any medicine left. I had so much of it before. Six damage? What the? That's so low. They only hit me for eight, that's fine. Yo, why do I feel like I've been fighting this guy forever? Oh, 16. Alright, he's down. Another level up. Heal 2, restore 60. Perfect. Let's do it. Healing 60. I didn't want to use that other medicine because it seems like a good full heal for some, you know, whenever you need a full heal to get you keep you standing. Another box. Critical evasion rate by 1%. Wow. I don't know if I'm going the right way still. I'm just going. <laughs> Probably missed a whole bunch of stuff. Here's another phone, so... Oh, I saved right at the battle. Not a bad place. What is... What is that pod thing? Ooh! You know, I'm gonna take out that pod thing. Or not. Oh! Nice. Whatever that was. It's probably like a poison cloud. Not bad. Alright. Maybe this place is that big that I'm missing where I'm going. I probably should have followed that little girl. Or not. Oh! Oh! Uh oh. We're gonna save. <laughs> we'll shoot the worm. Oh! That worm hit for a lot. Nope. Oh, look at those. I'm gonna... Do a heal two. Hopefully I don't get hit by these. Oh. Alright. Oh. What is this? Alright, I can avoid them. Oh, these I can, these I'm having trouble avoiding. Oh god. Uh. Oh, I got nailed. Alright, well, I think I'm stuck in that corner. Alright. Come on. 
There's so much fat. Oh, that's a hit. I get the. All right, look at the heal two again. That's keeping me up. I just gotta keep avoiding. Oh god. Yo, he punched me. Oh, I got one. I thought I killed that one. No, he just got bigger, it looks like. I'm gonna use an item. Oh, not the heal two. Okay, okay, medicine one. If I get hit by another 21 damage, I was gonna go down. No, I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna go after you again. Ooh, he looks like he's hitting. That guy looks like he could hit hard. Oh, I'm at nine. I'm at nine. All right, we'll use that full heal now. <laughs> oh. Okay, I should aim for the bigger guys. I don't even know. As you can see, I'm having some trouble here. <laughs> oh, I got one. Oh. Yo, these worms are huge! Oh, I got hit again. I should probably heal my next round. Here we go. I like that I can pause, the game pauses when you heal. It's not like a heal. It's not like they can hit you while you're healing. Oh, I got the lat. One more. Ooh, that's a big worm. I feel like you're gonna hit me real hard. Why can't I use it? Oh, I'm not charged yet. No, nope, no, nope, cancel, cancel. Ah, oh. I think it can only take so many more hits. How do you avoid that? I guess I'll heal again. I'm just bad at strategy with this. Run! Oh, 51? Do I have any more healing items? Nope. I've got nothing. I can only hope to recharge my energy. He might just take me out anyway. And he took me out. <sighs> well, that's how the cookie crumbles. Ha! Or who does it now? <laughs> Just gotta avoid taking a lot of hits. Maybe use the heal ones right now, because I'm not getting attacked as hard.
Like, this game wasn't a joke, man. It's hard. It's tough if you don't know what you're doing. Like me. Oh, I died again. Alright, we are back to the fourth form, the last form of the giant worm, because it took me a whole lot of time to actually get back to it. Um, I don't know how I did this as a young man, 1998, uh, I was maybe 12, 13 years old, and I beat this game, so... I, kudos to my younger self for beating this, but here we are back at the fourth, at the uh, final form of the uh, worm boss, so let's uh, try to take it out. And here we go. No. I swear. No target. Okay, here we go. There's the giant worm again. It's gonna lay its head down and tail sweep. I'm going to shoot it from far away. I guess I'll use... I could use two heals, so I know he's going to hit me again. Like, that's not even fair. Maybe I'm not standing in the right spot to avoid it? Because he's super long. Look how long he is. Oh, I, that's what I gotta do. Well, he pops back into the ground. So when he comes out... Oh, he can't get me. Then I gotta run back in and he disappears, so... It's an interesting strategy, at least I'm not dying. Or maybe I gotta shoot him when he's elongated. Yep. No, don't fire, don't fire. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. That, that wasn't expected. You can stretch out a bit. Oh, just, oh, wow. I didn't even know he could do that. I guess let's throw up some heals again. I'm surviving. That's all that matters right now. That's all that matters. Take it. Still gonna. Wow. I'm just ineffective against him. All the way back. Charge in, maybe shoot. Miss. Heal two again since I have the I'll just say mana parasite energy it's just too much to say. I'm gonna see if maybe if I hold back and wait for him to drop. I gotta catch him at the right moment. No. That's definitely not it. Ooh, 
with those thorns. Items do I got? Poison cure. Oh, I got a medicine. I'll use that. I think maybe I just gotta bite the bullet. Oh, I got him in range. There it is. Give me a level. Two levels? Oh, yeah. Can I get three? Three levels. That's the way to get it. Aya is evolving. Uses PE to absorb damage. Nice, a barrier. Lots of defensive ups. What a battle. That, that took it out of me. It's 1.30 in the morning right now. I can't tell, I forgot what time I began this to record this. Here we go, here's some Eve. Your genes are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear, let's go for a ride. Ha ha ha. Oh no. Do I get in? <laughs> just let's just go for a horse-drawn carriage ride. Ah, oh, poor horse. And Eve is just floating. Not a care in the world. Why? Why be on the human side? Why not? I'm a human. Why are you not... Why are you going with them and not me? Uh... Okay. <laughs> what? Am I gonna fight? Oh, jeez. How am I supposed to fight like this? Maybe I should put up a barrier? There we go. Because she is right up on me. Ooh! That was zero damage. And I could shoot her. And she's gone. Oh! My barrier didn't do much against that. Let me fire at her. Decent hits there. Ooh! What did that? Is the barrier still up? Ooh, right in the face. Right in the boobs. Oh, she slapped. She slaps hard. Uh, I'll throw up some heals. It's kind of a big heal, but, you know. Oh. It's just so quick. Yeah, that was me saving in the middle of the battle. Oh, miss me. Oh, is that the end of the battle? I think that's the end of the battle. It seems you still don't know who I am. Well, if you don't know, your mitochondria will. That's why you were drawn to the opera. What are you talking about? Here, let me explain directly. Stop it! If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will... St stop! This game is pure freaking horror. Well, and science fiction, but... Some horrible, horrible imagery. Let's see. Eve opening up Aya's memories. I 
That's clamp. Aya, Aya, answer me. Daddy? Oh, how did he escape? Ben, weren't you going to the concert? I came here with Mom, but she... she was all weird. Oh, you know what that means. What do you mean, Ben? I came with Mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why you came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. What do you mean, Mom freaked out? She's part of the goo pile. I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself. Dad, she left and everyone else went too. Lorraine. Ew. That didn't turn out well for her. Casualties are much worse this time. We cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have to order it. We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. Oh, so that explains the empty streets. <laughs> what do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we leave it to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting the city. Damn right. Any word from Ayo? Uh, everybody stand around awkwardly. Damn it, where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm gonna go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He's lost to Lorraine. He's lost to Lorraine. He'll find Ayo. You two help with the evacuation. Daddy. Chatty cat. Chatty catty. Chatty Kathy. All up in the business again. Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know. But she's the only one that can fight that thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will you? I will. Don't worry. He'll go. He'll know all the gossip by the end of the day. Daddy! Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. Oh, that's not gonna end well. Definitely not gonna end well. Can I show this dog? Can I show this boy the dog? Sure, let me open the fence. Hey, you got a visitor. This is Shiva. Ah, Shiva. It's named after the Final Fantasy summon. Hey, I think she likes you. Hey, hey that tickles. Fun times. Now that's New York. Oh! That's just so eerie. Like New York, like an empty streets in New York. It reminds me of that scene in uh, 28 Days Later with London being, you know, evacuated. And Jim running around, you know, looking for people. And everybody's, you know, gone or dead. How many times do I gotta tell you? We've blocked this off. You won't even find a cat on this street. Japanese man. <laughs> I told you. I'm ready. I already contacted the. Uh, I've already contacted the. Uh, I've already contacted the police about this matter. What? Er, uh, I'm not getting anywhere with my English. Hey you. Hey you Chinese. 
No, no, I'm Japanese. Nada Ninghonjin Desuka. I'm sorry if my Japanese is terrible. Oh yes, can you speak Japanese? Choto Choto Dakene Dedusuka. I am Kunihiko Meida. Japanese or uh Wow. Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. Oh my lord. <laughs> Even oh my god. Terrible. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. Uh, uh, I'm getting I'm I'm hot. Help. Uh, uh. You guess it's now or never. Wow. That's what happens when you're a racist piece of shit. <laughs> Spontaneous human combustion. I believe that's correct. You want to be a racist piece of shit? You're just going to get fucking set on fire. Or you're going to spontaneously combust. Hmm? Where the hell is she? Maybe there's another memory? No, there's snow on the ground. Christmas tree. Hospital. I don't know. I totally forget what comes next. Oh, he found her. Oh, you finally, you're finally awake. Who are you? I'm Kunihiko Made. Meida. Kunihiko Meida. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. Yeah, Daniel. Daniel. There's no one out there. There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Ben was okay, but... The rest of the audience, well, they just disappeared. Disappeared? You mean they weren't ignited? They all seem, they all melted into slime and became one big mass. That's something new. Nothing like what happened in Japan. Japan? A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan, although it wasn't as grandiose in scale as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. Plot points. It all started when a it all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. The scientist tried to the, the, the scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientists named those cells Eve. Eve? The liver cells multiplied and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. Huh. After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She the being who mutated from the liver cells couldn't maintain her body for long. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had don the wife had registered to have her organs donated. 
So after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl and Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this. I was extremely interested in this and went to his lab so that I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fly over here. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. I'm guessing this is the novel, the the first the, the novel the parasite is referring to. Hey, uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. I thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like it was being You felt you felt you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's, well, she's the only one who isn't affected. What? I don't, I don't understand. None of us do. <laughs> I think I may be a monster, like her. What? What are you saying, Aya? I don't know. What if, what if I end up killing you? Aw, oh, shut up. You know that's not... Please, Daniel. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Please go away. Just... just stay away from me. Hey, uh... Please. Yes, I understand your point. Hey, where do you think you're going? Pfft. He just he just got up and left. Even if I am a monster, I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. I I could never forgive myself if I killed you. Hey, uh, you're no monster. You're my best partner, Aya Brea. I'll be by your side. Always, Aya. Is there supposed to be romance here? Eh, maybe it's, I think it's plutonic. Platonic, not plutonic. Mind control again. When I touched Eve, that feeling was it Maya? But Maya died in the car crash with Mom. No, it just couldn't be. This is a very long day. Oh, thank. Thank God. I don't know if we're uh, an hour and 40 minutes into the stream and all the battling I did off screen. But that's it. Day two of Parasite Eve is in the books. I'll probably do day three sometime next week. Uh, once again, if you enjoyed this stream, uh, you know, like, subscribe, leave some comments, give me your firstborn and your secondborn. And, um, yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I don't think I was as, uh, you know, funny or as, no, I wasn't, definitely, you know, I tried to insert as much commentary as I could, but, uh, when, you know, it was very heavy on the story and then the, the combat sections were, you know, they weren't as difficult this time, but that worm boss was just, you know, that was a whole nother level of, you know, difficulty thus far. But, um, thanks for sticking with me, and I, uh, hope to see you back for day three, which will be selection. And, uh, yeah, see you then.
And welcome back to another gravy gaming session here. We're going to be doing day three selection of Parasite Eve. Uh, let's get started. Will I save my progress? No, we have safe states. Uh, I apologize for the last stream. I felt as if I was lacking energy, which I kind of was. I had been... Um, you know, I've been very busy throughout the day, so I wasn't as energetic or into it. I was a little tired while playing, to be honest, so hopefully this stream, well, this video will actually be a little more energetic and I'll be back to my normal self, so let's get started with the uh, voice ra the voice acting here. Hey, uh, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> So, what's in here? Ammo. We're in some random dirty New York apartment with a trash can in the middle of the living room. I guess the heat's off. Let's head out now. So, in the last chapter, Eve had made the whole audience of the concert into a pile of goo. And Dr. Uh, Maida here is trying to shine some light on what's going on. So, Maida, that was a long night. Sleep well? Aya, you were here all night? I told you to go away. You could have died, you know. There, the music kicks in. This guy's pretty cool, actually. Maida. Scientists can't believe anything without proof. It's it's just one of those things. And besides... What? Oh, nothing. Daniel rolling up. Daniel? Hmm. No traffic. This is a... This is the way it ought to be around here. Daniel. You know, I found it funny how last stream they said that nobody was in New York because everybody had already been gone for the holidays, but that doesn't make any sense because around the holidays, like, tons of people, like, mainly tourists, come in from outside the city to check out Rockefeller Center and the Christmas tree lighting and, you know, do all that touristy stuff at the end of the year. And then there's the whole, you know, New Year's Eve party where Times Square is just filled up. So, you know, that explanation didn't make sense and I kind of overlooked it. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. So, what are we sitting around for? We got work to do. Damn right, let's go kill some shit. Daniel, thanks. All right, we're gonna need some bigger weapons. There's a gun shop over there. Let's stock up. Huh. Now a gun shop in New York City. I don't think that's real. <laughs> I believe there's a pharmacy over there. <laughs> okay, the pharmacy I'll get. There's Dwayne Reed everywhere, but I'm not sure about a gun shop in New York. Hey, let's lose those. Let's lose the long face. Come on, Ayo. Let's go, we gotta stock up. So, do I go on the other side of the car? Or down the street? We'll go down the street. Okay, it's down the street. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there are gun shops in New York. I mean, it's not illegal, but guns in New York are just, you know, it's not like Texas or something like that. Meta, they weren't kidding when they said they sell guns here in America. Were they? <laughs> this is it. We'll help ourselves with some ammo. Like, that would have been so securely, like, locked. Out of the way, eh? There would have been, uh, steel doors over that. Daniel, no. Sorry, but it's the only way. Ooh. Yo, he didn't even tell her to move. What a jerk. Are are you really a cop? <laughs> we think so, but we don't have scientific proof, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> that 
that's kind of that is kind of true. Just breaking and entering. All right, let's pick up some stuff. I see a box. My inventory's full. Replace an item. I don't know what's in here. Well, oh, poison for some range. That's a decent trade-off. Go here. More ammo. Look, look at all these guns. Like, why can't I pick something? Why can't you just grab anything? Made of, this is too much. Right? Just all lying out there for anyone to take. That the gun guy back at the precinct is probably upset. Go ahead and pick out your favorite accessories, ladies. <laughs> what am I supposed to grab? There's something over here. Ah, there. Inventory full. Replace item. We'll leave the junk. Bullet capacity by one. So I'm supposed to get loaded with that, huh? All right, are we done here? Can't tell if there's more. Oh, there's more. All right, let's see what we can get rid of here. All right, discard this junk. Although I feel like I remember the junk being important later on in the game. Like you can like trade it for stuff. Oh, a machine gun. That's nice. A club. <laughs> a second club. How wonderful. Oh, I already took that. I mean, I guess if I want to smack around Eve with a club. That's the better club to use. Let's see this gun here. M16 versus, I think this is the machine gun I just picked up. All right, let's see. The range is a little shorter. Attack power is shorter. And the bullets are more capacity. But it has two shooting modes, I guess. Oh no, it goes from... I could shoot five bullets. Hmm. More shots. I'd have to get in... You know what? Let's try it out. See how that goes. Okay. I think it's time to leave. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. But, you know what? Who cares? All right, let's get out of here. If it's Eve we're dealing with, all the ammo in the world might not even help us. Ugh, Tors will kill me for saying stuff like that. Hmm, I hope these things, I hope these will help us out. Yeah, me too. All right, let's get out of here, I guess. I guess we're getting out of here. This thing about these old PlayStation games, like they just kind of let you try to figure things out. Like this repeat dialogue until you like figure out where you're going. It's kind of embarrassing. Okay, <laughs> just gotta go back down the street. <laughs> oh god, alright. Let's see what they gotta say now. I believe there's a pharmacy over there. Oh, we'll go down the street. The other street, get herself some meds. I barely have room for anything, but, you know, it's never stopped me from dropping some junk. Hmm, just the smell of this place gives me the creeps. It's a pharmacy, dude. What are you creeped out about? So many types of medication, and they all seem strong, too. Yeah. 
Sudafed. The door is broken. Get some Sudafed in you. That'll stop the mitochondria. Daniel here. What's up with him? All of a sudden, he's a happy camper. I would never understand these scientist types. Can't say we will. Here he is. Yes, yes, I wish I could take all these back to Japan. What, do they not got pharmacies in Japan? I guess he just means all that it, you know, all this stuff lying around. Like this right here, what's in here? Full inventory. Let's replace more junk. A revive, nice. I haven't found one of those yet. I think I missed the one. There was one back in the theater, I believe. Or maybe the uh, chest uh, gives random stuff. I might have just got heals or something. All right, here we go. More full inventory. What else can I drop? I can't drop the Zuki. Hmm. Tools, vests. You know what? I'm gonna do something I said I wasn't gonna do. I'm just gonna use one of these. Uh, enhancements already. Use it on the M16. Make that a little better, because that's a pretty decent gun. Medicine too, all right, all right. Not bad at all. What's down this aisle? Absolutely nothing. Just keep walking around aimlessly. Pretty sure that has to be it. Alright, so we'll do a save there. Alright, I think that's all that's in here. This is essentially tw 12 minutes so far into the stream and I've done nothing but go to a gun store and a pharmacy. Shall we go now? I'd like to test some minor... Shall we go now? I'd like to conduct some minor tests. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. If we're stuck, let's move out of here. That's exactly what I want to do. Let's get back to the action. The action, the story here. <laughs> Alright, so, pretty sure I just gotta talk to Daniel here. Hey, you're supposed to be up front with me. Okay, let's go up to the front. Before we go, let's see what he's gotta say. Is there a place nearby with a good research facility? I'd like to test something. Wrong cops, buddy. Are we set, Aya? Yes, road rules don't apply here anymore. We can take the shortest route through Manhattan. True, it's empty. I mean, I would have, I would have left. But you know, there's some people that are still like, I ain't leaving. This is my city. Soho. So where do we go now? Carnegie Hall. We've been there. The museum. Hmm. There's research there. Okay, Meta said he wants to go somewhere with a research lab. That's this is the only place thus far. So maybe it's a quick detour there, otherwise I'm heading back to the police station. So, where to? Is there any place with a is there any place with a research facility? A research facility. I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. It might be relevant. How about the facility in the museum where Doc where Clamp is at? They had really extensive equipment there. No way, man. Anywhere but there. He should have been. He should have been uh, He should have been evacuated by now. It should be okay. Er, yeah, that sounds good. Daniel, is that okay? I'm expecting a big tip for this. Look how they just fly through those New York streets. Looks like the. I think there was some comment in a previous video that said that. It looked like they were going through like the Death Star trench run. <laughs> I 
Like that was that was actually pretty funny because it does look like that. So this is the American Museum of Natural History. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building? Yeah, hopefully we won't run into the jerk who runs it. Since it's since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. Eh, somehow I have a feeling that things aren't gonna be as you know, what could we what we imagine? Oh wow, nothing. Hmm. For a lab in the, for a lab in a museum, it does have a fairly extensive equipment. So what do you want to test? Yes, yes, of course. Let me see. I was able to extract the gel-like substance from Aya's clothing. Gel? Is it from Eve? Yes, it appears to be a remnant of Eve's cells. Ew, that's gross. At the cellular level, her power cannot be as strong as Aya previously said. As Aya said previously. If you hear anything in the background, that is because there is a whole ton of uh, wind here today. It's very windy, and I've got trees surrounding my house, so you're gonna you might hear the them you know whipping around and the wind blowing. So don't mind that. Ow! Hey there, what are you doing? I just want to conduct this experiment to see whether or not. Microscope sounds. Hmm, yes, yes, this is exactly as I... It's just as I thought. Go ahead, take a look. What is it? Another FMV here. I don't know what that's supposed to be. But this is some creepy science fiction stuff right here. Like what what is that supposed to be? Like Aya's cells? And those sounds they make, that's just creepy. Oh, they're attacking the nucleus. Your cells are completely surrounded by them. As you can see, the mitochondria, or Eve, has taken over the nucleus. In a similar manner, the beasts that attacked you probably experienced the same thing. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No, the normal mitochondria never has such power. But Eve's mitochondria has gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria require oxygen when they generate an energy known as ATP. Alright, I added some words there, but... So at this time, the mitochondria requests energy from the nucleus. Without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other. Constantly rely on each other. But in this case, it seems that Eve developed the power to reverse this symbiotic relationship. Evolution, or even mutation, seems likely in this case. Reverse the cycle? Look at this. Even with a limited number of her... Even with a limited number of cells, her cells have this much power. Can you imagine how much power Eve has within her whole body? Maida. Yes? Could you test my cells? Yes, of course, but I want to know. I want to know why I have the power to fight her. I want to know where I stand with her. Hey, uh, please, Maida. I need to know why. Okay. <laughs> yes, of course. Thanks, Maida. Could you step over here, please? I'll need your arm. Like this? Here. Yes, yes. Ow. Let me just set this up here. Where'd 
really she said out to a needle either he was just <laughs> unnecessarily rough or what hmm I think you'd better see for yourself what is it is something wrong another movie what's going on here the life stream is invading the cells oh oh her nucleus is fighting back her nucleus is mutated Do you realize what is happening? Your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. It's almost as if they are protecting the nuclei from Eve's mitochondria. Why does Eve's mitochondria have this kind of power? I don't know, I just... Are you familiar with Richard Dawkins' theory of the selfish gene? I think I might have read part of that. In simple terms, it states that genes act in a manner to preserve and ensure survival of the species. Hey man, I don't read those scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, Aya's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. Why only Aya's? Shouldn't it be the same for us as well? We should have known that power based on... That seems to follow the natural order of things, but I'm sorry, I don't know why. Yo! Professor? What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering. We're cops, bro. Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? I'm asking why are you people in my lab? We're, we're just... We've received orders to evacuate this city. Professor, you really should. I tell you, cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. Yo, 90s New York was no joke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, it was my fault. You see, I asked him to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm... Huh. Kunihiko Maida. I hope I pronounced that right. And I'm, and I'm a scientist from Japan. You were using my electronic microscope. Uh-oh. What? What is this? Where did you get this specimen? You. Where did you get these cells? Those, those are... I, I, I don't know. Do you take me for a fool? With cells like these, they must affect the body's natural state. Er, uh, um. Oh, shut up. I'll just ask Officer Bray. Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. Do you feel any bodily changes? I. No. You should feel somewhat hot? No. Speak up, Officer. I can't hear you. Have you recent? Have you lost consciousness recently? Hey. What the hell is this? Why is by why is my boy's name here? Lorraine? Lorraine's on here too. Clamp, you tell me. You! You tell me what this list is for. Tell me you hear me. Let go of me. I don't have to tell you anything. What? Daniel, calm down. Mm. Daniel? Damn. Yo, if I were him, I would have busted him up. Get out of here. Yo, totally cool if you bust him up. Nobody would say a thing about police brutality. Sorry to disturb you. But we do have a fish. But we do have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. Officer Bray, do you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? <laughs> oh, no, thank you, er, bye. 
too late now. It's too late to do anything now. They left her cells there too. I wonder if that has anything to do with anything later on. <sighs> Alright. So, let's head back to the police department since I can't imagine going anywhere else at this point. Maybe go back to the pharmacy? Damn him. One of these days. What was that list? It was an HLA type listing. It's a list to see whether organs were... It's a list to see whether organs will be rejected when... <gasps> That's what... Ooh, excuse me. It'll be a list to see where... Whether organs will be rejected when transplanted. Why the hell are Ben and Lorraine on the list? It was a list of people with matching HLA types, so... Damn, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna go back to the station and get in the... Seriously, I wouldn't blame him. He can definitely, you know, beat the shit out of him. New York Police Department. Oh, I think I remember what comes next here. Oh yeah. What the hell happened here? Eve? She, she's here? I'll go look around. You two stay here. Hell no. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for this thing to kill my family. Daniel. Dude, you got set on fire the last time. Wait. Hey, wait. Here. Take this. What's this? It's a good luck charm from Japan. It's the best I can do. I see you can't hold any more. I'll wait here then. Please be careful. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't know. I don't even know. Anymore here. We'll put some defense on. Which vest here? What, that one. Okay. We'll take this good luck charm. Hamaya. Please be careful. It will wait. I will wait for you here. So, does this Hamaya do? Doesn't do anything, apparently. All right. Let's go into the police department. Clearly, Eve is there. Oh, dead body. I'm getting help. Hang on. He did not respond. All right. Let's check the locker room. Another body. Hold on. Where are you going? Door locked, door locked. Oop. Wow, I keep hitting the wrong button. My fingers aren't my fingers aren't good today. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so Ooh, a boss a fight. Not a boss fight. Alright, I got my machine gun. Looks like an evolved sort of rat here, so Oh That's neat. Yo, that gun's pretty sweet. Oh, I can't pick up the gun. Can't pick up the medicine, apparently. See, I don't know. That's kind of weird how it choke. So the machine gun chooses random targets, which I don't really feel like I'm cool with that. So I'm going to switch back to the M16. You know, I just want to point and shoot at, you know, the target I choose. Let's see how the main... Uh-oh. Which, which guy is this? Warner. Hey, uh, man. Eve really caught us off guard. 
Most of her men were out. I'm getting help. Hang on. No worries. I'll be alright. You go after Ben. See, I'm just kind of surprised that all these people are still alive. Like, she should have just set them on fire. Oh, another body. Are you okay? Where's the captain? He went to look for Ben. No, hold on, please. Alright, so Ben, that is Daniel's son, he is in the precinct. So, we're searching for him. So, if I recall correctly, this battle should lead me. I have a feeling I remember where the battle is, but I'm just going to check around for more stuff just to, you know, load up. Okay. Okay, I was going to shoot that guy, but I figured I could dodge him. Oh! Two shots at almost. Oof. Got him. And the stupid bird. Stupid New York pigeons. Got it. Oh, no. Alright. Definitely need that offense. What can I drop here? My guy. I drop the club. Oh, nice. Okay, so I dropped the club. I left the medicine. So I'm actually just gonna take one of the. I'm gonna take this medicine to make some space. Let's see if I can drop off all these different little knickknacks I got on me with the. Uh, the uh, storage guy. Wait, it's me! Hey, uh, this freak of a dog got Torres. Hey, uh, guess I screwed up, huh? Why? Why didn't you shoot, man? Haven't used guns since... Since your daughter was shot? Torres, you can't blame guns for that. I suppose... You're right. Wayne, you take care of this place now. Torres! No, Torres. No, oh, well, this gun—it's—it's it's Torres' gun. Hasn't used it in ages, but he always kept it in shape. Torres wasn't just good at gun tune-ups; he was a good shot too. Ever since his daughter was killed by a gun accidentally going off, he stopped shooting altogether and came. To to check this department to keep guns in check. Hey, I know you can handle this gun. Take this and nail that monster for Torres. Will do, man, will do. This one's is for you, Torres. All right, if you want to leave something here, we'll hold it. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I have no junk. Definitely take, all right, beautiful. So, take that, take that, see, I believe saving all these for later allows you to make some better guns and armor from, uh, basically better guns and armor, because <laughs> these are just, you know, the starters in the game. So, but then again, I'm not entirely sure because I only ever rented this game from Blockbuster, so I never really got to the, the sort of end game stuff. Ugh. All right, revive and clear inventory. All right, let's move some of the, the equipment too. So, get 
get rid of this vest. Get rid of this machine. No. Get rid of this machine gun. Like it was cool for a second, but I have a feeling it was going to be, uh, you know, too wild. Grenade launcher. That you'd think that would be super strong, but it was just not. So I'm going to keep. Should I even bother keeping this handgun? Yeah, I'll keep the handgun. Tune ups. I have three tools. Oh, I think I like. You can like create stuff. But I'm not gonna try that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with that. But points. What are these points for? Oh, you can add. Okay, so you can customize the guns guns a little better. So I can put 21 bullets in my M16 or raise its attack, the range. Oof. I th hmm. You know what? I'm going to keep going with what I've got so far and save those points up. Because I have a feeling I can make something real cool later on if I do. Alright, so we got the medicine. Or maybe I'm going to regret, or maybe I'm gonna regret that decision later. <laughs> I might be too weak to fight off whatever is coming. I doubt it though. Alright, so this door over here was previously closed. I think that was the dog kennel door. Uh oh. No, not Kathy. She had all the gossip. She had all the hot goss. I'm sorry. Ben's gone. Where? I don't know. Shiva went berserk and Ben went after her. What? No, not chatty Kathy. Oh, fight time. Oh, these monsters. I feel like I have to stay on there. Oh, what is that? Oh god, they trapped me. I am trapped. Oh, thank god for that revive. <laughs> Save the game there. <laughs> oh god. Maybe I should... <laughs> Maybe I should have, uh... Yo, they hit hard. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, thank god. Alright. Let's do some heals, because he hit so hard. I think I might kill him with these next two shots, though. Oh, thank God. Whew, that was... That was intense. <laughs> if I didn't have that save, I don't know what I would have done. Not that save, the uh, revive. So we're back at full health. There's the berserk dog. Shiva! Stop! Come back here! I think they're telling me to hurry it along. Blocked. All right. Let's head after. Oh, another body. Is that Daniel? 
Oh no, it's Warren? Nix. Aya, you better get up to- You gotta go after Ben. He went upstairs after chasing Shiva. Come on, we need to take care of that wound. I'm alright, just go after Ben. Gave me some bullets. Alright, let's check in here if there's anything. The thing about these RPG games, it's like, if you were actually following the intensity of the game, you'd be like, just following everything and missing items and like, experience points. Like this spider thing is so... Oh, it causes a slow effect. And I'm trapped. Why am I trapped? Okay, I can get up on the stage. Cool, I didn't realize that. So, let me shoot this thing. There we go. More bullets. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Sorry, right, let's get this chest. Ooh, another high defense strong against SA. Let's see, that's why I don't upgrade anything, because there's always something else along the way. Oh, look at that. Way more defense, way more energy, higher crit, auto something. Auto medicine when HP is low. Ooh. Now that saves me some turns in combat. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, you get something like that, you don't want to be wasting your, you know, stat boosts on stuff that's not even going to have any auto skills or anything like that. That was a, see, that's a good detour. That was a good one. Alright, so you took a little pause in the action here to uh, go get a drink because my mouth was getting dry. So, let us continue, even though for you it was only a second, for me it was about a minute. Oh, I didn't check the body. Does this guy not talk? Nope, he dead. But, uh, if you've been listening to the streams and you have any questions for me about my you know, my narration work, or my stories, moderating the short series stories, um, you know, leave it in the comments. Ooh, Shiva's growling. Shiva, don't go that way! You know, Shiva, what happened to you? Shiva, wait! Oh, rats! <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, if you've got any questions, comments, whatever, just leave them in the comment section of this video and I'll try to answer them in my next stream. Which should be sometime in the week. I only play this game- oh! Not these guys again. I'm gonna save. Ooh, that's a big hit. So it seems as if it's those... It seems as if those energy blasts go down the further away you are from them. Do I get a level here? No. More medicine, though. That helps with my new auto-medicine ability. What's in the box? What's in the box, man? More me Wow, that's a full heal medicine three. Sweet. Ooh, what's this thing here? It's shiny, therefore they want you to pick it up. Why can't I pick it up? Storage key. Oh, that's for that downstairs area that I couldn't open earlier. I'm guessing I should go back there? Should I go back there? You know, I'm gonna go back there. You know what, it's like the game's telling you, go back there, there's something that'll help you out with all this, you know, BS you're dealing with. So, let's take a quick trip down, I'll 
I'll do a frame rate skip, that way we're not taking too long. This door right here. There we go. What could be in here? Certainly doesn't hurt. Oh, another machine gun? See, that's what I'm talking about. A tool. Something to save for later. And an offense plus one. Eh, wasn't as grab rigging as I thought, but still better than nothing. Oh, look at that. More attack. Less range. 24 bullets. But it fires three shots. You know what? I'm going to keep this on me. I'm going to keep that on me and see how it goes. You know what? I'm going to equip it. I'm going to change it. I could change it later if necessary. We'll see how it goes. All right. Let us let's frame rate skip back to where we were. I'm used to playing games like th at this speed now cuz why take so long when you can do it in so little time? All the uh recent re-releases of the Final Fantasy series, they all have this like speed up option. And it makes like it makes the game so much more bearable. Oh, oh, that was a beating. I could get away from them. That was a beating and a half. I'll take that. All right, they seem kind of lost. Now they're coming at. Do I have any power? Oh, I haven't been using my barriers. I forgot I had a barrier. That's what happens when you don't play in a long time. It's been about a week since I played, so I should remember having the barrier, but... There it is. Perfect. Gained a level. Some items, bonus points. Parasite powers have evolved. Energy shot. Channel energy into a bullet. Interesting. Okay. I think that's going to do some major damage. At least I hope it does some major damage. What's in this room? Safe point and a box. Critical evasion. So you know when there's a safe point, it means shit's about to go down. I'm not sure. I think. I think there's a fight with. There's certainly a fight with the dog, but I'm not sure if there's a battle with Eve in this part of the game again. Shiva, are you okay? Oh no, I think I fight some other monster. Ben, get away from her! Let go, Shiva's sick! Stop, you're hurt, Shiva! She isn't Shiva. Eve's turned her into a monster. A monster? Close your eyes, Ben. Oh, another creepy ass transformation movie coming up. It's a dog. Oh. Oh, that is so gross. Oh, it's like Cerberus. Cerberus now. Three headed dog. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> oh no. You're not touching him. Too bad your bullets aren't infused with mitochondrial fighting 
mitochondria in this. Ah! Great. A battle before the battle. Ooh! That nailed me. The rats got a little tougher, that's for sure. Oh, that's so cool. Use the medicine. And they're stocking me up on medicine too, which is rad. Every little bit, you know, every little bit's gonna help. Lab tech. Ah! Please, help me! I stepped outside and those things were all over. You'll be safer here. Don't leave this room. Lab tech. Okay. Hey, you're hurt. I think I have enough supplies to treat you just once. Do you like some first aid? Come on, I just used the freaking... <sighs> sure. I just used... I think I probably used that full health. I'm sorry, I don't have any more supplies here to treat your wounds. What good are you, scientist lady? Any boxes? Like, why was she untouched? I mean, she just... See, that's the smartest thing to do. Just chill out in the room. And wait until everything blows over. Because everybody's trying to be a hero here. I'm not going to make it. Take the stuff in my locker. What? Locker key. You know what this means, right? Let's take another trip back down to the locker room. Maybe this guy is... Maybe... Oof, okay, that's not bad. Maybe this guy has something interesting in there. Something useful. See, I'm liking these three bullet shots. At first I wasn't too crazy about it. Use a... small heal. Just to have room for stuff. But... Maybe I'll have something cool in that locker room I can use. It's also kind of a risk because, as you can see, there's random encounters throughout. But, you know, it might be worth it just to check out what he has in his locker. Might have some crazy bullets or something. That's not where the locker room is. This is the locker room. Trading card? What is this? <laughs> Did I just really go back downstairs for a card? You know what, I have a feeling it's probably going to be something of importance for later. But while we're up, while we're down here, I'm going to go back to the junk dealer guy and, you know, make some space or fight some creatures. I'll fight it in fast motion. So oh, those birds were incredibly easy to kill. Uh oh. Oh, come on. All right. We're gonna get rid of the medicine one, exchange for a medicine two, and we're gonna leave it at that. Not much else I can do there. But once again, we're going to script the frame rates here. Move a little faster. Discard junk. Nail this monster for Torres, eh? If something here, okay. Equipment. We've got. Alright, I'm moving a handgun over. I'm moving the old vest. And I could have sworn I got rid of this club earlier. 
Oh, I couldn't get rid of it. Alright, and now let's store some items. Whew. Prevents stiffness. A tool. Offense, evade, don't need the storage key anymore, don't need the locker key, I don't know if I'll need his good luck charm or not, but it doesn't hurt to have it, so we'll sort all the items there. All right, we're good to go. So let's rush back up. Oh, now we're gonna fight first. Another battle. So what's good about this is I'm gonna get another level. I'm gonna gain another level after this fight, so I'll be a little more prepared to fight off whatever, all that three-headed, really? I'll just take the jug for now, get rid of it. I'm gonna fight that three-headed dog. Zipping through, zipping through. Going through, hopefully no random encounter. Yay, no random encounter. This guy, all right, so let's keep going. Just save the game. Oh, crap, went the wrong way. I right, keep going the right way, we'll slow it down. Alright, getting... Oh wow. Ugh. See how important that vest ability is? That's something that I would definitely in invest in later. Ha ha ha! Now we gained a level. More points, more HP, more medicine and ammo. Perfect. I don't know what room this is. Uh, looks like some sort of medical room, and of course, a random battle. More spiders, spiders and birds. Oh, that's the stiffness. I have the stiffness debuff, which makes me move slower. See, I think they should definitely make it so that whenever you fire, or you have leftover... Wow, I keep on getting... Hit. Full cure. Oh, that's beautiful. That See, this is room worth going into, even though I didn't know at the time. Okay, so I think we're as prepared as we're going to be for this next battle, which I'm sure is just a- oh my god, another encounter. Same thing, but let's be smart about it, let's go after the big gun first. Okay, there. I guess they decided to do the same thing with me. That guy's a bigger threat. He has that energy move. Damn, we used the cure. The full cure on that, I think. That's not so bad. I keep reloading. Keep loading up on stuff. Oh no, I didn't use all negative status. Oh, it's not a feel not a full like health restore.
All right. I think we're heading into battle now. So I saved in the hallway. Hey, yeah. Hey, Uncle Baker's herb. Shiva? Oh my god, look at this silent. It's not Shiva. Shiva's already dead. Hey, please don't let her turn into a monster. How do you. F Come on, I'm. I'm the one you want. Oh god, how do you fight this thing? There are three targets. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? Let's try this energy shot. Oh, 102 damage. Oh, that drained all my power and it makes her dizzy? And then take a big hit. Get out of the way. Take a shot. Dodge that. All right, this isn't that hard thus far. I'm, you know, I was imagining that tail would have more of a factor in this since it's such a big tail. You know, there's got to be a tail sweep move. Yo, he healed for a hundred. Alright. Let's try this energy shot again, I guess. Boom! Oh. You ain't got a face no more. So I keep shooting the... Oh. Alright. We reload. <laughs> That's how we do. We're not here to see me fail. See if I shoot that third head, the one that healed itself. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Hit me pretty hard there. Let's see if I keep taking on this third head. Nope, it restored itself. Oh wow, it restored its other head. And it hit me pretty hard. Jesus. Alright. So we're going to get back into this fight now. I don't know what just happened there. Okay, I took care of one of the heads. There's the other head. So each head has a different amount of... Each head has its own amount of HP. So... Focusing on one of the heads at a time is probably the best course of action. And, you know, avoiding getting shot at in the face. Use this energy shot again. Do some decent damage there. This like headache thing she gets. Oh, that really hurt. Gotta get. Oh, okay. So just use another medicine. Like, the attacks aren't hard to dodge, it's just a, a lunge and then that attack. You just gotta stay away. Stay away from that beam attack. 
Oh, and then stay away from its ass. I think I killed... So what's left is the middle head. Which leaves it with a beam attack, which as you can see I've been dodging it pretty well. 75 damage there, all crits. Oh, see. That's fine, I've got the medicine, the heals, the self-healing, which takes away. I don't waste turns healing. Got it. Yeah, that's how we do it. Died only once. <laughs> Gained a level. Parasite powers have evolved. Confused targeted enemy. More HP, more levels. Another gun. What kind of gun is this? Probably another handgun. I'll take it though. Excuse me if you heard me burp, I just been drinking some Pepsi while playing and clearing my voice here. Ben, Captain, hey, Uncle Baker's hurt. Ben, Daddy. Ben, are you okay? Uncle Baker was protecting me. Baker looks like he's just having a heart attack. Captain, thank you. Remember when Ben was younger? We used to play it. We all used... We used to all play at your place. Sir, cut that out. Baker is fine. Like the old times. Aww. Glad these tragedies could bring people together. Shiva. Ben. Hey, uh, whoever did this to Shiva, you'll get him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I will. You get him, Aya. You have no other choice. Ah, Conception. Day 4. Well then, this marks the end of this video. And despite it being about an hour and seven minutes, it certainly felt a lot shorter to me than Day 3. I mean, Day 2. <laughs> I'm telling you, that day I was tired, and I was playing, and I feel like I wasn't as presentable, but for tonight's game, I feel that I think I did a decent job. Um, let me know how you feel about it in the comments, and if you uh, liked it, if you want, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you want to tell me I suck, or if you want to tell me I'm a cheater for using safe states, whatever you want to do, just... Leave it in the comments, I'll have a good laugh at it, and you can feel better about leaving me some, you know, hatred. <laughs> Alrighty, see you on, see you next time. Hello, and here we are again, back at day four, Conception. I apologize for the one week break, but I went on vacation last week, so I wasn't around at home to record the game and frankly I felt like I needed a long break. I know my wife did because she's been working non-stop since last year and she just needed a break so you know went away to see family for a little bit. We we're all vaccinated so it was cool to be around each other. We haven't seen them in about a year and um, I saw my family. We saw some friends on uh, Saturday, we took in a baseball game at Yankee Stadium on Sunday. And, you know, today's Monday. We kind of get back into the groove of things. And so for tonight, I'm going to just get back into it and uh, have something to post online because uh, it's been a few days. And, you know, that YouTube algorithm, if you don't, I guess if you don't keep up with it, it'll, uh, you know, ignore you and nobody will be able to find your stuff. So, um, I guess let's get started with day four, conception. Will you save your progress? No, we have our save states. Uh, I think last time I played this, I fought off a dog with three heads. Daniel, ah, ahem, uh, people. 
Come on, Daniel. You're in charge now. Yeah, well, I'm not used to this sort of thing. You're doing great, boss. You haven't done anything yet. But why did Eve decide to attack the precinct? To get rid of us? Maybe that Japanese guy knows something about it. You're right. Where do you go anyway? And I guess it's up to me to find him. Let's see what he says. I bet he's snooping around the criminal ID lab on the third floor. Ah, that makes sense. I'll be fine. Besides, I promised Nick, Nick's at the hospital that I'd settle the score. I'd settle scores with Eve. Oop, my bad. We'll start fixing up the office. Okay. Perfect. All right, so we're going back up to the lab, or I guess the one tech gave me a full heal. Do, 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 do. I love this music. I could probably listen to it by itself. Like back in the day, back in the day, Square Enix used to do great music. Like the Final Fantasy VII soundtrack. Like, I absolutely love that. Like, I could listen to the orchestral stuff and the normal, you know, songs that they do. Like this I could listen to just chillin'. It's kind of a chill song. Alright, so I don't exactly remember where it is, so don't mind me checking each and every door on the way there. Plus maybe we'll find something. I think this is the room. Yeah, no, it's not in here. I'm sure I've missed some stuff along the way. Is it in here? Nope, this is that office again. Yeah, so up until this point, I don't I don't remember anything after this point, I don't think. Like I mean I kinda remember stuff more towards the end, I think is the lab. It's been a long time since I played the game, so we'll see how it goes, but I don't remember anything after this part, after fighting off Shiva. Thought you'd be here. I didn't think so. I'm just listening to Daniel. How did you guess? This kind of place makes me think more clearly. Tap, 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 tappy, tappy tap, foots. Tappy tap feet. Hey, Maida, why did Eve attack the precinct? What the. What I want to know is, why didn't Eve show herself this time? I felt her presence here, but as soon as we arrived, she was gone. It could be a distraction. Distraction? For what? What for? Is there a sperm bank or a hospital that conducts artificial insemination nearby? Whoa. <laughs> a sperm bank? Well, I don't think Eve's body will last much longer. Right now, the mitochondria are just parasites in her body. So she's trying to create this ultimate being like she did in Japan? I'm afraid so. So we can't stop her from getting there. She'll eventually die. I mean, so if we can stop her from getting there, she'll eventually die. I think a hospital, I think a doctor at St. Francis Hospital specialized in artificial insemination. Let's go, Meta. Hey, what about me? You're captain for now, remember? You gotta look after the precinct. Alright. Here, take this then. More mod permits? Ammo. Yeah, I definitely don't remember any artificial insemination place. So, uh, hospital. Look at all that. I guess that's New Jersey across in the background over there. 
for Jersey City. Just looks like a square of nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, that looks looks like like a million little ports. All right, the the bridges are on this side, so there's Jersey. Jersey City has to be right over those the bridges. I don't know, but Jersey City's more than a bunch of ports. Jersey City's pretty nice, actually. They really changed things up there recently. It's more like a hipster area. And look at this Star Wars light speed vehicle thing. Police car, New York Police Department car is light speed through New York City. What's wrong? You're awfully quiet. Uh, oh, uh, her. I wonder why Daniel didn't come with us. He said he's gotta get a. He said he's gonna get the dirt on Clamp. He also wants to be with Ben. Oh, yes, of course. Maida? Yes? That creature that was born in Japan. What happened to it? It died along with the scientist that wasn't its father. How did a monster like that die? There was a rebellion. The mitochondria passed from the fa The mitochondria passed from the father didn't connect with the ones passed from Eve. It began to deteriorate, and the father held onto the dissolving flesh and they died. Even though it's a monster, I guess it's still your child. Eh. Eh. I mean, all this gooey, transforming dogs and rats and parrots and pigeons stuff, just... I guess I'm not that attached to my deformed children or whatever these things are. A hospital? I don't remember a hospital. Here it is. This hospital. It's hot. It looks like Eve is in there. <laughs> At least he didn't go set, get set on fire like Daniel did. You wait here. Hey, uh, take this. Another good luck charm? It's a bell to keep away bad spirits. Just hold on to this, okay? Thank you, I'll keep it. Just taking up more inventory space. You know how rough managing inventory is spaces for thus far. All right, we save just now. Just first door. Walk into the first door. Hey, treasure chest. A tool. How's my? How am I on space? Fifteen out of twenty-three. Great. Well, I have a ton of junk. Wish I'd gotten rid of it. Drop anything? No, I don't want to drop it. Huh. Actually, I'll leave behind the junk. There it is. Alright, one more space for inventory. Hmm. I feel like. I don't know why I feel like I remember this place being real big that I we got lost, maybe? Not sure. I mean, I'm not lost right now. Clearly, I have to go through one of the doors or not, but I'll just go through this one first, see what, what's going on this way. Hmm? Hey, Maya? Or is it just my reflection? Door locked. So there's elevators, green switches. All right, we'll hold off going to the second floor for now. Let's go check on this door over here. See if it leads anywhere. Nope, door locked, perfect. So let's go upstairs. Second floor, third floor, I don't know where we're going. I need a green key card. So do I need a green key card here? 
No, I don't. This is a special elevator. Well, the other one's a special elevator. This is the normal one. What floor? Okay, I guess it just picks the floor for you. Hmm? Going down. Oh, God. Oh, no. The elevator cables. Oh, God. Come on. Eve is doing shady stuff. Of course, we're like in, in like the basement of like an insane asylum or something. And night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. The power. Uh oh. Eve's trying to trap me down here. She's got the main power line. Oh great. One elevator is broken and without power, the other is useless. <sighs> you know what? I kind of remember this now. I gotta find a way to restore power. I know there's probably a couple fights in this hallway. something shining just gonna stretch up and fuse one awesome it's already trying to fix stuff oh a rock grenade launcher these aren't that good but once again we'll drop more junk Put junk in the other one. This junk has to have some sort of value later on. Oh, a battle. What are these? Oh, coming after me. Oh. What is that? Perfect. One down. All well, these things aren't very active. Oh, I was trying to be quick about it. Huh. Ah, of course I got hit by it. Should have dodged that. Here for poison and more ammo. Nice. Yeah, those things weren't that tough, which is good. Oh look, I did not see that door there. Huh. Oh, Maya again. Maya, wait, it's me. Why are you dressed in those clothes? You must be cold. Try to get through here. Door locked. Need a blue key card. That's open. Another box. Medicine three. That is great. Drop an item. I don't have anything to drop. Great. That's good. Do a save here. Saved. Odd topsy key. Don't ask me why I decided to look there. Huh. Well, it's kind of cool that I found that. Alright, let's get out of here. You know, there's got to be some creepy thing in the autopsy room. Is that the autopsy room? I'm gonna go back and see. Maybe the key works for this door right here. But that would be way too convenient, wouldn't it be? Yeah, way too convenient. That it's right there. No way, I gotta have me explore the entire hospital and fight a bunch of creatures. Open lockers. 
Alright, guess not. No open lockers there. Okay, this is where I came from earlier, so we'll explore these rooms we haven't seen yet. Yep, there's definitely a battle. <laughs> huh. All right, I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight off this. Whoa! I'm gonna f no, I'm gonna fight off this gross flying thing since it's moving faster than these other two things. Oh, it's like making the floor full of poison. It's like spitting up on the floor. Alright. I think I'm using a machine gun. Oh, he's about to spit up at me. Oh! Wow, this thing's... This thing's poison runs quick. More poison cure... Cure M. What's cure M? What is this cure M? Stiffness. Nah. I'm running into too much stiffness. That's what the spider webs are for. I don't think I'll be running into any spiders, but who knows. See, what I like about this chapter is that you're just thrown into... Wait, I was just here. What? <laughs> Alright, now I'm going in circles without realizing it. Surprise none of these open. Of course, you gotta have something creepy coming out of the closet. Oh, it's in here. Defense plus one. Awesome. Alright, we'll go back out here. What I was saying, what I like about this day is that, you know, I hope you enjoy your stay. Yo, did she just destroy the elevator now? She destroyed something. Who knows? I keep interrupting myself, but like I was saying, the cool thing about this day is that, you know, they throw you right into this. Yeah, discard the key. They throw you right into this, you know, the hospital, and you're just already off fighting and doing stuff on your own. Not too much on the, uh, you know, lollygagging on the plot. Oh, look at that. Raw corpse. All right, fight time. That was the thing with the other, I think chapter two or three. Oh, there's the stiffness. Oh, now I'm poisoned. Stiffed and poisoned. I have to cure that poison soon. I'll do that now. Should I use an item? Yeah, I'll use an item. Make some space and effectively use an item. Kill this guy first. He could actually do damage. This other guy's just walking around spitting on the floor. Nothing, you know. Thought he was gonna be more fearsome with his attacks. Reminds me of that thing from the zoo, the the monkey, I guess, in the zoo. It looks like it, but it's just like a flying monkey. Huh? Wizard of Oz. Do. Heal. I'll recover my energy soon, so that's okay to use. Better than items. It's also the thing I like about this game. Like, the item usage is actually necessary and on par with the parasite power usage. 
offense plus two. See, that's what I'm talking about. All these different little stat upgrades. But I gotta wait till later to get the weapons that are best suited for it, I think. Or I think I just make stuff. I think, look, I gotta look that up later on to see how I'm supposed to do the weapons or the most effective way to do the weapons because I believe you're supposed to combine their effects. Oh. Yo, he just threw some explosive thing at me. I don't think it's... It looks like a like a bigger rat than this. Oh, poison again. But I feel like these guys don't hit all that hard. Besides the the poison does the damage over time, but otherwise it's like that little attack doesn't do much damage. Ooh, level up. More points, more health, everything. That's how it's done. Yeah, these these guys don't hit too hard, which is kind of nice because I feel like everything else before this point has been hitting super hard. Let's see a corpse. Examining a blue key on a corpse. That's how that goes. Radioactive sign. Let's go in. <laughs> I guess I can't go to the radioactive room. But, there's something shiny up there. My inventory is full. I want to know what that shiny thing is. Alright, let's do medicine one. Top ourselves off. Go into combat a little more smoothly. Fuse two. Now, where the hell? Where am I supposed to use these? I think this looks like. That looks like I'm supposed to put something in there, doesn't it? It's like a fuse box. But I guess not. It's very full. Would you like to exchange? Well, yeah. Oh, vest against status attacks. Let's see. Is it better than what I'm wearing now? Uh, a little lower defense. Let's see, lower defense, lower crit, but I'll do better against status attacks. You know what, I would equip it, but I'm not too worried about the status attacks to be honest, because what, what, this one's just going to slow me down and the other is just going to, uh, what do you call it? They're both just going to slow me down a little bit, it's not a big deal. Oh look, the grenade launcher is significantly powerful in this machine gun. But, I don't know if I should use it or not. You know what? We'll give it a shot. Just for the sake of doing something new and different, right? Let's experiment. Experiment with it a little bit. See what happens when you fire a grenade. I mean, the last grenade launcher I had did not do anything against those worms. So, we'll see how this goes. But, I got two fuses. I don't know where the heck I'm supposed to use them. And the blue key card. So I think I remember the blue light being down this way. So, right? That's a blue light right here. Okay, maybe I made that up. No, this has to. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just as lost as I feel right now. I mean, this can't be all that entertaining watching me walk around this place lost, trying to find stuff, but I mean, you know, I guess it's kind of cool. Yeah, I think this is the hallway I was talking about. The blue light right here. Yep, blue key card. No longer useful, discard it. Perfect. Maya again. 
Maya, wait. Don't leave me. Alone. Oh, that's where I gotta use the fuses, probably. Another machine gun. Oh, let's see how this is. Rifle M10 versus. Alright, let's check it out. So, that was my old machine gun. How does it fare against my new machine gun? Oh, yeah, that's an upgrade. <sighs> Sorry, I had to take a drink of water there. My mouth was getting dry. But like I said, I'm going to try out this grenade launcher for now and see how it works against some smaller enemies. Ooh, an entire room here. I see a box. Full inventory. Would you like to exchange? Of course I would. I guess I'll get rid of the stiffness cure. A tool. No, nope, no. Nope, don't want that. No. A stiffness tool remover. Ooh. What is that thing? I guarantee it's gonna like charge at me super quick. All right, hold on. Two bullets. Oh. Some basketball. Okay. It hit me with a basketball or something. Very powerful. Eh, I'm not gonna pick that up. I mean, that was kind of effective, but I just feel like it was very... I feel like the loading time was so slow. So, I'm gonna stick with the machine guns. We'll stick with the machine gun, right? Right. Oh, something on the floor here. Uh, more full inventory. I don't know what to use anymore. Definitely not the medicine. Attack power by two. Discard the poison cure. So we have parasite powers to do that. And the third fuse we need. Ooh. So yeah. Let's get to the fuse box here. I think maybe there's four fuses. Oh no, the main circuit breaker is torn apart and some fuses are missing. So, insert a fuse. What am I supposed to do? That doesn't look right. Toggle the power off. I love how it says try to fix the wires. Let's repair the wires first. Imagine if I hit, if I told it to do it, touch the repair the wires while the energy, the electrics on. That would have been some craziness. Okay. Start the fuse. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Turn it back on. 
Do I have one more fuse? Yes, I have the last fuse. Nice. We bought the power back. I guess I gotta go to the elevator, but let's keep exploring here. Because there's bound to be something I missed somewhere. Like, I don't think I went down that hole. Oh, well, there's nothing really here. <laughs> Except this mound of crap. Oh, that's what broke earlier. I thought Eve busted the elevator. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Because Eve cannot stop us. We're going to stop her from getting inseminated. <laughs> oh lord. It's going to stop her from having kids. I guess that's right. Whoa, there's two of them? Maya and me? She's just as surprised as I am. Door locked. Alright, let's chase down these kids. Or ghosts, whatever they are. test out my new machine gun against these four I don't know oh wait the firing is random <laughs> that's kind of cool but kind of inefficient and it wastes a lot of ammo I kind of like it. And I'm being murdered. Like, I guess against a single target this would be great, but it didn't seem to be doing much damage. Interesting. I think I'm going to go back to the uh, other machine gun with its three shots. Let's see how armor... Okay, we still have the same armor. The Addo Restore armor. Was this door open before? No, this door wasn't open before. So we'll explore what's in here. Another battle. Oh, it's the... Alright. That was easy. And now this thing. Just a few shots. Stay away from it, because it just vomits. What is that? Is that like a fly? A mutated fly? That, that huge? I don't even know. I don't know about you two, but I'm getting out of here. Miss Newsbaum. Newsbaum. What about your medication? It's no use to me if I'm dead. True. Who's this lady? Are you okay? Yes, thank you. However, a nurse is trapped in the other room. Could you help her out? Yes. What other room? Oh, there you are. Who is it? Who are these people that are not burning alive? Okay. Oh, this is... I love how they have you fight in like a tiny, super tiny square. What 
Like here, just fight in this little square right here. You can dodge. Can't you dodge your attacks? You know, let's use some let's use energy shot. Just for the hell of it, right? Oh, that's awesome. Just one shotting it. Oh, I forgot that thing. Disorients. Almost to a new level. This room. I've seen it before. I'm getting hot. I know why I've been here before, but why? What was I doing here? She had a twin, I guess? A sister? Twin sister, maybe? She doesn't remember her? I don't know. Whew, I thought I was done for. Thanks. Glad to help, but you could help me even more by telling me where the doors next to the elevators lead. Hmm, to the storage areas of the hospital. That's where we keep our oxygen tanks and our main supply of liquid nitrogen. What do you use, what do you use liquid nitrogen for? I don't know, here. Take this green key card and find out for yourself. I'm not saying to see what happens next. Smart. Green magnetic key. Thank you. Everyone's either dead or evacuated. I think I'll choose the latter. Yeah, get out of there. How come these people are surviving? Despite made of being hot. Weird, right? Inventory is full. Exchange item. Uh, I don't have anything to exchange. Uh, we'll get rid of the full cure. Full cure for the light and very durable armor. Special jacket. What does the special jacket do? It's got more defense, more crit, less energy. I don't know. It doesn't have the auto revive, which was very important earlier. But a little more defense shouldn't, you know, a little more defense should help. Even though I'm losing on the parasite energy. We'll use that. Let me restore. Oof. Wow, using that shot really uh, took it out of her. Let's do that. All right, let's get to the. Oh nope, another battle. Gotta avoid these little guys. Stay active, keep moving, avoid the spitting. Oh, ah. Just getting beat up now. But, not for long, because this guy's dead right here. And, I'll stay out of his gooing area. I 
guess being slowed is the pa the downside to this. Detox. There we go. Next level. Boom. Parasite powers evolve. Taste. Speed up movement and AT recharge. Now see, that's something I can get behind. Haste is always a good thing. Wonder how much energy it takes up though. Back to the green door, wherever that was. Another battle. Oof. Low on energy here. Low on HP, so. Gotta make sure to stay extra. Be extra careful when fighting these thingies. And, yeah. Get a hit right away. <laughs> I'll take three damage all day if that's what it takes. Yep. See, I just have a feeling that all these easy enemies are just leading to some like super ridiculous hard enemy. They're just trying to lower your expectations as to what's coming. Just giving you a small bunch of energy enemies to uh, level up with, and then they're going to throw another twist in there somewhere. Oh. Can you tell me why the hospital uses liquid nitrogen? Well, for many different things. You can switch it to... You, f you can... F that. You can use it to freeze off warts and such, but its main re use is for research. It keeps the spoil. It keeps the sperm bank from spoiling. Sperm bank. Oh my god! How do I turn it off? Well, there is a valve that you can turn off in the storage area. Why? Sorry, I don't have time to explain. By the way, which floor is the research lab located on? The thirteenth. Of course. Thank you. I'm going to look around to see if anyone needs medical attention. Well, thank you for being helpful. Now we've got the green key card. Seems this is no longer useful. I'll discard it. Perfect. Access to another level. Okay, I have a box here. What's in it? Bullet capacity increase. Okay, that's something caved in. That's another door right here. Let's see where it leads. To another closet. Oh, this is where the hydrogen is. Ooh, that's a big guy. I'm scared. <laughs> Just jumps at me. Oh, and it hits mad hard! Gotta avoid that jump. Ooh. Heal ourselves. Ooh. That's... That was a surprise. Hey, hey, that thing hits hard. Recover. There's the valve. No more babies for Eve. Okay, is there anything else I gotta do?
Okay. I hit the valve. So hopefully the spermies are dead. <laughs> I turned off the valve, so now it should be safe to go to the 13th floor. Thirteenth floor, let's get this go let's get this party started. I know I'm gonna fight like a sperm monster or something. That's gross. <laughs> oh, dead people. This door, did I go through it? Let's check the corpse. These corpses seem to have everything. I have to stop E before more people die. The corpse is just there to block the door. I mean, she could easily just kick it away and go in, but whatever. Another battle. Hopefully nothing crazy. Oh, that thing I fought before. The basketballs. Oof. Alright. Two basketballs swirling around. I can handle it. I think I can handle it. Getting rid of basketballs. Still poisoned. Alright, back to full power site powers and... I have no... Ooh, I'm sticky. Or whatever you call that. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that. I gotta get rid of this guy. Alright, can move around. Spoke too soon. Healed up. Can have three basketballs out at once. Alright, no more basketballs. Now let's see let's see how this haste works. Ooh, V is faster. Oh, haste is great. Look at that. She's so quick. So I gotta do battle now real fast, but I think it takes up a lot of uh, energy. All right, here we go. Here's a box, what's in the box? Would you like to exchange? Sure, here, take, I don't know. No, I'll just use a heal. Ooh, another rifle. Yo, oh, this one's powerful. So, 44 attack, 123 range. I can shoot from afar, less bullets. Please. Oh. Now we're gonna fight some. We're gonna fight good now. Locked door. So let's go through there. Let's 
That's how I came in. Oh, got turned around. So this door must lead somewhere. It's locked. So maybe I have to go. Huh? Oh, I could push that. I knew it. Ah, that unlocks the door. I'm totally doing this by accident. It's not even like I remember any of these things from like, you know, years ago when I first played this game. Not off the top of my head at least, so that was pretty rad. Let's test out my new gun on these two. Oh, that hurt. Okay, this guy's throwing mini basketballs. Yeah. Hmm. Alright. Could fire one bullet at a time. And I'm slow about it. But I hit pretty hard. 50 per shot. I think we're gonna, did I change weapons in Metal Battle? I haven't done that yet. Alright. Oh, you lose a turn when you change weapons. That's cool. So do I get EXP for every ball here you have to kill, or is just the set amount for the for the bad guy? Oh no. Losing the medicine. Let's do some healing. You know, that sound is exactly like... That sounds exactly like the elixirs and the potions from uh, Final Fantasy VII. So they probably reuse those sounds for it. It's kind of fun. They know their audience. These nerdy guys will surely under... Well, you know, they'll surely know what this is. in here. Critical evasion. Look at all these stat boosts I'm walking around with, yet I don't use them at all. That's how I roll. Just plain and simple sh guns and stuff. Saved. Another battle. Feeling pretty, uh, Good about these battles. Definitely gotta kill this guy. Gotta kill that guy and avoid miss the rat. Or kangaroo, whatever the shit that is. I, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a dog or Oh that's crazy. I should have heard him though. Let's see, I don't have a spot. Or I don't have a spot. Ugh. 
They should let you use it. They should definitely let you use it. What's this? Your inventory is full. <laughs> All the intrigue just got lost because my inventory was full. We'll use a medicine too. Alright, let's try that again. What is this? Junk. The HLA list. Ben and Lorraine's names are here too. It's the same list I was on Dr. Clamp's computer. What's he trying to do? These are the patient records. Mariko Brea. It's my mother's record. December 23rd, 1990, 1977. Taken in with Maya Brea. Maya Brea. Maya Brea. After an accident, pronounced dead after cardiac arrest. Maya Brea, the daughter. The next page is missing. It's somewhere else. I guess it's that shiny thing? Alright, definitely dropping the junk. Let's see. Melissa Pierce. It's got to be that Melissa. December 23rd, 1977. Emergency hospitalization. Operation successful. After six months of hospitalization, released. Needs medication from hospital. Melissa and Maya were brought into the hospital on the same day and operated on. No, it can't be. What is this? The elevator key. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so let's head to wherever we need to go. What's on the fridge? Oh. Artificial sperm development staff? Hans? Hans Clamp? Dr. Clamp? Oh my god. Ooh, a little box. 30 plus ammo. Oh, nice. They start giving you this stuff, you know what means it's time for battle. Discard Oh, you know something's coming up right now. Okay, not what I expected. Fighter jets, prepare to launch. Head towards Central Park. Remember, no unnecessary attacks. Target the enemy in the air and be alert. Manhattan's practically deserted. Why don't they just... No, Lynch. We haven't received orders from the president to attack yet. At this point, we need to look for the missing people from the park and warn the city. Oh, I, I kind of remember this. This is pretty sweet. This reminds me of the Avengers movie at the end. Did the Avengers steal from Parasite Eve? Look at that moon. Oh, it's back to me now. Oh no. An empty container from the sperm bank. Ew. Why would you stand so close to that? <laughs> I guess A is cool with that kind of stuff. I, I know I'm gonna fight Eve at some point right here. What is that? Okay, so we're gonna haste our you know, I'm gonna put up the barrier. Okay. 
I can't move. Okay, so the key is don't get stuck. Of course I got stuck again. Uh, I guess I'll still shoot at it. Oh, this is probably what that rifle's for. Okay, so I really can't dodge those. I heal myself because I'm going to get beat up right here. Let me see. Oh, I don't have the immobilized thing. Use a big heal. Oh, I avoided it. Is that Eve? I don't know what that is. You know what? Actually, I think haste is the better thing to cast here because I can move around faster. Therefore, she can't web me and I can take more shots at her. Oh, this haste. Yep, can't web me. And you can't hit me. But I can hit you, but my blasts are kind of tiny. So I gotta go up close. There we are. Oh. Let's cast haste again. Because I just ran out. Wow, it's, see that's figuring it out on the fly. Oh, I'm trying to shoot her anyway. I got hit. Did I run out of haste again? Fuck it. Right up in your face. And she slapped me real hard. Alright. So I'm running out of Paris out of power here. And I'm running out of medicine, so huh. I'll do a small heal. No, 90 is not really going to help me with much. Oh. Oh. Okay. I think I want. I don't know if I won or not, but we're changing. Are we changing location here? What are we doing? Is she only going to slap at me now? So there's still only one target. Definitely healing. Oh wow, I did. Barely missed, avoided that. Use the haste again, because that seems to be working out very well. Yeah, I'm backing you into a corner. 
And you are slapping the shit out of me. Healing. It's only spitting up one at a time. Oh, it still hit me with that. Heal again. Stay far away. Just keep avoiding those webs. And the fire shot. And then I'm gonna... Oh, I think I won. Nice. Whew! That was something. Leveled up. Two levels. Heal three? Oh yeah. That's probably gonna be like a full bar. And a gun. Excellent. Whew. That was... Something. She's still singing? So, you found this place. You're going to use the us <laughs> You're going to use the sperm to give birth to the ultimate being? You're a bright one. The first rebellion took place some years ago on a far off eastern island. There, my sister committed a fatal error. I'm higher in the evolution in chain than my sister. I will never commit the same mistake. You're not my finally caught on, huh? No. You feeble organisms depend on machines to do all the work. Stop. This is good. Something crazy is going to happen here. Uh, oh, it's gonna like blow his. Oh, she just goo pot. She just gooed him. <laughs> Whoa, she just. You've just witnessed the limitations of humans. Please, no more. What if I don't want to? It's a shame we couldn't understand each other. Floats away. The jet. It's gonna crash into the roof. I've gotta get out of here. Elevator's broken. Uh how the heck do I get out of here? And it sounds like it's actually like coming. I'm gonna jump off the roof, I guess. I have no idea where I'm going. I think I might have died. And Eve is just floating away. <laughs> oh, I died. Well, uh... We can reload that. <laughs> Come on, that's a cheap... That is a cheap thing right there. That is so cheap. Come on. I guess I died again. We're gonna skip that. <laughs> There's gotta be a way over.
Definitely died again. Isn't it amazing how something that small, like, it's a damn quick time event. How does this even work? How does this even work? Okay, so... Let's try this again. From the top, now that I know what to do. Apparently you have to run over to this scaffolding, which is quite out of the picture. You might have seen it earlier and known what to do. But A is going to jump over it. And the scene now plays out differently. Aya lives for now. She doesn't blow up. I mean, you get a nice shot of Eve's boobs all the time, so there you go. Oh, another break. <laughs> and we're just falling and battling. Oh, no. It's a little spider. This really can't hurt me. I think it's, yeah, it's dead right, right away. Cure M. Whatever M means. Let's hit the brakes. So we don't crash to the ground from the skyscraper. Whew. That was tough. Over here, Maida. Hey ya. We don't have any time. Eve got away with the sperm sample. Ew. Eve is gross. Eh, I guess she's not gross. She's just trying to have a kid. Thank you for saving me, Daniel. You can study all you want, but you gotta brush up on other things too, man. No girl's gonna want to be with you if you're gonna be like that. What? What? Please, I... I... Daniel, is everything okay back at the station? That's the thing. I found out several things about Clamp, but in the past, a doctor from that hospital was fired for giving out a patient list. A list? You mean like the one with the HLA listing? These guys have access to just about everything. I've got other info too. This is what I heard about. This is what I heard from Warner, who was on to Melissa. She was seen going into the museum late at night on several occasions. Eve? She was going into the museum? We need to go there. We must get there before the being is born. Calm down. We're there, buddy. Light speed. Maya. I hope they split this off into another day. Nope. Back at the station. And I'm gonna have to drop off some stuff here because I am over capacity like crazy. Hey, is this Chatty Cathy? I heard that the captain saved Ben's life. She was his partner when he was a rookie. Must have been hard for him to shoot her. Yeah, I think she said that earlier. In the last gameplay. See? Ch Chatty Cathy telling us all the info we need to know. Let's see. Alright, so we're gonna drop... Oh. I guess I still have to give it to this guy. Don't worry, Aya. I'll be looking after this place for Torres. You leave all equipment tweaks to me. We're playing it my way now. No permit needed. But it'd be nice if you could bring me some gun trading cards if you could see them lying around. Hey, I may not come close to being as good as old Torres, but you can trust my work. So what'll it be? I think I have a trading card. Oh. I really don't have one yet. OK. 
Okay, let's store equipment. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of the handgun. Let's get rid of the M16. If I get rid of this club, that'd be great. Oh, I can't. I'll keep a vest. Get rid of this status vest. Can handle statuses as well. The handgun. Get rid of the grenade launcher. Like you'd think they'd be cooler in this game, but they're just not very useful. All right. All these bonus points I'm accumulating, I'm not even using them. Tune-ups. Store items. Like, I don't even know what these do. Get rid of evade. Tool. Cure M. Tool, defense, offense, bullet capacity, the tool. I swear by the end of this I'm going to build like the ultimate gun. So, They're all sorted out. Scar junk, I don't have any junk. Tune up weapon. I don't know. Let's see. Game of gun just to tune it up. I don't even know what it does. Add a slot. I guess once I combine other stuff with it. Rare trading card, because I don't have one yet. I have a card. Aya, you take Eve down. Do it for Torres, alright? Yeah. I'll do it for Torres. Do it for everybody. Hmm. If I have to do the museum right after this, I might just do it in the next video because this is already reaching an hour and 20 and that's just way too long of a video, especially for me because it's almost 1am where I am and getting a little tired of talking and that'll just give me another thing to do more videos right hey uh, detective Warner has some new information okay I'm guessing he's in the office all right spit it out Some time ago, a doctor at that hospital was fired for selling off patient records. And Melissa was seen going into the museum late at night several times. Eve? Clamp, that bastard. I knew he was a part of this. We'll split up here and search the entire city. Even Clamp must be meeting soon. We must hurry. It'll be too late once the ultimate being is born. I'll go snoop around some more for any info. Brought you a walkie-talkie so we can keep in touch. I'm counting on you too, Mr. Scientist. Whoa. We'll all split up and look for Eve. You can find... You find any trace of her, you call for backup. 
Weren't you going to stay here, Daniel? And push papers all day? Are you kidding me? I'm out. <laughs> what what will we do? Let us know if anything comes up. Uh yeah, okay, I got it. Ah. Uh, and that marks another entry in Parasite Eve done. So that was day four. And you know, next time we're gonna do day five evolution. So if you enjoyed this video or any of the previous ones, please leave a comment, tell me what you think, like, subscribe, give me your firstborn, your secondborn, uh, you know, watch the video. I mean, I guess if you got this far, you've watched. So I guess uh, keep watching and I hope you're enjoying this because I am really enjoying going through this game again. Like. The hospital, that hospital area, I totally forgot it existed up until the part with the fuses. And it wasn't like, the beginning of the game I could play by, play it by memory, but these new parts though, like I don't remember as you can clearly see when I didn't know where the heck to go when the plane was coming. So that's just, you know what, imagine, I just thought of this right now. Like, back in the PlayStation era, once you beat Eve, once you beat, well, I don't know if that was Eve or whatever that creature was, you know, you beat it, you talk to Eve, and she just in the, sends the plane after you. Like, if you didn't know where to go, you would just die at that part, and you'd have to fight that monster again. Like, how annoying is that? Huh. Wow, I'm glad with the power of the emulator here I was able to skip all that but that is just you know that's a testament to the old gaming you know things were a lot harder then there weren't save points everywhere you couldn't you know pick up from where you started like you know the games these days are much easier which I appreciate because in my older age I'm not you know I can't sit around all day trying to perfect how to do things or speed running through Super Metroid or something like that like I used to do when I was a kid. But that's enough about me talking about the good old days of doing whatever it was I used to do as a kid. So once again, if you liked it, please leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah. Um, for those of you who are here for my narrations, though, I will be posting a new narration very soon. It's a, another true story, and it builds off of the last narration post, which is kind of the prologue to the longer story, which my father told me. And since part of what he told me I could recall from memory, um, you know, with my own experiences, uh, it's going to be a good one, I think. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Good night. And welcome back to this Parasite Eve Day 5 playthrough evolution. Uh, it's been about a month since I've actually played this game or done much of anything on my uh, channel. And the reason for that is, frankly, I felt a little burned out and decided to take a break. And now I'm back. I mean, playing this game isn't really, you know, doesn't take much out of me. But the narration stuff and, you know, trying to figure out content and write my own stuff and do everything I do for the channel, it just... I needed a break, but now I'm back in the saddle. Today I posted a story about a paranormal experience that my father had in a uh, apartment we used to live in in Queens, New York. And yeah, I saw some shit. Ooh, I saw some stuff, shit, whatever. I saw some shit back then. Uh, shadow figures reaching out to me in the darkness of the apartment. Uh, you know, there was just, had some 
nightmares, uh, more like night terrors, almost like on the verge of like sleep paralysis, I guess. Because I would, you know, still see the shadow figure in the corner and, you know, I'd wake up. And uh, I just had a terrible childhood in that apartment, but luckily we left there. If you want to hear the full story, I suggest uh, tracking it down and reading it. It's called uh, Apartment 1A Prologue, and then listen to Apartment 1A, the main story, which is my father's story, because apparently... Uh, they decided to stay in an apartment that was haunted for, you know, my sister, my younger sister, my younger sister. I keep saying younger sister because she was younger than me at the time, but my sister is older than me, actually. Uh, she's four years older than me, <laughs> and they stayed in that apartment for about five years. So, I don't know what my parents were thinking, but, uh, yeah, we finally got out of there. We moved to the suburbs of New Jersey, so the story has a happy ending. Haven't dealt with anything paranormal since then, uh, except for maybe this one time I went to a uh, place called the Paul and, Skin, Paul and Skill Viaduct. If you want to hear that story, just search for it in the channel, but, uh, if you're not here for narration and you're here for gameplay, then let's get this game started, because that's what I'm here for. All right, day five evolution. Here we go. Will you save your progress? No. That's what we got the save save states for. God, this feels great to be back to playing this game. Except, okay, so here we are back again at the world screen. Uh, the reason why this seemed a little choppy is because. The previous footage you saw was from yesterday's playthrough, where I played through the game for half an hour, got lost in the sewers, and ended up just returning back to where I started. So I got frustrated and decided that I would just try to pick up the game again today. So here we are. I have a map of the sewers open, and I was still getting lost. And then I had an issue where I saved inside the sewers and needed to fight my way back out, but I didn't have any bullets, so I had to fight enemies with a club, and that took forever, so I managed to get out of the sewers and back to this world screen, so I'm going to try this. We're going to start this over again here. Oop, there's my mouse. Don't want to see that. So let's go back to Chinatown. It's gonna be some some already open boxes and stuff, so that was from the previous playthrough. But uh, yeah, it'll still be a fine. You probably won't see some scene, you know, some some dialogue scenes, which that's fine. So now that we're here, let's save it. Let's move quickly, cause all right, here we go. First battle against whatever the hell these things are. They throw balls of fire at you. Just killed one. With these enemies, I think the key is just sticking close to them so they can't use that ball attack, which is kind of. It's a bit difficult to avoid. I mean, they'll hit you for five, which, you know, that's nothing. Hey, there I leveled up. Another level up, one which you didn't see, but oh my goodness. In this game, I, I don't ever remember running out of ammo, but I certainly did earlier. Three shots versus three shots. 20, 10 to 30, 24 to reload. So apparently this club has a... Oh, they didn't say it. Where the... Oh, here we go. The ability to steal items but halves attack power. So, I was trying to beat these enemies back in the sewer with half attack power, but I got to steal a bunch of medicine from them, which was rad. And then they always drop these cure darkness, which I kept calling disorientation. And then poison stuff from some rats. 
So I'm pretty equipped for this battle. It's just, you know, running out of bullets in the sewers because there's a lot of enemies down there. A lot of these, like, bat enemies, which just, you know, they, they inflict you with darkness so you can't shoot at them. There we go. All right. So I'm going to sit close to this guy. And then... away from the snakes. Really try to maintain distance from the snakes. Okay. There we go. Oh, more ammo. It's definitely what I need. Definitely what I need. Let's explore a little bit. This looks like a little... Ah, uh, okay, I can't go anywhere go anywhere here either but uh yeah it's been a while since I uploaded anything to the channel I think I said that in my uh, original video which I probably just jump cut into it so you've already heard me say that but uh let's see I opened that chest so this guy says nothing maybe Eve is with the slime hmm it's a good assumption so here we are going down to the sewer and hopefully I don't get lost considering I have a map open right now and it's going to guide me to a bunch of weapons and stuff so let's see if, if I go right I run into a bunch of stuff that to nothing but if I go left it says I should run into some bullets which I already got so I'm gonna save this and probably engage in a battle oh no no battles very nice so then continuing onward to the left I'm going to come to an intersection. If I go to the right here, I'm going to run into, I think, a Medicine 3 somewhere. Oh, I see something shiny. Okay, I walk past it. Some shiny, a super tool. Moves parameter. I don't think I have one of those yet. But that's rad, a super tool. And then, let's see what's next. A cure darkness. And then a medicine four somewhere. Then a CR. You know, there's a bunch of weapons down here. It's like. They really don't want you to explore too much because of all the bats and snakes and stuff. The bats are particularly terrible. But I'm going to explore and get it all. Inventory full. Haha. -ha. That's new. I can just steal more medicine from those bats. Oh, cure darkness. Almost a waste. That's a waste of space. Let's keep going. Okay, if I go upwards, there's nothing. If I continue this way, I'm going to get to something called the Medicine 4. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. 400. That's a full heal almost. Then if I make a turn down it says I might get a, some protector with HP up be shocked I don't have to fight something here yeah you could keep this darkness cure for all good it does all right let's see Ooh, t light but tough. Max HP up. 
Hold on, what's the side effect? Active re time charger slower. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep it on. Why not? And then if I make a right here, apparently I can get a grenade launcher. You know, these things just laying in the New York City, the Chinatown sewers. That's awesome. Okay. Then, I'm sorry, I'm just checking this uh, sewer map because I don't want to get lost in here again. Uh, if I keep going through several more of these I can get a shotgun yeah yeah I'll just get that shotgun and then I will continue to where the story is supposed to take me like I'm just shocked that I haven't gotten in any battles lately and it's not like you kill the enemies and they go away, they respawn. So maybe I'm just having good luck now. I, I don't know. I'll just keep going because I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth here. There it is, a battle. So let's see, bats, these freaking bats, of course I get hit on the first shot, but you know what, I'm going to cure that right away and avoid the next hit until, oh thankfully, the darkness cure again. Perfect. And they're gonna give me more darkness cures. Cause they know how annoying they are. But if I use my club I could steal medicines from them, which is pretty damn helpful. With all the damage you take. So I think at this intersection is where the shotgun is. Maybe not. Nope. Huh, maybe I already got it. I don't think I did. Oh well. Where are these bats? When you've got bullets, they're easy as heck. But when you're sitting there trying to club them to death, it is the worst. So when I recorded yesterday, I was actually thinking about uh, playing, just trying something else aside from Parasite Eve after this, and then maybe coming back for Parasite Eve 2 for another playthrough. I was thinking maybe doing Silent Hill or something else from the PlayStation era. So I'd be cool to get some feedback, comments on it. I just want to do something uh, horror related because of course that's what this channel is about and it's my genre of choice. And yeah, 
So, I don't think Silent Hill is a horror game for PlayStation. Ah, oh, did I come out on the wrong side of this? I think I did. Okay. See, this is what happened to me yesterday. I came out on the wrong side of it. So let's run quickly. Go, go, go. Surprise, there's no battle. Run, 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 run. So, yeah, I think of Asylum Hill or. I can't think of other horror games for PlayStation. I mean, Resident Evil. There it is. But Resident Evil's a little. I feel like it's going to be a little hard to play with the keyboard controller. Cause, yeah, the, it was hard to play those games. It was hard to play those games, uh, you know, with a controller back in the day with all the terrible camera angles. But I was really good at it, especially Resident Evil Two. I used to beat that game like it was nothing with both Claire and Leon. The one I could never do was uh, I could never beat the tofu scenario. It's the one little. The one little guy just all he had was a knife. Like, what do you do with that? Here's a thing. Enjoy full exchange items. Take your darkness. Ooh, a gun. What does this gun do? Oh no, was that a club? Hey, club three. That's rad. The grenade launcher does pretty good too. But uh, we'll stick with our pistol for now. Let's see, there's Resident Evil. I mean, I could do an RPG. An original playthrough of Final Fantasy VII. But I mean, I would only do... That's... It's not a bad idea, because I would very easy to play on a keyboard because it's just a decision made. It's just clicking and moving and stuff. Not a lot of like action moving like a Resident Evil game. I don't know. Suggest a game in the comments section if you'd like. Cause I know the Final Fantasy remake came out and that's awesome. I didn't well, I played the demo and it felt pretty awesome, so a playthrough of the original be a lot of uh, reading and voice acting there. Not a horror game, though. Okay, so we're the... There we go. This is... the audience from Central Park. Ew. Here's a nice video of something creepy. Oh, that is gross. How do you fight that? Just a blob. I have to get the slime out of this reservoir before it infects the whole city. Yeah. But I'm gonna get a vacuum or something? A pool cleaner. Who knew pool cleaners would have such an effect. Okay, so we're in this room. What is what is this room? There's a lever. Open it up. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's a save point. And another door in a console. What is it? Damn, I missed what she said. The 
there's not enough power. Oh. I did something. I pumped the goo somewhere it wasn't supposed to go, I guess. I don't know. I have a feeling this is going to lead to combat. I guess we got to get out there and fight it. Yep. Oh my god, that buzz is so annoying. The water is too high to cross. Alright, I guess, guess I have to pump out the water now? going on. Oh, that buzz. Oh my lord, that buzz was so annoying. Okay. So we could go across. These stairs, wherever they're leading. Looks like I'm at a sewer? What a train station? I'm at a train station. I don't know where I'm supposed to go here, but I'm assuming that is going to make one hell of a train wreck. Yes, it is. Oh, I guess the goo hole, the slime made the hole. And I gotta follow it? I'm guessing since I'm encountering enemies, I'm going the right way. What is that thing? It's a hard-hitting mole. We know how common moles are in New York. Poison cures. Those aren't gonna help me. Alright, just gotta stay away for a little bit, then the darkness goes away. See, it's already gone. Take some medicine, and I'm gonna dump these poison cures. This might be a bad idea, who knows what's down the road, but I can detox with the parasite energy, so that's not a big deal. Using these. 
active speed up active time. I don't see. I don't know how I should use these. You know what? I'm gonna put half. Eh. You know what? I'm okay with the item space. I'm gonna put in more money towards the bonus energy towards that and then guess I don't have enough bonus points but I think I put in the right split I think I, I put it in the right spots because I definitely need item space and making the active time gauge go faster means more cures, more everything at a better rate. Centipede? Oh! Oh, what is that? Oh, I got hit. Oh, what is... I think I'm poison. Uh, since my... That I got, I got rid of all the poison, see? Bad moves. There's a poison effect when there's four of these guys? They're very quick. Get rid of the, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna heal to so have the HP there, and then I'm gonna get rid of this poison. Cause that'll trip me up. Oh. Hitting pretty hard. Alright, got rid of one. Restore health here. They're just gonna keep poisoning me, so I might as well just. I think I'm out of bullets. Again. <laughs> I don't know if I could beat these with like a freaking uh, bar. But, uh, maybe this energy shot will make sense. Alright, I got one. Wake up! I have no bullets. What the hell do I do? I have no energy. Use medicine for now. I have no idea how to. Okay. Hit him with our club, right? Oh, Willard. No way. I just defeated it by punching it. <laughs> 
Oh, this is gonna be tough getting this guy He's so fast. I'm gonna have to stand in a corner and just wait for him to come. <laughs> nice. Oh, I got ammo. Okay. There it is. Leveled up. Look at all those bonus points. Two medicines, a, a gun, and some ammo. Nice! I just find it funny that Eve is fighting me off with the giant centipedes. Like, why? And I guess she has to use whatever's at her disposal. Who could blame her, right? Oh, we're on the bridge. Dead cop. Let's see what kind of craziness happens now. Gate key. Subway gate key. There's slime going towards. Uh oh. The museum! So I've got to go back somewhere? Insert disc 2. Okay, so I gotta try to figure this out. So I'm going to take a break for a moment because I don't know exactly how to do this. Alright, so I got the disc going. Burial is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So let's keep this going. That's funny, I got so nervous because I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how to change the disc, but there was an option like available right away for changing discs. Ooh, a battle. Battle against the mole. I think his goal is just to make you waste ammo. I mean, that is a valid way to kill some. That is a valid way to do things, I guess. Oh! Got him. I'm not gonna use that. But yeah, it's definitely a valid strategy just to make me waste all my ammo and then have to fight some humongous monster with a club. But I think the game is getting uh, generous with the bullets again. I think I remember in a previous playthrough I was talking about how I never ran out of ammo before. I guess that's a lie. I mean, but really, I don't remember running out of ammo in any point in my previous time playing this game. Save points, so we're in a safe state. Alright, I think we're going to get out of the sewers here. Critical evasion rate. Nice, we did the sewer. You have no idea how terrible... It took me 
this recording thus far has been 33 minutes of actual like recording the gameplay i did 30 minutes yesterday of just wandering the sewers oh thank god i checked that walkthrough the warehouse that's a new place too although i'm not sure oh excuse me oh excuse me it's been a long night but um you know what i think i'm gonna stop it here for now uh, break day five up into two different uh, videos because and then maybe combine them later who knows because uh, you know right now it just seems like a good stop stop point so thanks again for watching and day five I will do tomorrow appreciate it good night And welcome back to another thrilling part of Parasite Eve. This is Day 5, Part 2, where I'll be checking out the warehouse and the museum. Uh, the, the last gameplay I, video I had, I went through Chinatown, the sewers, and that was pretty fun, except I got lost in the sewers for half an hour, but you didn't see that. So, before I begin, I'm going to take a little detour to the precinct to unload and uh, I think I'm gonna maybe you know maybe update some weapons and stuff because I seem to be having a very very tough time with uh, some of the bosses and I keep running out of ammo and yeah So as I was uh, saying before in the previous video, I was going to do, my next game is going to be Final Fantasy 7. And I tried the PC version for Windows. Yo, we need some mail. Store. Discard junk. Okay. Store equipment. As I was saying... I get easily distracted as you can see. You can tell. Easily distracted. <laughs> Forgot what I was talking about. Bonus points for weapons, I guess. But I'm not sure what I would tune up. That's my issue. Item storage. <laughs> I sure there's somebody out there right now watching this and they're just like, why haven't you used any of this stuff? I'm just like, I don't know what I'd use it on. So apparently these good luck charms are useless as well. And I don't know why I can't get rid of... I got rid of one. Why can't I get rid of... Okay, gotta keep that. Ugh, this darkness. I hope I don't run into that again. Alright, tools. 
super tool. Okay, so medicine and tools. Rare tea card collection. Okay. Tune up weapon. Sorry, baby, you gotta have a permit or a tea card if you wanna upgrade your gear. Okay, you're useless to me. Come back anytime. For what? Can't do anything. Oh, beautiful. Lots of ammo. Medicine. Okay, so now that we're equipped and ready to go, I'm gonna head to the warehouse because apparently there is a boss there and one of the best weapons in the game, which is a rocket launcher or something. Kind of reminds me of Resident Evil where the rocket launcher just one shots everything. Except, except uh, the uh, tyrant, I think he takes two shots. But uh, like I was saying, I was trying to play, I was checking out Final Fantasy VII to see if I could run it on my, P, my uh, gaming laptop I'm using right now. And uh, it just did not work. <laughs> the Windows version did not work. It's on an Xbox Game Pass, since I have Xbox Game Pass, and uh, Final Fantasy 7 and 8 are available for it, which is pretty cool, but my PC can't handle it. And by PC, I mean my, like, Alienware gaming laptop from, like, 2009. <laughs> Cop. Officer Brea. Uh-oh. Dogs. Uh... Uh, Eve is in there. Why don't you check it out, huh? I'll go call for some backup, okay? So, so you go check it out. See, this guy's smart. Puppy. L, come on, we're getting out of here. That's smart as hell. Just get away. PPK, handgun. See how this stacks up. More bullets, less range, less attack. Does it have anything, any special features? So we gotta equip it. Rate fire five, quick draw, first attack. Uh, I guess that could be cool. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, so the Final Fantasy VII didn't work, windowed version, so I downloaded a uh, ROM of it, and the ROM works perfectly fine, so I'll be playing the uh, PlayStation 1 version, so I'll continue using the emulator. You know, I'm cool with that, it's the version I grew up playing with anyway. The only thing that's uh, different about the uh, windowed version is, so ooh, chest protector. Some improved graphics, which the emulator kind of upscales anyway, and same thing. Let's see, Cr critical. Wait, hold on. What does this do? It increases max HP. All right, hold on. Uses medicine when HP is low, and then. Raises my HP but lowers my time recharge. So this has more parasite energy, better crit, a little less defense, but I auto use my medicine. So you know what? I'm gonna equip that. Why not? Might come to regret it. But uh, yeah, so next game is gonna be Final Fantasy VII. And that'll take a long time to get through because it's a whole RPG game, but that game is one that I played so many times and remember everything about it that, you know, I'm not going to have any problems with it. And it's easily controllable on a keyboard. What's going on? A rat. A bigger rat.
Defiler Hurling Rat. Oh, I took that hit. Correct. Oh, that's great. So yeah, that's what you can look forward to next. Me narrating some... one of the best Final Fantasy games ever. Ooh, shiny. Warehouse key, alright. But... I'll also be working on a new narration. It's actually going to be an audiobook for one of my favorite stories from one of my favorite authors, well, favorite indie author, but I think this dude should be pro. And uh, I'm not going to say who it is, but, you know, until I actually start doing work on his audiobook, it's going to be super cool because I've read the book already. Oh! Avoid the fire. Spider. I've never... T okay, the spider's gonna lay down the traps. Wow, my, like, time bar is going so fast. I think that's what I upgraded with my bonus points. those bonus points that updated the the speed of recharge so that's really cool actually if I could do that even more oh yeah I need that makes me way faster which is something I definitely need learning as we play Another protector. Let's see what this does. I don't think this is as good. Yeah, it doesn't have any special features. Just a little more defense, which I have higher defense. So that's that's pretty useless. What's in here? Rocket for rocket launcher. <laughs> it's a great description. A rocket for a rocket launcher. Is rocket launcher in here? No, probably not. I know there's. I read up there's probably a boss. Definitely a boss I probably got a battle, which that'll be interesting. Lock open. Ooh, a narrow staircase. Narrow stella. Stairs, there's no stairs. A narrow, uh... And it slows me down a little bit. That just hit for a hundred? I'm seeing things. If that hit for a hundred, I'm in trouble. All right, let's bring us up, bring us back to full health. noise. Defense power. Alright, see that's creepy, that hissing noise. A tool. Like, what is that hissing noise? 
defense. It's freaking me out. Drop down. She's climbing down. It just sounds louder in my ear. something crazy is gonna happen oh there's a boss fight oh what is that yo it's a crab that shoots laser beams oh um yeah gotta heal up there all right some bubbles Bubbles, gotta stay away from the bubbles. Those eye beams. Uh oh. Bad spot. Did I get rid of his arm? Yes. Alright, so one down. Gotta keep, gotta keep avoiding that uh, laser beam, but it doesn't seem to use it that much. It relies on that bubbly attack. Okay, it's doing the lasers. Oh man, how do you avoid those? Because clearly I almost died because when I, the game used a medi used a medicine on me. Oh no! Oh yeah. Alright. Oh, I can't heal. Use the medicine. Okay, walking in them doesn't work either. Yo, that guard said that Eve was in here. That does he think Eve is a giant crab? <laughs> a giant crab that shoots laser beams and bubbles? I mean, I guess the guard's been busy. Oh yeah. Those critical hits. You know, would it be a good idea to cast haste right now? Speed up my movement. You know, what, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna speed up movement and my shooting bar. That way, I can keep up with him and avoid all his attacks. Or not. Yeah, that's how you do it. And 
and that is, I believe, the rocket launcher. Right? Look at those stats. Range 202, attack 128. That is gorgeous. That's gonna destroy somebody. Oh! What was that? Okay. Apparently, poison. Uh, some type of poison? Anything else in this room that's gonna try to kill me? Who knows? Alright, let's get out of here. Apparently this is everything that's in there, so... We'll speed this up a little bit, right? Get out of here quicker. I think I'll do the fight in... Do the fight at a fast speed. So we don't want to waste a million, you know, we don't want to waste all the time just fighting off these bad guys. We already fought them. I thought this would be a little bigger dungeon. It's called a side dungeon, a optional dungeon. Rats and spiders. Ooh, those hurt. Better take it easy. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to die now. Let's slow it down a little bit. Take our time. Miss every shot. Yeah, that that's it's a hard hitting spider. Speed this up. It's a nice place to grind for bullets though, because they give them away. Tons of bullets. Ah, I can't get there, okay. Alright, those first 20 minutes were a side quest. Now it's time for the museum, which is back on track for the main story. Something's going on in the museum. It's where the slime ball went. Nope, oh, that door. <laughs> Who's that? Who's there?
I have a feeling this is not... I have a bad feeling about this. Yep, boxes. <laughs> it's like they're definitely preparing you for... Here's some bullets and here's some uh, ammo. Good luck. I have a feeling I'm going to be fighting this T-Rex or something. I have no idea where I'm going. Okay. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay. Did I go the wrong way? I went to the wrong room. It's all these dots. Alright, I'm going in circles here, my bad. Okay, so there's a bunch of dots on the floor. They're not making any any differences? This way, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. Broken glass. Why is the glass broken? Ooh, a box. Preparing me for a bunch of damage. Hey, battle time. Okay, look like raptors or something. hard-hitting raptors. Leveled up. Parasite powers have evolved. Medic. Moves all negative status effects. That's wonderful. Yeah, my bonus points are skyrocketing. How the hell did those dinosaurs get here? It's a great question. Just when you thought this game couldn't get any crazier and weirder, there's freaking dinosaurs. I don't know if I did the right thing there, but it seems like a good idea. New handgun. Oh, this is a powerful handgun. Hell yeah. Maybe I should, uh... Use it on that, why not? Use that defense. Some more defense there. Figure why not, I better use these while, uh, you know, they're hot. It's locked. It's locked. Guess we go back.
raptors and some other thing. Decent power shots there. Junkin' medicine. Let's heal it up. Like you can tell just from like the music in the background that some some shit's about to go down right here. Some like epic shit. Raptor battles. I'm gonna take out the Raptor first since it seems to be the one that does the most damage. These guys just like jump around. Seem to be like the least lesser threat here. Watch this guy's like just gonna insta kill me. Wow, but they are definitely, uh... You guys are definitely giving me the EXP here. Hope I'm going the right way. Okay, so def definitely not that way. Is the elevator working? It's not working, but I'm sure I'll start. It'll start up again if I deactivate the alarm. Okay, so where is this alarm? Interesting. Wouldn't mind getting into another battle here. Get some more of that uh, EXP. Get some levels and bonus points. Alright, so this room definitely is a... I can't help those lights have something to do with it, but they might just be there for, like, decor. <laughs> And in here, there's nothing. Alright, so it has to be in this room. There's something in this room that will allow me to oh, chase down uh, Crump, I think the doctor's name is. that item thing just gives you you know you don't waste that you don't waste turns healing when you could just be killing all right what the hell do I gotta do here all right so after checking my handy dandy guide it seems that the lobby is where I have to go back to so, uh, yeah, the last couple minutes were a waste of time, but, you know, another few, uh, few more level ups and, uh, I'm good, you know? More parasite powers, more bonus points. I ain't complaining. I'm getting all the ammo I need.
Like, I'm so paranoid now about running out of ammo. actually hit me. Yep, another level up. Medicine and junk. doing here but so if I want to enhance the G22 if I use the G23 it adds one subtracts one point plus one and then plus two to range but if I give it the PK PPK I could shoot five plus two plus one and I get nothing but I get five shots and a first strike I guess let's fucking do it why not Wait, no. I guess. Nice, okay. So this is what I should have been doing the whole time is just taking pieces of equipment and making them better with these tools, but eh, live and learn. I've been doing alright without them so far. But it makes my gun more powerful. So the north is open. Oh, I didn't see that earlier. Pop quiz hot shot. Yeah, what kind of question is that? I guess I got it wrong. Two, three, four, five. Nine, I guess? Like, how did they expect me to, like, count that? And how's that educational for, like, a museum? Like,. Educational in a museum, like, look at this, it lights up. Count how many animals there are, you stupid bastard kid. <laughs> I swear, the they, they, museums in New York are not that dumb. Just as I thought. <laughs> Down the hallway. Oh god. 
Someone obviously doesn't want me to get through this area. What was the first nutritional source of the first organism that lived 3.9 billion years ago? Oxygen, nitrogen, self-contained photosynthesis. Go with nitrogen. I guess I got it right. Well, save my game and uh, we'll fight this guy. Why not? Get into position and begin. He's a barrier for now. What is going on? I'm poisoned. I did not expect that. I mean, it is a scorpion. I should have expected that. Yo, that's it? I was all afraid of it. I was putting up barriers. I don't even... <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain that it was easy. Thought it was a major boss or something. The canoe is going to attack me. Nope, more dinosaurs and lizards or something. I don't like where I am. Ooh, just getting hit every side. They're crowding me. That was my fault. All right. So we could either go down the long hallway or backwards towards this way. I'm going to go this way because it's locked. Alright, perfect. That just means there's one way to go. Another battle. Let me guess more raptors and whatever the hell these are. Oh, three of these things? Sweet. Fourteen damage, woohoo. I'll take those guys on all day. So you can go upstairs or down the hallway. Go down the hallway. There can only be so much more left. To the lower level. <laughs> this is kind of all random here. Okay, so there was nothing of importance there. Wait, what was that noise? 
Maybe I did go the right way. <laughs> Okay, what the heck just happened? Oh. Like beetles? Attack beetles. hit pretty hard. Look like cockroaches. Revives when HP reaches zero. Pre raise. That's great. Four medicine fours. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drop something. This warehouse key. Oh, can't drop that. Or how about one of the million pieces of junk? Gotta keep adding to that. The more actions I take, the more I'm uh, combat ready. These little guys again. Look at how fast my bar is filling. Great. I have to start. Let's start discarding junk. Inventory full, replace item. Of course. Have some junk. Over an eight launcher. Very nice. Something I, I had never. I feel like I haven't used grenade launchers. I used like one at one point. It was just terrible. Quiz. The mitochondria creates ATP. Densinine triphosphate within the cell. How much energy is this equivalent to? Uh, I think it's 200. I guess that's right. Or wrong, I can't tell. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they mentioned that earlier and I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I know they said at one point that the mitochondria generate so much heat that they can make someone burst into flames. But I mean... I don't know. <laughs> I think I got it right. Well, more dinosaur fights.
can't get through here. Once again, making the uh, decisions easier for me. If they did a remake of this game, like it'd be cool to like check out all the like stuff in the museum. Fire exit. Oh. Go up or down. Alright. Go down to the first floor. Guess it's locked. I don't know where you just went. Oh, excuse me. It's been a long day. Okay, here's another chest. Rocket. I'm liking it. Alright, a single... Raptor. Very easy. All these things on these shelves, like it's it'd be much more interesting if they let you check things. All right, by taking. Mitochondria, which uses oxygen as its nutritional source into the body and living with it symbiotically, the bacteria has acquired a tremendous amount of energy. What is the consequence? Aging, slow reprodu cell reproductive rate, cell destruction due to overload. Oh no, the cells... See, I don't think it's, I guess maybe aging because they, oh, they evolve quicker, so aging. I'm guessing that was right. Weird way to ask that question, I think. It's like this is all a test to see if you're paying attention. Bugs. Now, none of these enemies would have a chance against me if I wasn't trapped in like a closet. Which I really shouldn't be because it doesn't make any sense. Like. I'm inside, like, the world's smallest, like, combat zone. In 1987, Khan and Wilson released a theory stating that humans were derived from Mitochondria Eve. Which organism is thought to be Mitochondria Eve? Female monkey in the Galapagos, an African female. I think it was the African female. And my answer was right. That makes me a scientist or something. <laughs> Oh, 
My goodness, I keep yawning. I'm so sorry. I don't know. I don't mean to keep yawning. Just these days, everything I do, <laughs> I just get so sleepy doing everything. And it's not... Like, I try to read a book, and by, like, the time I read, like, three or four pages, I'm already, like, falling asleep. Even if, like, the book is, like, awesome. It's my eyes just, like, get so tired. Wow. So, medicine too, huh? Well, I'll just discard it. Yeah, but if I'm... Like, unless I'm, like... Like, I watch movies and I'll, like, just start falling asleep. Even if the movie's awesome. Here we go. Got this organized. Just, I guess, the curse of being in your 30s or something. <laughs> it's locked. Just so, like, easy to fall asleep while doing stuff you actually enjoy, just because you don't have the stamina anymore or something. Like, back in the day, I could go to, like, 2, 3 in the morning. Now it's, like, almost midnight, and I'm like, oh, oh. I'm yawning. <laughs> but what else can you what can you do, you know? All I can say is excuse me and continue playing the game until I beat out this day. Eve win just because I'm falling asleep. <laughs> to revive. That means shit's about to go down. It's locked. So you know what that means. I can't get through here. Uh, what do I do? Okay, I can't get in there. I couldn't get in there. Can I not get through there? What is going on here? Okay, so clearly you can't go that way. <laughs> Their battle, battle time. That way. 
Hopefully I didn't just come from that way. Oh, this looks new. What is that? Let's see. Whoa! Thought Steve Austin was coming in. that twice. Okay. Hey, hey. Okay, that was a... Uh, that was quick and easy again. It's like they're like threatening you with like all these boss battles that just don't materialize or something. <laughs> It's like, hey, here's a giant scorpion with poison. Nope, that was easy. Here's a ter pterodactyl or something. Nope, that was easy too. Like, here's another one. It's a zero damage. Maybe I have some weapon. Maybe. Oh, I just missed that medicine three. Oh no. Let's make some space. You know what? Let's use that offense. Let's use this defense. defense let's use it right let's just keep let's just plow through let's make all this stuff you know what <laughs> I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna go ham okay the grenade launcher does nothing this will give me a little bit more. This will give me a little bit more. Still got that rocket launcher, right? Yep. And let's increase it more. Keep making me, I guess, faster. Is it active? Active time. Okay, yeah, uh, active time. I thought it was something. I don't know what I thought it was. I thought it was expanding my parasite magic powers. Keep bringing on the pterodactyls. This game is batshit crazy, you know? Every single thing in this game, like, is just insane. go from here <laughs> uh oh hey did someone just lock the door clearly they did pockets that carry more items but does it give me more defense No. Yeah, I'm gonna...
I guess I'm out of tools, but... Anything in this room? Nope. It's my only way out is through. If I slip, I'm a goner. I don't know where we're going. Let's see. Looks like you can only get in from there. What should I do? Go down. Beautiful. Phew, made it. I think she'd have some power, you know, powers to prevent a fall from hurting her. Like Eve literally floats. <laughs> oh, it has a different attack. I dodge that. There's two doors. I guess I'll go through this one. Nope, it's locked. Go through this. Okay, battling in a literal crawl space. Oh no. Oh! That crab I mentioned earlier. Not crab. Scorpion. And I got hit with poison. Get rid of that. Oh, what? I like that effect. It's like a green light. Ouch. Cure poison. Yeah, I'm not sure how people actually do stream. I guess people do streams with friends and play games with each other and they laugh and stuff and can show off more of their personalities, but it's like, you know, playing these single player games, it's kind of tough. Because <laughs> that's just me talking to the microphone and, you know, making offhanded comments about what's on my mind. So, I don't know how entertaining this could be. It's not like I'm doing a real walkthrough either. Like, I'm not talking, I'm not, you know, I'm not on how to beat. Even though I am showing you how to beat the game in a strange, in a, in a way, because I am going to beat this game and we'll share that moment together, that moment of triumph. Like, if I could figure out how to do it, or if I, more like if I had the money right now to do it, I would get like a, uh, I guess one of those cards that, you know, lets people see what you're doing on your Xbox or your PS3 or 4 or whatever. Hey, what's in... Like, because I would definitely play Outriders, because that game is so fun. Or I would do the Final Fantasy games, or, you know, everything else I've been talking about. I would want to use a uh, capture card for my console games. But then again, if I had the money, I would just get a video card and... 
If I had the money, I would just buy, uh, you know, make a new PC. You know, get a desktop and the video card. But right now, the video card market's kind of crazy because people are using video cards to mine bitcoins or something. And it's like any new any video cards they get out are like picked up by like bots and you know scammers and shit. So it's like you can't even really build a PC right now. A desktop PC at least. I'm definitely not buying like a pre-made. Those are I've learned my lesson with the pre-mades. Ooh. That was a weird glitch. Oh god. This is a battle to have here. You know what? I'm gonna make this harder for them. Did I have a, uh... Medic, how much does that use? I have darkness on me, so I can't aim. Oh, it's gone. Should have room to fight now, which is awesome. Like, glad I didn't like put me in like another closet. Here, good luck fighting in a closet. This wide open space has to be for something. They don't just give you wide open space like that. Security office, finally. I mean, could you imagine if I actually, like. Hold on. If I had done the sewers and the warehouse and this, the video would be at least like three hours long. Let's see, where's the alarm? I'm gonna go with that little blinking light. Here it is, and it's been activated. Deactivate. Hey, wait a minute. Eve? Ew. She's... Where is she? That room. Where is that? She's on the fourth floor. She's all like pregnant and like... Big. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean... I mean, it's for, it is for her. What is going on? She's singing, so something crazy is going to happen. Oh, there's the sludge. This reminds me of Ghostbusters with the pink slime in part two. Like, the pink slime, like, brings to life, like, the mink coat and the dead people and... Brings back the Titanic somehow. And it's reviving a dinosaur. I can't believe it. So that's how she controls inanimate objects. And of all the things, 
She's crazy. Damn right she's crazy. <laughs> I activated the alarm, but it's not opening. I'll need a key for this one. Guessing it has to be this way. No battle, no battle, no battle. Now where the heck is this key at? So apparently I already went the wrong way, so we're going to rush back. Oh, we're going to battle quick now. So apparently that's where I was supposed to go. Like, how do they expect you to figure that out? It's like what, it's like, that's why I like these older games. I feel like you're more of a real gamer when you play these games. It's like they just, you had to look, there's no walk, no walkthroughs, but that, actually, now that I think about it, Back when I, I think back when I played this game, I was using like a game informer walkthrough, and like those were wrong half the time. Shotgun. Like those were wrong half the time. I think they used like some like beta version of the game or something. Status attacks. Not bad, but I'm gonna keep this on. And let's take a look at that shotgun. Grenade launcher. What is it? What is that? Spray multiple targets. That's cool, I guess. Place an item. All right. I'm just going to use a medicine two. What do we got? We're going to put that right back. I guess this wasn't the right way, but I got the stuff. Okay, so we're gonna head, I guess, to the first floor. That's where the dinosaur was. It won't open. Second floor? Okay. And then this is where I end up. Okay, back here. 
so all right let's keep moving let's move quickly here oh I kind of like fighting in this, like, super fast motion. You know, you just get it over with quickly. And you also really can't dodge anything, but... Got a lot of health items, so... I might regret that later. Parasite powers have evolved. Remove all status. Restore HP and remove status. Wow, that's a good freaking... Now that's a power right there. It probably consumes the whole PE bar though. And once more... We raise the bar. Let's keep it going. I have no idea where I'm going. This feels like the, uh, oh, this feels like the sewers again. Where am I? Where am I going? Did I go around in circles? Just fully healed just cuz why not I haven't used my powers in a while oh a functioning elevator First floor is good. All right. All righty, so I took a bit of a break here because I was, my eyes were closing. So I think I'm gonna continue from here and let's see what happens. Maybe we'll fight a T-Rex. Ew. This is that squelching noise. <laughs> That's pretty gross sounding. But I guess I'm not supposed to go that way. I guess I'm supposed to go the original way where I saw where the doors were locked. Not entirely sure, so 
bear with me. Oop. At least I'm not getting in any fights. Deactivated the alarm, but it's I deactivated the alarm, but it's not opening. I'll need a key for this one. Where the hell is the key now? <laughs> if it's not one thing, it's another, right? Jeez. And we're back to fighting. At least I'm gaining levels. Levels and ammo, so no complaints here. But I still don't have any idea where to go. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have to check a guide. Because I'm sure you don't want to see her, you know, you don't want to sit here and watch me for another hour and a half try to figure out where I'm going. So, Give me one moment. All right, so I kind of got an idea where I got to go. Hopefully I'm going the right way. There's someone in there. Professor Clamp, don't move. Put your hands in the air where I can see them. Maida? Uh, hi, Aya. Yes, th there was something I really needed to test. Er, may I put my arms down now? <laughs> Did you come back here alone? Mm, no, Daniel came with me part of the way. Well, where is he? Er, yes, he went to look for something at the hospital. He should be on his way there. He should be on his way here. Oh. There haven't been any combustions recently, so I, er... Anyway, I asked Wayne to make this back at the station. Please use it. What is it? Yes, sir. I'll have to explain later. But I believe this will have some effect against Eve and the creature she controls. Thank you. I guess I'll have to wait and see what it does. Made his gun. Attack one. Ew. How wonderful. <laughs> I came across some findings. Mm, yes. First of all, there was blood serum with Maya's name labeled on it in the freezer. My sister's name? And? Well, the research code for it was called Eve. Eve? Then Eve really is. It appears to have been made up of the. Li it appears to be made up of liver cells. He was culturing them in the past. What do you mean? What for? I don't know. There isn't any data left. But it seems Dr. Clamp has been culturing them for years. Recently, it appears he was conducting research on artificial sperm. For Eve, of course. For Eve? Er, yes, he wanted to exclude the mitochondria from the sperm and create new sperm. Sperm with no parasites. Sperm with only the nucleus. Sperm without the mitochondria? Yes. He looked to the sperm that he created here. He took the sperm that he created here and moved it to the hospital. There he would artificially inseminate those who would volunteer for the experiment. Then... What was that HLA list for? Professor Clamp? 
You ordinary beings will never, never comprehend my level of research. Professor, I'm placing you under arrest as the ringleader of this operation. What you did... This isn't something you can get away with, do you understand? Ha 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 ha. You are so pathetic, Brea. Why put yourself in the human domain by reciting meaningless laws? They're meaningless, do you understand? Yeah, don't back down. Start shooting. Ha 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 ha. I guess you haven't told your little friends yet. Your mitochondria has special powers, doesn't it, Ego? Ha 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 ha. But sadly, you still have the form of a human being, don't you? You can say all you want, but I'm here to but I'm just here to arrest you, Doc Professor Clamp. I'm not letting you interfere with Eve. Do you hear? Do you understand? Hey, look out. Boom! Daniel! <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out! Daniel, thanks. I didn't see the scalpel. Just in time. Why didn't you shoot? You could have been killed. I said it. I know. It just didn't seem real. It felt more like... Uh... He's still con he's conscious again. <laughs> That's so funny. Dolus to the rescue, eh? Offers the Dolus. Why didn't you shoot me? What? I know you hate me. What do you say, huh? Of course I hate you. Because of you, Lorraine's... Lorraine? Hmm. So I see that your boy managed to escape. You. I should have killed you way back. Someday you're gonna pay for this. Ha ha ha. We'll see. We'll see. What are you planning to do, Professor? It's what I've already done. Ha ha ha. You'll love this. I'm waiting for the birth of the ultimate being. The mitochondria is passed on from the mother. But you see, traces from the father can also be found in minute minute quantities. According to Eve, her sister in Japan was unable to attain her ultimate goal because the father's side of the mitochondria caused a rebellion. For Eve to succeed this time, I created sperm without the male mitochondria DNA. The creation was a success. Eve is now pregnant with Melissa's body. Pregnant? How can that be possible? Damn it. Hey, we gotta kill we gotta kill Eve. Let's go. Ha ha ha, you woman you humans are so weak. So stupid. You may have been able to barge in here and do your thi and do things your way until now, but things are going to change. I won't let you interfere with Eve anymore. Eve, can you hear me? I do you don't have to wait anymore. I'm ready. What? what? the hell are you talking about? He's gonna blow a whole place up? Wow. So I see. Your mitochondrial power doesn't allow you to burn. Why? Why stay here and try to save me? First of all, I'm a cop and it's my job. And after all, I am human. Nah. Like I said, humans are pathetic. Clamp key. Yep. It's gonna... Got something to say? <laughs> that was crazy. I totally did not expect any of that to happen. She, doctor's nuts. All right, so now that we got the key, we can go into that room. And I get, I just know I'm fighting that T-Rex thing at some point. I hope I do. 
I'm pretty sure I do. That's gonna be fun. I have reason to start using my rocket launcher. Quick and easy battle. Another one? They're really trying to stretch me out here. healing going to the next battle at least you know semi topped off all right Let's see what we've got BP wise we don't have any bonus points to split up tune up weapons and armor got one tool so let's use it right hold on huh. not sure I remember how to do this right Okay, so I added it to my other one. All right. Let's see they sort it out. Armor, my guns. Totally have the rocket launcher should I need it. Maida's gun. I wonder how good it is. It's probably only good against Eve, I think. Okay. Plenty of items. Use our defense here. Why not? We're gonna do a save and let's get into it. What's behind the door? A battle against these thingies. I could have sworn I already was in this room. I remember that canoe. Guessing I go this way. Continue this way? that I need that stupid key for then. Yay, junk. Just explore some more, huh? Hey, 
Hey, another door. Oh. Definitely don't think I've been in here. Oh, a scorpion. Ow. I love how hard it's like a ricochet is like. Just like a, t a tiny little pistol shooting, and it looks like it's being like hit by like a baseball bat. <laughs> Quick and easy. Let's completely heal up here. It's another. Okay, keep unlocking doors, which is good. Seems I'm going places I was never there before. Alright, now the small fries. I've been in here before. 25 million years ago, air increased in the air. Why? Photosynthesis by bacterial heat. Reaction between gas and H2O. It was photosynthesis by bacteria. I guess that was the answer. Okay. I think I'm on the right pace here. Oh, I've been here before. You know, I get a key and it's like you're opening diff you're opening new doors, but it stores the places I've been before. A lot of junk. This door. Did I ever open that door? <laughs> oh, I don't think I ever opened this door. Was I just here before? This is where Clamp was born. I ran in a circle. Oh, look at him. He's charred. I think maybe I gotta go back to... I thought I was on the right pace. Ugh, more of these guys. Reloading so slow. I guess I could see why they didn't really make a lot of a lot of more of these games, because this combat system is a little like wonky. I mean, it's no more wonky than the original like Resident Evil games. Like those, it's like you're trying to control a refrigerator walking around.
but uh I'd love to see a remake of it, a remake or a remaster of this. Something something new. Yeah, I'd definitely love to see a remake. Like a a remake or a remaster of this. I mean I think it the remake would be much, I think a remake would be much better, like, to do, just because you could start from the ground up. Maybe, and rather than, you know, just try to add better graphics to something that is clearly, you know... Something that, you know, this would probably, like, work so much better as, like, a... Instead of, like, kind of like a top-down thing, kind of like a... I can see him doing like a Gears of War kind of thing with this. With like, you know, cover mechanics. Then again, I think you could just do about anything with cover mechanics. Like I've been playing uh, this game called Outriders a lot for the Xbox and all the other systems that are currently out and that kind of you know that kind of come it's, there's a lot of like monsters and you know it's a shooter with RPG wow they made a Parasite Eve version with Outriders like that would be sick like I'd play that because they could just add like monsters and all the equipment all the stuff that you need Am I going this way? Okay, door I haven't opened. Oh, it's skipping. Why is it skipping? Uh, I, I don't know what just happened, but hopefully nothing bad. Okay, what am I fight? Three bugs. They shuffled around me. Ah. Do some healing. Lots of healing items. It's always good to have the healing items. I'm outside again. This doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit. Start moving faster, cause this is taking too long. Oh shit! Okay. Now this sounds tough. This looks tough. Okay. It's a little haste run. Fill up that bar. Get some shots off. Okay, this guy doesn't seem all that interested in fighting. What'd I miss?
Ooh. Uh oh. Let's do some heals. How am I missing? Oh. Yo, that electric thing is so hard to dodge. He moves kind of slow. I think that's the only advantage I have here. Well, that still didn't do anything for me. Ooh, he finally missed one. Seems to be getting feisty here. He's moving a little faster. He's using that electric attack more. Oh, get out of the way of that. Let's heal up. Parasite Eve is well, liberate. Liberates mitochondrial control. What is that even I have no idea what that means, but be cool to check it out. Alright. one come from Ugh. my body feels like it's going to burn up What? How do you even fight that thing? All right. I'm do the haste again. Clearly he's not going to be that fast moving. Where do we get a fire attack on a T-Rex? Alright, I think I'm going to cast haste again. Get more shots in, more turns. Oh, what it What was that? Uh-oh. Nailed by something there. Come on, come out of that corner. Uh oh. Zero? 
What am I, fire retardant? Dodge that. Oh. Like, what are these, like, T-Rex fire and star attacks, whatever the hell it just did? Shooting comets at me or something. Ah, taken down. M eight hundred. Beautiful. See how this M800 stacks up. 8,000. Well, it's a handgun. It's a dual handgun? Small, lower range. What does this even mean? Enter two commands. Alright, we'll see what that's all about. So, I'm using a guide here because I'm clearly lost here. So now I have to go back to the Triceratops room. And go through the south door. Oh yeah. Let's run. Let's make this quick, right? Right. I believe it's up the stairs. Yeah, south. This is where he knocked me off. Now I'm in here. And we get a little movie for our uh, troubles. No more dinosaurs. Let them go extinct like they were meant to be. What? The hell's going on? Elevator? Ooh, fight. To see what this two command thing is. Whoa. I'm doing some major damage. Am I using up twice the ammo though? I wish they would I wish there was somewhere they would explain what it does. Ammo crate 496, so you know what? I'm not not too concerned with the ammo at this moment. see what happens here. Seems like we're on the right... Oh. Oh. This room is squelching. Ooh. 
Ugh. It's a gross sound. Well then, let's go through the door. Eve's on the other side. Another battle with Eve, huh? Eve. Boobies with no nipples. That's strange. She's super pregnant. And she has four arms. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. She's just kind of like, shh, you're going to wake the baby. It's a wonder you made it this far. Hmm. So you're going to congratulate me on this birth? What are you planning to do, Eve? Hmm. Perhaps you can help me answer that, Aya. Why do humans give birth? Hmm? Maya. Just start shooting. Oh, that's a cool effect. Oh, what's happening now? It's slime! It's a river of slime! Wow. The giant tentacle monster. It's a state buff marshmallow man. Oh god, we're gonna need the Ghostbusters to bring the Statue of Liberty to life. Oh my god. What is that tiny pistol gonna do? Did we just really see that? <laughs> Are you okay, Aya? Aya. Daniel. Maida. You both made it out okay? Yeah, we barely made it through. Did you see that ugly mama? That... that was everyone from Central Park. What? Then you're saying that Lorraine's part of that thing too? I'm sorry, Daniel. Er, yes. It has become apparent as to what medication Melissa has been taking. What was she on? She was being administered immunosuppressants. Immunosuppressants? For what? Why? S Light speed. Here's a story. Melissa had a treatment when she was a kid. Tr transplant? What kind of transplant? Did Yes, it seems that she got one of your sister's kidneys after Maya died in an accident. A kidney transplant? So Melissa got Maya's kidney? Flashbacks. Your mother and your sister were donors. What? Really? I never knew that. Your mother's organs couldn't be transplanted after the accident, so Maya's kidney was transplanted into the young Eve. No, I'm sorry, the young Melissa. She had kidney failure. Then Eve's kidney is really Maya's kidney. The intern that was present at the operation was, you guessed it, Hans Clamp. Our main man, Clamp, wanted to become a doctor. The doctors that were present during the operation were all surprised, and they all screamed that the kidney was hot. It's a weird explanation, but I'll take it. 
than Eve is... It's hard for me to say, but the original was present in Maya. Eve killed the host's brain, cultured the kidney, and obtained her own physical body. Then... Then that's what more then that's what happened to Melissa. In her case, the immunosuppressant drug served to act as a catalyst. In Japan, Eve targeted a girl who had undergone a transplant, a kidney transplant to be exact, and she was taking the same immunosuppressant drugs. This was all so that Eve could have a uterus to plant the fertilized egg. In order to transplant organs, it is necessary for the HLA type to match. It lives, symbiotic, it lives symbiotically with other cells, so it's necessary to take immunosuppressants to control the immunity and, the, and avoid rejection. While being controlled by Eve, Melissa felt her body change, but she finally got the lead part in the opera. If she had gone to the doctor, she would have been told to give up the part. So in order to avoid rejection, she kept taking the drugs, and after taking so much, she was so weak that Eve was able to take over her physical body, and that's how she transformed into mitochondria Eve. So then, Maya is... Maya is the original Eve. In reality, it's Maya's mitochondria. I'm starting to get a headache too, actually. <laughs> With all this confusion. Roger. Commencing operation, sir. Finally, the time has come to put our power to the test. These random guys. Don't be impudent, Lynch. It shouldn't have come to this. Y yes sir. F forgive me, Admiral. Calling all fighter jets. We have just received permission to attack. Commence operation. Head for the Statue of Liberty. As planned, Helicopter Team 1 will prepare for Plan 2. Team 2 will will search, and the rest will do their best to impede further advancement. These are... Like, none of these people could help Ayo. I guess not. He probably could have, like, blown up the whole island. Like, the whole scope of this game is so gr it's such a grand scope, like, so many moving pieces involved. What? Are you sure? The Navy's made their move. What? We can't allow this. We'll be repeating what happened yesterday with the Jets. I forgot about the Jets after all those t times I had trouble with it. New York is in flames. Gotta get the statue of liberty to crack the shell. No, Lorraine. Lorraine can't be part of that thing. The huge creature, or no, those cells, they must be where Eve's giving birth. Where's she giving birth? Yes, the huge creature will act as a barrier to protect the ultimate being. Oh, well that was short-lived. Just deflecting them. This is... Like, my mind was so blown as a kid. It's still halfway blown right now. <laughs> Lorraine! The helicopter's coming. Everyone duck and cover your heads and... Just... Am 
I supposed to move? <laughs> Am I supposed to avoid a jet again? Officer Bray of the NYPD, correct? Ma'am, it is my duty to accompany you to the aircraft carrier. Accompany her to the what? So day five thus far has taken me almost two hours of gameplay. <laughs> This is longer than the whole rest of the game. Welcome aboard the Navy's Pride and Joy, the Nimitz. I'm Williams. I command this ship. Sorry to have you come on such short notice. Hey, you better not put A in danger here. You, who do you think you are talking to the Admiral that way? It's quite all right, Lynch. After all, he is right. I'm going to throw right in the thick of things. What? What do you mean? You're the only one that can't be ignited by her. I'm asking you to get to get in our chopper and nuke the creature. Hold up. A can't fly a helicopter. Not to worry. The choppers have been set to auto. She won't have any problems. S so she just needs to fire from a distance. Where can't she be ignited? Where she can't be ignited? Unfortunately, the weapon needs to be fired at close range in order f to work. And we cannot move in that close since we will be ignited. Well. I'll do it. Hey, uh, no way, you're not getting up there. Our fate lies in your hands, Ayo. Okay, Daniel. That thing, that's not Lorraine. Do it for Lorraine, too, Ayo. Wait, wait. Please, Aya, take this. Come off it, man. We don't have time for that right now. Yes, of course, sir. Aya, please be careful up there, okay? Of course, I'll be fine. Oh, yeah. There's that theme song. Maya. All right. See, this is like the Star Wars Death Tr Death Death Star Trench Run, except it's New York City. <laughs> Just swerving and flying all over the place. The creature is within view. Switch to formation two. What? What's happening here? From the last battle, we were able to anticipate this attack. We're positioned this way for a reason. What do you mean? We will act as your shield so you will live to, the, to attack the creature. What? No, I'm, I'm not doing this without your... We're entering fire range. Prepare to attack. All right. Please move out. Move my, bleh, please move away from me now. We cannot abandon our duty. Besides, we're already within range. Now this kind of, this plan's kind of stupid, because. It, okay, so it can't lit lay, lay A on fire, but it can definitely blow up the helicopter. This is insane. Since Christmas Eve, I've been put, I've put a curse on my own body. Why me? Why is this happening to me? I don't understand. 
but I don't care anymore. Because Eve, I'm the one that can destroy you once and for all. Maya, I'll end this and let you rest peacefully. Like the creature literally could just destroy the helicopter and kill her. Headshot. Oh, that is just like this is definitely a horror game. It's just so creepy, like the way it looks. Knocked over the Statue of Liberty. How are we ever going to pick it back up? We did it! Well done, that was magnificent. Return to base, Aya. No, it's not over yet. Come at me, I will take you down. Aya, come back, now. It's too dangerous to continue. Return to base at once, we will plan. But, will you save your progress? Save states. Aya, Aya, please, I need to give you. Forget it, she signed off already. the heck? Her pistol. Tch. Is this so crazy? He just parachutes into that goop? Like, this is why I remember how awesome this game was. It's like, just batshit insane at the end. Alright, I'm alive, I'm, I just want to reload, <laughs> the heck do you reload, well then, let's load up on our active time, I probably should have enhanced a gun or something, but, ain't got time for that. powers let's go let's fight Eve so it was you Maya hmm that must be the name of my host let me guess your sister you have the ability to evolve why take the side of a doomed species humans aren't doomed if my mitochondria has the ability to evolve, it'll evolve to get rid of you. Ha ha ha. Love that sense of humor of yours, girl. Why is it that humans kill? Humans kill other creatures, even that, and they even kill their own kind. We have our reasons, and you sure is, and you sure are a good enough reason for us to kill. <laughs> Ha ha ha. All organisms have something called a territory. This territory is guarded from natural enemies, but until now humans had no such natural enemy. That is what has allowed them to prosper to this point. You beings must think of your prosperity as history, but you're wrong. We mitochondria have lived within the human being and have allowed you to prosper. What? Haha, <laughs> we mitochondria have made you create the perfect environment for us. 
humans have come to rely on civilization and have lost touch with in innate physical abilities. Can't you see it? Can't you see that it is the perfect scenario? What? What are you saying that? Humans are kept alive for the mitochondria's sake? Hmm. You humans just served as transportation vehicles for us. What do you mean? Vehicles to transport us to the time the mitochondria would be free again. Aha, but you see, the vehicle is no longer needed anymore. From now on, the mitochondria will become human beings and will rule this earth. That sounds rather unpleasant. Yo, she's just firing. Okay. Oh, she could fire behind her. Yo, she just nailed me. Why can I not heal myself? I can heal myself and then put in a command? Oh, that's what two commands is. Part of her am I attacking anymore? It's the head, the torso, and the heart. Oh, she's just punching me. Oh, my commands are all weird. Like, my actual... Oh no. Just punching, punching, punching. You know what? Let's have some fun with the rocket launcher, huh? Or not. Let's just get mercilessly beaten. So, since that's hitting so hard, I have a big heal. Oh, yeah. Oh, she can reach for me so easily. Oh, she's hitting me hard. She did not like that. Just stay away. Stay away. Staying away. Oh, she wants to grab me. Stay away. Stay away. Staying away. I'm hitting stuff. Oh, she got me. I think she killed. She might have murdered me there. If not for my automatic use thing. 
Oh, she did it again. Okay, there has to be. Should probably use the haste update. I might keep getting hit. But you know what? If I do haste, I can move faster and... She won't be able to grab me as much, I don't think. Nope, she still hit me. What was that? Oh my god, what is this? What was that? Wow, if I didn't have the rocket launcher, I don't know how I would have been doing this. Alright, let's haste up. Oh, I hit part of her. I have a feeling I'm going to pay for that. <laughs> Last rocket. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Because now I don't have any... So maybe I'm going to do something crazy here. Okay, maybe not. Grenade launcher? Let's try it out, why not? Throw everything at Eve. What was that? Frost. I don't even know what the frost does. Oh man, this is this is something. Go back to this gun. Oh yeah. Ha ha ha. I'll give you points for trying. But enough of this nonsense. Watch and learn what evolution really means. I 
the hell is she, like a squid? Oh, what? I thought I was done. I'm stuck? This is interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm hitting her pretty hard. But she's also hitting me hard. She slowed me down. and fire. Still stuck. And I got poison. And I'm stuck. I don't know what's going on. Okay, that was unavoidable, I guess. I hope. Avoided that one. I think I got it. I got it. I don't understand. No. You can't be our natural enemy. No. She has no nipples. Just melted. That's gross. There must have been some mitochondria that underwent a different type of evolution. Think about it, Eve. Day six. Well now, this day five was certainly a trip, and I'm glad I got to uh, finish this. So I guess I'm going to take the original video from the Chinatown and combine it with this, and <laughs> there's gonna it's going to be a very long video, but... Uh, you know, it'll give you a good idea of what the whole day is like. So, once again, once again, if you enjoyed this, uh, leave a like, subscribe, leave comments, give me your firstborn, not the second though, and uh, I'll see you on day six, liberation. And welcome back to the final day of Parasite Eve, Day 6 Liberation. Let's jump right into it because this is going to be probably, a, hopefully a short video, but let's get into it. Uh, no, we're not saving. So we're back at the battleships, and they're all focusing in on that pile of goo that was all those people from before. Daniel, hey, uh, come on. Back into it. Hey, uh, what's wrong? They run so funny. 
Ha! You are great, Aya. Shows that only my partner can pull it off, eh? Yes, Aya. I'm relieved that you made it back safely. Why the hell did Eve have to bring all this to the Statue of Liberty? Because of the ocean and what it symbolizes. The sea is the monster of all creation. This is where she wanted to give birth. Okay. A water birth, that's what she wanted. <laughs> Alright. If you don't mind, I'd like to have some time to myself. Okay. So we got a ship here. Let's see. Everyone else has been guided inside, miss. Let's get inside. Is this the door? There it is. That's a super heavy ass door. <laughs> no need to keep this anymore. You take it. Keep it as a souvenir, eh? Y yes, thank you. Please don't give me any more good luck charms. Hey, uh, Wayne came all the way from the precinct to see you. Yo, hey, uh. Uh, I'll be outside. The smell of oil makes me, um, rather queasy. I knew it. I knew you could do it. When I heard that you blew that thing to bits, I had to come over here. No one's saying that you're the... Everyone's saying that you're the number one cop in New York right now. Hey, what's wrong? You killed that thing. Aren't you happy? I guess you're in shock or something, huh? Yeah. Uh, you're probably tired, too. I'll take the things you're I'll take the things that are in your way, so you rest up now, you hear? Alright. What equipment should I get rid of? Hmm. Well, this rocket launcher is now empty. Right? Yep. So, let's get rid of that. Might have wasted it on Eve. Grenade launcher that we never use. Beta's gun I can't get rid of. Tough by light. You know what, I think I'm gonna combine all my, all my armors just to, <laughs> just to see what would happen. Cause I have so much stuff left over that I never used and... Is the two command gun? I think that's two command gun. So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna keep all these. So. So what do you think I should? I? Why can't I get rid of this? Like, it literally does nothing for me. Whatever. So... What do you say we do what I said before? Let's... Let's just load up here on everything. Because... I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on from this game after I beat the story because the story is kind of really what I'm interested about in. Uh, I know there's a Chrysler Center and I know there's a a uh, new game, an EX game, which I might check out on my own because I never actually did those. Because I think when I was younger, I would. I rented Parasite E from Blockbuster a lot because I could, you know, family was didn't have the money to buy so many games, so, but I could sure rent it and play it for an entire weekend straight, you know? Hey, as a souvenir for blowing Eve away, I'll engrave your name on any weapon. Choose a weapon and armor. Uh, I guess I'll... 
I don't care. I'm just gonna leave them the same. Ah, it's great being on this cruiser, eh? Gotta tell my mom about this. Alright, so now that we're free, let's Let's load it up. How hilarious would it be if it was the wrong gun? Defense. Beautiful. So, you're going to hand me your excess baggage or what? Of course, I am. So, I have all these tools, and I still have this. All this stuff so I'm just buffing up here because I know the final battles are coming because Eve was pregnant and that child is the ultimate being supposedly so you know this is gonna be a tough one and I'm keeping made his gun because that is supposed to actually work against the ultimate being get some I don't even know what to do here no, not reload move it over I don't have the space I guess so let's continue buffing our weapons. Let me make sure I do this right. Oh, look at that. 72. Let's keep it going. Oh, I guess that didn't do anything. See, I'm not sure I want to actually... here these grenade launchers rifles handguns gun 
I'm just throwing everything against the wall to see what sticks. They got like a limited amount of tools anyway, so. It's not as if I could uh, do all these anyway, so I'll grab one more. And. One, two, one, one, two, two. Oh, we get a whole lot of more bullet space. Here's one. You get all twos. So I'm making this handgun just more and more and oh I'm taking things out of storage and put all right at least I have access to that. Getting everything super strong right now. So let me use the doesn't do much, doesn't do much. A little more defense from here. CM vest. Getting myself stronger. I'll use my last one for the gun. Because now we can do. Now that I realize I can do any gun in storage too, I don't have to, you know, be so stupid about it. I have to be so picky. So. Let's do the M79. And we're done with our tools, so... Alright, let's give back the stuff we're not going to use. And here I said this video might be quick. <laughs> Okay, so we're tuned up, and we've got our BP points here, 53, that does basically nothing. Let's have that handgun, oh well. All right. Well done. I've received some supplies from Admiral Williams. Please make use of whatever items you need. Yo, I'll take that medicine for. Sorry, I don't have any more. Really? Well done, I have a friend that's in there. Ammo. Oh, more and more ammo. Prevent stiffness. I keep forgetting what all these means. This is poison. I could heal poison. The darkness is a tough one to. Remove C. Confusion. Well then, I think 
I think I'm done here. Okay, what? He's just here to hold my stuff. I guess we can go back outside now. 16 minutes into this video, we haven't done a single thing. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure this this is gonna be you know a climactic ending here. Some Christmas, huh? Tell me about it. So what are we looking at here? Sorry, we're late. We cannot approach the creature without absolute confirmation of its death. Your help was greatly appreciated. Please, rest inside. As citizens... What? What's going on? What? What? What is it? You're scaring me. That huge creature that was mitochondria was creating... Was... That huge creature that the mitochondria was creating was... It couldn't have been the ut that it couldn't have been the uterus for the ultimate being. No. Oh, what type of mod? What type of creepy ass thing is this going to sprout? Oh, that is ugly. And it just set a ship on fire, and another ship, and another one. Oh, that is the dumbest looking thing ever. I mean, it's creepy, but it's also dumb looking. What the hell is that? You've got to be kidding. That is the ultimate being. We didn't make it in time. Where are those explosions? The mitochondrial energy must have been must be out of control to the point of where it's causing these explosions. We will escape by helicopter. Please follow me. You're burning. I guess all we can do now is run. Hey, come on. Hey, what's wrong? Nah, I ain't going. I have to take care of this. Hey, uh, no. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'll be back. Please hurry. Shut up, man. Hey, uh, please take... Cut it out with the voodoo stuff already, huh? We can't be wasting time. No, Daniel, please. This is different. This is not the voodoo stuff. Hurry, please. You two should go now. Now. Hey, uh, what are you... You're coming back no matter what. You hear? Dude, if I... I think I remember... So, oh, I remember so. <laughs> yeah, the maid is trying to give you some, give you some. It looks like such a little. It looks like an imp. It's kind of, it's kind of cute in a disgusting way. <laughs> it can't even walk. It just fell. Ah. Uh. Uh. It's gonna be you or me. Who's gonna be the one to make it through? Oh, that is the question. This is child abuse. Oh, what was that? Move. Yeah, don't don't think this is over. Do not even think this is close to over. Because apparently. Is it growing? What's happening?
Like, come on. Whoa. Alright. Let's do some heals. And then let's shoot him. Hold on. It's got a little... Wow, it's hitting pretty hard. Oh! I think I'm supposed to shoot him while that's down? He's crawling towards his own flying body part. Let me haste it up here and then fire. No, no, no! Oh! Oh, I have the revive. <laughs> Can't believe I died there. I think I can't. Yeah, this ultimate being is no joke. I guess I gotta stop getting so close to it. Oh no! Definitely gotta haste up. fire at this thing just because it's there. It's me twice. Oh. Keep getting blasted. Do some healing. I guess fire. The crazy balancing act between these two things. Jeez, I keep getting hit. Hard to. All right. I believe that's phase two of two of four. Halfway there. It's the tyrant. It's Resident Evil's tyrant, right? That's what it looks like. Oh, we got the real boss fight music going. This? This is the mature being? I don't even know. Healing up and shooting. Oh god, what's he gonna do? It's pretty hard hitting. Actually, I feel like he's not hitting that hard. Like, those hits aren't that bad, I can take them. Okay, that's a hit I don't want to take. I mean, if he...
That's a new move. Let's heal. And I know standing still to shoot right now is probably a bad idea. Oh god. I don't know what that was, but uh, I have a chance to heal, so I'm gonna take it. What is that move? Okay. Down to my last medicine. Taking a lot of hits here. You know, you think you could take them, but apparently you can't. And that was my last medicine. Just hits me as he pleases. Uh-oh. <laughs> now we're in trouble. Deep trouble. Ninety-eight energy is not gonna do anything for me right now. Ah, uh, That's a game over. But is it This is a mature being. All right, we're gonna take this guy on again. And apparently, haste is the most important part of this. And dodging. Dodging in the right direction is very important. Uh oh. No, don't line up a shot. We gotta go away from. So I heal up now. Now we know the strategy. Oh no! I jumped away too quick. The strategy is haste up so that you See, look at that. You gotta haste up and then get behind him while he shoots those purple thingies. And then, I didn't do this too much, but you gotta dodge... Ooh, I'm still not thinking of yelling too much. Uh, you gotta dodge the uh, backwards away from when he does that uh, sprint attack at you. Now he just looks like a fish. It's still growing? No, wait. Is it evolving? That's kind of how I feel about it.
Oh, now it's using those, uh... Those things that uh, Haman Karn in uh, Gun Zeta Gundam uses. Is this one I can use the Meta Gun? I guess not. I think I've used pre-rays. What am I doing on medicine? I don't have any medicine. Okay, let's heal up. Switch back to our normal gun. I don't know what I gotta do here. <laughs> Whew, I have no clue what to do. Just gotta keep firing. Just gotta keep firing at this guy. I know you want to continue living. After all, you were just born, but I want to live too, like all other human beings. Yo, burn that thing with fire. Damn, there's no end to this. If only we could get this to Aya. What are those? They're bullets with Aya's cells in them. So that's what you were trying to give her. Ah, But I think it's too late now. There's nothing we can do. Stupid. Give them to me. Daniel's just gonna jump out of plane, out of helicopter. Oh, dude just jumped out of helicopter. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> that was the coolest thing ever. That was so awesome! Daniel. This is from Ada? <laughs> he just jumped out the helicopter and just started messing things up. Oh, that's... that's some damage right there. That is some damage. I think this is phase three or four or five is over. I've lost count. It's just gross. Daniel? Oh, it got back up. Oh my god. There's got to be something on this cruiser to get rid of this. That thing is so messed up looking. The engine room. Whoa. It's like a horror movie moment. Do I go left or right? Go left. I don't know why I went left. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Down this hallway. Down the stairs. It's like slowly like Jason walking at me. Like it's gonna catch up somehow despite it being like a 
a sneaky mold thing. This music doesn't make it any better. It's all like intense. I just expect, like, you know, I expect like. Ch -ch 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 If the boiler pressure shoots up, I can blow the ship to bits. Did we just take the end of the Exorcist? Not the Exorcist, uh, The Shining? Do you know where we are? We're in Hell's Kitchen. Okay, am I doing something wrong here? can't make it in time from here. Oh no. Did I just die again? Yep, I certainly died. Well, I mean... Technically, I kind of win. Let's try that again. You know what I mean? I mean, like, you know, even if she died at this point, that thing would be dead too, therefore, we kind of did a good job. I take that as an ending. Like, the bad ending to the game, like, hey, you sacrificed yourself for humanity against that weird, creepy, crawly creature that's now floating at me. I wonder if you had a ton more time to get out than earlier. Alright. That makes sense. See, I, I'm not this bad at this game. I'm just letting you see all the possible outcomes. Or I'm just this bad. <laughs> Oh lord. <laughs> but it looks like this might be the end. Oh, thank god. It's finally over. <laughs> She's not so sure. I don't understand. Why do I have this power? It's because Maya is inside of you too, Aya. What? When your mother and your sister died, they transplanted a part of your sister into you. Into me? Yes. When you were seven, you probably don't remember any of it, any of it but... You were born with a defect in your right eye, and so Maya's cornea was transplanted into your right eye. My right eye? Then, what I saw when I touched Eve was... It's said that when you have an extreme experience, what you see then is branded onto the cornea, but this hasn't been scientifically proven. That was Maya's last memory? That was the last thing she ever saw? As for the mitochondria that was in Aya's body, I think it underwent a different evolutionary change than Eve by living symbiotically with Aya's mitochondria. 
it still possessed Eve's power. From there, it evolved to the point of where it could live symbiotically with the human nucleus. Me and Maya are mitochondrial power. Starting with the incident in Japan, and now with this, I wonder if this is a message to all mankind. Message? What kind of message? How can I explain? If the Earth is a single human being, we humans that invade the Earth become like viruses out of control. We, in essence, are upsetting the natural balance of the body. This is definitely utter destruction. No, we're, we're not that weak. You see, humans are, in essence, parasites. You can say that we are parasites and the world is our host. Look, the sun's coming up. How's he not burnt to death? Like, even though he hit the water, he burnt for pretty, you know, for a little while there. He's got to be a little crispy, at least. Look at that. Look at that sunrise. Now we can get back to being New York City. Come on, Aya, here, take my hand. Ah, thank you, Ben. I'm, I'm not too good with these social events. Nah, not me, I love these things. We have to make up for Christmas Eve. This is my first time, so I'm I'm nervous. Oh, I miss that. What? No, no, no. That's not. It's starting. Shall we? I'm missing all sorts of dialogue. I didn't even hit the button on that. Yes, Daniel and Ben are late, aren't they? They were just outside with you, bro. They'd better hurry. It's going to start any minute now. Um, the restroom must be really crowded. Yes, that's probably it. What's wrong? You seem tense. Er, uh, yes, of course. What? Oh, well, you, since I'm going back to Japan tomorrow, I tomorrow might actually be, sir. Ooh, Veda, yeah, I'm alright. I made it on time. It's the next day, yeah. Sorry, we're late. I think he was trying to, like... Was he trying to, like... Is he trying to, like, flirt with her? What? I feel like I missed that when I was younger. Or maybe I got it then. Who knows? It's the same damn play as before. Yeah, watch it start over again. Like, sh everything burns. Prince, father, please give me permission to marry, to, to marry Eva. No. Again, I said no. I forbid it. You know well what will happen if you do. Those who succumb to her beauty all die in horrible ways. You don't understand. She is the one that has suffered after the deaths. She is evil. Grab her, guard. And burn her at the stake. Oh, more fire. Fire. Ha. <laughs> They're like, what? 
Not again. We shouldn't have fire so close to things. Father, if you are sensing her to death, then I ask you to take my life along with hers. Edward. Um, would you mind sitting? We can't see. Sorry. Get with it, guys. <laughs> Stop spazzing out. Is the audience going to start bursting into flames again? Nah, the Eve's dead, so this performance will go off without a hitch. Well, the movie theater... the movie... The theater burnt down, so how did this come to be? I mean, I guess they didn't burn down. But a lot of stuff inside burned? She's like, oh, I finally get to deal with this. Finally get to just watch this play. What? Whoa. Huh? Wait, what? Is she gonna... Oh, shit. Did she? Okay. So, this makes me think that Eve and Aya, their different mitochondrial evolutions, you know, fought against each other for supremacy. Aya was mitochondria one, and then they took over what was left of humanity, and it's through. And rather than take over and destroy humans, the mitochondria within humanity just evolved into symbiotics, symbiotic relationships. And so it, you know, maybe this, you know, the purple eyes maybe indicates that, you know, they all, all of humanity is now living with these mitochondria that are just parasitic uh not parasitic the mitochondria are just living symbiotically and with us rather than taking over so i guess in a way this seems like some like you know b-movie horror twist at the end that you come to expect you know the killer comes back one more time or whatever but in my mind it seems more like a symbolic ending if what I said that basically humanity now has these mitochondria which work with it rather than a, try to take over the host. I mean the purple eyes are creepy but I guess that just symbolizes that that AO A is mitochondria one. I uh, I don't know but we've reached the end of my Parasite Eve playthrough which is pretty rad. Um, you know, as an old PlayStation 1 game, I feel that this game doesn't get as much accolades as it deserves. And I guess with the subsequent releases of, you know, Parasite Eve 2, which I remember being more of a, uh, uh, it's more of a horror action game rather than they kind of toned down the RPG elements, and with the release of the third birthday game, um, I don't know, I've heard nothing but bad things about it. So it makes for a, you know, a franchise that I feel had a lot more potential than what 
uh, you know, Square, well, Square Enix now actually puts into it. Oh. Cool little song at the end. I think this... I think this song is maybe in Italian? Because I understand some of the words. Some of the words in Italian are the same as Engl uh, Spanish, so... The words are definitely... I'm not understanding them completely. But uh, back to what I was saying, I think this Parasite E franchise is horribly underrated, horribly underused, and I think Square Enix should probably make a, you know, do a remake or, you know, just scrap all the, just, just pretend the third birthday never existed and maybe do a sequel for the, maybe do a sequel for the, 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 the new, the new PlayStation, the new Xbox, maybe PC, you know, release it on everything and include this game and in, include this game into it so people can, uh, you know, uh, play the original. Maybe it's kind of how they do the uh, the new Halo games. The the Halo games they have, they did the the remasters of them and you can play the originals while the original graphics and the original. Uh, you know the original designs or whatever uh, while you play your actual rem uh, your high definition game so they could do something like that as a remake that would be super cool and like I said I think in an earlier video uh, it would be cool if like a Gears of War maybe Destiny uh, not Gears of War Outriders if you haven't played that game yet that game is pretty damn good it's like it's like gears of war but with destiny like gameplay destiny borderlands gameplay except it's third person so i say it's like gears of war mixed with destiny which that game you feel like a real badass playing it but uh anyway that's just my thoughts on this i remember i played parasite eve 2 a lot when it came out and i beat that game several times over and I remember it being super fun but there was just something about it which okay the, I, see I know this Parasite Eve 2 takes place in like the desert in the middle of nowhere and I think that kind of took away from the overall like feel and aesthetic of the game because you know you're in the middle of the desert so it didn't have that like what's about to happen kind of uh, feel to it you know like it it's interesting but not as like you know this is the biggest city in the world but I guess I can understand why they wouldn't want to do New York again or you know go to some other major city but uh, I don't know the second one just for you know I the gameplay was cool I remember that but the story I feel was lackluster and, you know, uh, I think there was like, I don't know, there was just something something about it. Not It wasn't a bad game, but it's not as memorable as this one, because, you know, I'm playing this one, and I remember playing this one, and you watch me play through God knows how many hours of this, so I hope you enjoyed it, because much as I did, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm talking a lot through these credits just because I feel like, you know, all the people who worked on this should be recognized for their contribution, and, uh, yeah, just some of my thoughts on Parasite Eve, you know? I wish I could actually read the original novel. I don't, I think I tried looking for maybe an English translation and I, I don't remember being able to find it, but uh, that'd be so cool just to read like the prequel to see what Maida was talking about. Not that, you know, not that the 
the original novel had much of an impact on the game. It feels pretty, you know, self-contained. But, uh, yeah, I think we've reached the end of the credits here. So, perhaps I could stop talking. <laughs> And the music was pretty, the end music was pretty cool. So, yeah. So the, oh yeah, these bonus points you get because I think there's an EX part of the game, like where you can just replay the game. I don't know if it's on a harder difficulty or if it's on the same difficulty, but with the So, this is why it's loading this. All these bonus points. Okay, 3,000 points. That's, uh, that'll make me real powerful. Checking memory card. I think you have to actually save it to open the EX game here. EX round one. Let's see what happens when you insert disk one. One moment. All right, disk one is entered. All right, we've seen that before. I forget what my enter button is. My start button. Yeah, whatever. So. This is the end of the video, the end of the playthrough, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed my commentary. I hope you liked the playthrough and enjoyed this as much as I did, although I was playing the game, so I know I enjoyed it probably a lot more than you did watching me. But, uh, yeah, this is Parasite Eve. And uh, so if you enjoy this playthrough of a game, my next playthrough is going to be... Final Fantasy 7 as I mentioned so I hope you continue to enjoy these my you know readings of the dialogue in the games and actually playing them because the Final Fantasy 7 let me tell you I am pretty damned good at it uh, I won't need any you know strategy guides or anything like this game I need a little help with so yeah Please like, subscribe, leave comments, give me your firstborn, not the second one, and uh, thanks for watching. Good night.